Hello, I am the Ronan Vaughn, and welcome to a twitch.tv slash Ronan Vaughn live stream on twitch.tv slash Ronan Vaughn. Just giving a pause, actually. His daily loving here in the cherry just came around. I got a weird habit with uh, with pause, with this cat of mine. Um, of, it just seems like the timing is, is has long been such that he comes to me, and then I get up and walk away. Like... And it just works out that way, and, and <laughs> I feel a little bit bad about what kind of a message I'm sending to him. Like, I don't want to hang around with you or something like that. But it just works out that he comes walking over like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, I need to pee. <laughs> I end up walking away. Anyway, hello and welcome to the live stream. What's the live stream today? It's my Twitter page. I just posted, I forgot to click it. I was busy petting my cat. What is the live stream today? We're going to be playing uh, The Wandering Village again. Again, again, I'm having a good time with it, and wanted to come back to it, and want to keep playing on the save file that we started together at the last stream. Um, but in addition to that, the uh, fine folks at Stray Fawn Studio, developers of the game, hello little magnets. I like the use of the pawn... What, what, is, what is that one that's been so long? Ronin Pieway. I like the Ronin Pieway that you've employed there. Um, the fine developers... Uh, of the game, uh, Strayfawn Studio are running a a dare on Dare Drop uh, that means if I am playing the game and I do certain things, then I can get some like Steam codes for chat. So that's what I want to do today. Is I mean, I want I want to play the game. Really, this is just an excuse to to come back to it. Uh, I didn't need the excuse to come back. So this is this is a way for me to get you something for free, maybe. Get, get a couple of more uh, free copies of this game or of one of the other games that uh, Stray Fawn Studio has published. They are, after all, the makers of um, Nimbatus. Uh, I don't know if they're giving away copies of Nimbatus. Yes, they are. If we were to reverse acupuncture, harvest every Anbu spike on Anbu's back, then uh, I'd have a free copy of Nimbatus the Space Drone Constructor. Uh, for someone in chat. Um, but they're giving away Niche, uh, which is a genetic survival game. I think that's the one that we looked at and, uh, uh, or that I saw an ad for, and I was like, hmm, that's like hex hexagonal puzzle thing going on there. That's usually kind of my jam when I see that there's hexagonal puzzles involved. <laughs> but these are our options for things that we can try to accomplish while we're just playing the game. Uh, and if we can, then we can get keys for. You may notice at the top here, I can only do four of these. We're limited to four. Um, and these are these are the easy ones, more or less. Uh, in fact, you can see very small there. It says level, easy. Easy, easy. And then this is medium, medium, medium. So let's have a look through them and try and decide what it is that we want to, to go after. Uh, in fact, uh, well, we're doing that. Maybe I'll open the Wandering Village in the background. Maybe we can get some of the Wandering Village music playing in the background here. Uh, hello, Turbo Nutter. Uh, he's doing it again. Evening Pond and Bottas was kind of cool. I thought, yeah, I uh, like my my favorite part of it when I first had access to it, which was pretty damn early. Um, uh, that was the one with the with the robe with the the sumo, right? You could build uh, a drone and then have it do sumo against other drones. That was really friggin' cool. Um, but, you know, I enjoyed the main game as well, but uh, the idea of, like, making a drone that has sensors on it and then just throwing it in, in a sumo ring and watching them bounce off of each other, that was, that was very fun. I, I just wished that there were more people in my Steam list that I could have built sumo bots to run against. <laughs> Kenneth! All it took to get Pawn Stream again was a game where you can kill your host. A little bit. Yeah. Also, um... Let me know how the stream quality is going for you, because one, I had to change settings of OBS. I updated OBS today. Never update your software, kids. It's it's a bad idea. Don't do it. Um, I updated OBS. I updated Live Split, and um, apparently I'll have to update my video card drivers because the version of NVIDIA's hardware encoder the drivers that I have don't match the OBS drivers or something like that. So I switched back over to X264 CPU encoding. So how does it look? 
uh, how's the frame rate, how's the stuttering, you know, or is does it stutter at all with the settings that I've given it, is number one. Number two is I, I am brought to you by Comcast down there, makers of overpriced, really bad internet that is uh, monopolized in markets and uses anti-compete uh, methods in order to secure itself into areas so that we have no other choice. Uh, so expect outages. I just saw the KBPS that I'm sending out uh, dip down to uh, 3800 for a second. Why? Well, it's because I have no other choice in America, capitalist bastion of, you know, competition. No other choice but Comcast. And and they're just that good that we usually have two or three breaks in the live stream. Uh, just from the internet going down for five seconds. Um, I'm actually taking a break at work, watching for a bit on my phone. Speaking of anti-compete, my, my job now is installing Google Fiber. <laughs> is that anti-compete? I could use some Google Fiber around here if, uh, if they'll give Comcast something to, you know, and I get these ads constantly of, of you know, Verizon and and uh, just the other, you know, two, AT&T, I guess. I get them constantly, and uh, every now and then I, like, check and see, are you in my area? Why are you sending me so many ads? Nope, you're still not. And they're not because they don't, like, they choose not to be. They've set the system up so that some of them have portioned out uh, their chunk of the United States of America and others have portioned, you know, one of them's got New York and one of them's got LA and they don't compete in those two incredibly high competition marketplaces. Gee, do you think that they're in collusion maybe? FCC run by someone who used to work for them? Oh my God, I figured it out. Wow, how many years has it been, Kenneth, that I just, you know, we're, we're still saying the same things. I don't know, it's, it's America so nothing ever changes. Uh, you see, the thing is, capitalism requires regulation to avoid monopolies. So what you have in America isn't capitalism, it's oligarchy. Ah, that's, that's, yep, that's the thing. Somebody should tell Ben Shapiro. Um, so, <laughs> these are our options of what we could do, what we could try to do, and in the easy category here on the first tab of options, um, you get a Wandering Village paper craft collection. A key for, I don't know, and then the soundtrack is a couple of these options is what we get. Some copies of Niche, a genetic survival. So, uh, let's, like, try and go for some stuff that isn't too easy. We've only got four of these dares we're allowed to do. Um, if I did a spa day for, for the Anbu, which is a medium level challenge, that would be, I have to pet it, I have to feed it, I have to cure it, and I have to detox it all within one day. So it's a lot of you know, manicure for the Anbu and, and cucumbers on the eyes and, and deep tissue massage and, and maybe a little bit of acupuncture at the end. Um, so that's uh, Toxic Dreams, let Anbu sleep in a poison forest for a full night. I think we've already done that once in this playthrough completely unintentionally. Um, that would give us a copy of that same game. Reverse acupuncture we looked at, that would get us a Nimbatus, and that means I'd have to harvest every Anbu spike on Anbu's back. Anbu would friggin' hate us, It'd be shaking constantly like a wet dog trying to get off of us. Trust me, I've tried it before. Watch my video at youtube.com slash Uh, Teenage Heartthrob is a challenge. Get Anbu's heart rate above six beats per minute. It's a very large beast, is the thing. It, it tends to idle at about 3 BPM. So we'd be doubling its heart rate there. And that would get us Nimbatus as well. Um, the end. Reach any ending. I wasn't even sure that there was an ending of this game, except for, you know, that you'd die eventually. So that would be... That would be... I don't know if we'll, we'll get there. We might. Um, honestly, in my first playthrough, I only used, like, half of the footage in the YouTube video. The other half of the footage that y'all didn't see was... Like, at some point, I got something that could have been considered an ending, but, you know, you get to keep playing the game. So that might not be unreachable, I'm not sure, but that would give us an actual copy of The Wandering Village to give away. So, bear that in mind. The Smelling Village, store at least 200 Anbu Dung. We do have in our save file right now, in fact, I could pull it up, um, we do have in our save file right now, our current run, we've got a, a shit catcher. <laughs> Whatever it's, whatever it's supposed to be called. We've got one of those. Oh, Jesus. Um, how do you, how have I been playing? Oh, no, that's right. I just had my key, my fingers on the wrong keys. Pause immediately, because as I recall, we're walking, this is a very, 
This is a moment. There's a lot of things about to go off the rails. This is not our village, is it? No, this is our village. Yeah, this is the one we've been working on. It's not my other save. Yep, 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 yep. So we've got um, a dung collector. That's it. I was calling it a shit scoop. Oopsies. I didn't. But I did just now because it sounded very good. And we've already got 50 dung um, being stored right there. But we were going to try and turn that dung into compost and then start composting with it. If we slowed down our composting operation or stopped, then uh, we could probably, without even thinking about it, get to the smelling village and get a free keep for uh, for niche by getting 200 Anbu dung. Mm -hmm. So that's one to consider. The researching village, research every technology. So unlock absolutely everything in the game. I think that's very doable, but we'll be here a minute playing to get to that point. Um, the partying village, achieve a productivity level of 130% or higher. Where are we as we stand? Um, our productivity is 122. So we could hit that today. We could hit 130, and that would give us Nimbatus, a copy of Nimbatus to give away. The Wandering City have over 100 villagers at once. We've got 41 currently, uh, and that would give us Niche, uh, the genetic survival game. And those are medium level challenges. One more medium level challenge here, Morbin time? Feed your villagers only black pudding for five days. Okay, black pudding, black pudding is extracting the Anbu's blood and converting it to food. And uh, it, it, it's not good for the health of the Anbu, but it sure does feed us apparently. So that would give us a copy of Niche. Um, and then we're into the hard challenges. Gourmets and gourmands produce at least five different kinds of processed food at once. Processed foods, so that'd be like, we'd be baking bread. We'd be, I suppose we'd just have like our kitchens going and making berry juices. And what are the options here in a kitchen? We've got berry muesli. We've got grilled tomato. There's corn something. And then there's a penis on a stick, I think, is one of them that you can get. But you gotta, you gotta put in the, the special code for that one. Um, if his heart beats about 20 times slower than ours, the Ambu might live for 2,000 years. Hey, uh, perhaps la less with all the poison. So you don't think I should, I should make him sleep all night long in a poison forest? I don't know, it's tempting. If the opportunity arises, I'd love a key to Wandering Village, says Kenneth Wonder. If we can get one, uh, we've got four dares I can do. And I'm reading all these to everybody in chat so that you can, like, you know, give me your feedback, what you think we can do, uh, and what you'd like me to try and do. So five different kinds of processed food at once, I figure would be cooking every kind of food and making... and making bread. Or it might be cooking all of the food, making bread, and maybe that's only four types of processed food, and maybe you also have to do the black pudding thing. Which I'm not, I was hoping not to do. Skin of your teeth, reach any ending after having had fewer than ten villagers. I mean... No, we start the game with sixteen villagers, don't we? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, well, any playthrough, but no, they got you. They got you. You have to lose people in order to get there. Uh, that would that would be a bit of a thing. That's like you got to dedicate your whole gameplay to it. Skin of its teeth. So that was the skin of my teeth. Skin of its teeth. Reach any ending after having had less than twenty percent Anbu health. Wow, unbelievable. Reach all three endings. There are three different endings. I'm not sure that I've reached one of them. I think I've reached one of them. Uh, so yeah, what do you think that we can do? What do you think is doable? What would you like to try to do? Because I'm enjoying this playthrough and would like to, you know, not throw everything away that we've already done by trying to go after something. But uh, yeah, the way things are going right now, we are about to walk into a, a winter biome. The pink is winter that has a spore cloud right in front of us. Uh, yeah. I remembered that there was some stuff going on, that things were going off the rails. What else was going off the rails? It wasn't just that. There were things that I really wanted or needed to do here on the back of our giant turtley friend before I unpause. 
I, I would like to catch myself up to where we were. Uh, Anbu is doing okay. He needs poison. I was gonna de-poison Anbu. Yeah. Hmm. Become a literal leech or mosquito. Suck, suck Anbu's blood out and, and eat it. Yeah. So I was gonna heal Anbu. Uh, what are we building or working on right now? Like, we're milling flour into... Well, we're will, milling flour from the wheat that we're growing. But we don't have uh, a bakery to turn that into bread yet. So we're not really able to use that food. Uh, which means right now we're a little low on food production, as I recall. Okay. I think we're fine there. I think though it goes up and down and, and we've got, you know, food and storage. I mean, look at all of the no food that we have in storage. So I think we're, we're okay there. Um, we were working on building another berry gatherer out here. That'll take care of our, like, need for food anyway. Basic need for food. And we're putting a food stand out here so that the people who work out here don't have to keep walking back and forth uh, from the village all the way out to Anbu's ass. An Anbu's ass villa. The district of Anbu's ass, um, which is going to be a lovely district in time, is what I've been telling myself. So I'll tell you, it's going to be hard for us to like pick something as a group in chat. Nobody said anything yet. So um, what do I think I can do? I, I want to get a copy of The Wandering Village for viewers here, you know? And it looks like Reach Any Ending is probably the easiest way to get a hold of one. Because there's that. I mean, I think we could drive toward that. That could be like our one big hard one we try and do. Produce five different kinds of processed food. If that means I've got to drill into Anbu in order to make blood soup or whatever, then I'll do it. I'm gonna accept this dare. Okay, and that will get me two copies if we can do it. We will send you a key to the platform of your choice to access the game and accomplish a dare. Um, create dare and get key. I'm sorry, select your pl platform. Right, it's Steam. And I already have the Wandering Village key. Wait, delivering without getting a key improves your rate. Wait, no, what? No, I want the, the thing. I'm doing it for the viewers. So, yeah, give it to me on Steam, worldwide, create the dare and get key. I've never, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it works. Uh, in fact, because of that, maybe I should uh, just, maybe you don't need to see everything that's going on right now, just in case it's like, all right, your credit card number, social security, firstborn child. <laughs> that pops up, I'll just give me a second in my privacy of darkness. Ready player one. Your key is below. What? Copy the key and then hurt and head over to the redeem it and complete the dare. What? No, I've got the... I don't understand this. We need to complete the, the dare. I'll tell you that. No, I think I think I just accidentally like requested a key to the game and they gave me one. Uh, and there's a dare going on. This is, this is daredrop.com. Uh, you could do this better, is what I'm gonna say. Uh, cause that was not clear what was going to happen there. Yeah. You're, you're small. <laughs> you're, you're min-maxing of your text. Um, I'm not sure if that's the way to go there. You might want to be very clear with your language of what's going on. Uh, hopefully I'll still be able to complete this. Um, but yeah, Gourmets and Gourmands, I think that's the only one that I want from this, this page. Uh, and that'll be our really hard one to get. Get Anbu's heart rate above 6 be beats per minute. Um, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, but we can get him running. I can absolutely get him running. I don't know how long I'd have to keep him running to get it up to 6 BPM. Um, it might also have to do with making him ship more. <laughs> Cause there's some, there's some, you can give Anbu some pills. Uh... Research every technology. I don't want to try that. The Parting Village achieve a productivity level of 130% or higher. Yes, let's do that. Thank you. Um, now I understand. Now that I've done it once, I understand completely because it went kind of sideways on me, Dare Drop. I get it now, but it wasn't clear in the moment that it needed to be clear. And now I've got, you know, I've just kind of taken an extra key from the, from the developers of the game. Maybe we could give that away in chat, you know, if we just keep our mouths shut, nobody, nobody rushes over to Twitter and tells us what I'm doing. 
<laughs> the Wandering City have over 100 villagers. That sounds like unlikely. I think we can get the Anbu Dong, and that would give us a copy of Niche to give away as well. And then I'm like, I got kind of all of their games to give away. That seems very reasonable to get 200 Anbu Dong. Accept that. You know what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna like take all this time trying to figure out what I'm gonna try and do, and then, uh, and then we're gonna like immediately die. The Anbu's just gonna keel over. <laughs> and reach any ending. I don't, I, I think we could do that. How many days have we got in right now? We're on day 68. Like, if there's an ending just for like, being alive for a while, I don't know how that works but it seems like a thing that we could try doing. If I go back by one, reverse acupuncture, I'm not gonna piss the Anbu off that much. Toxic dreams, we said not to do that. I could easily pet, feed, cured, and detox Anbu all in a day. Yeah, but the, the Anbu would have to need to be cured, right? So maybe that's not as easy as I think. It'd need to take a little health damage, maybe. I think we can get 200 poop, or no, we can reach one of the endings, and it's a real challenge. So those are the four that I'm going to accept, I could probably accept more, and then... Oh no, I can accept four dares, so if they're accepted, they're accepted. Those are our dares. We're trying to get to an ending, we need a productivity level of 130%, we need 200 Anbu Dung, and uh, produce five kinds of processed food. Like, write those down and try and hold me to them. <laughs> Because I'll, I'll just forget and I'll be enjoying just playing the game and I'll completely forget what the hell we're about over here. Um, I have already assigned, I think, compost on this farm. So we're going to be using some of the compost. Uh, and we'll just see if we're, you know, building up enough buckets of Anbu poop. We got 50 uh, to, to clear that one on its own. What else is going on here? Quarry? Produce a stone, but there's nobody in there right now. Let's tell you to just have one worker. Before I unpause, I just want to get things like, you know, where they probably ought to be. I'll reduce, no, 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 your carriers. I'll reduce you by one, which will give him a, a you know, a dude to do that. The sawmill, we don't need you to be producing wood that fast, so I'll take one worker off of you. Scavenger hunt needs to be fully occupied kitchen doesn't really have enough food to process right now anyway both farms are fully staffed berry pickers are fully staffed herbalist we only need one we've got herbs coming out of our ears 90 of them in storage village doctors sitting on some as well we got a warehouse bile extractor is off Decam decontaminator is off Anbu Kitchen is not running. How are we doing on Anbu Food? We've got two Anbu Food in storage. Anbu isn't hungry, so that's fine. Uh, I guess I can actually have five carriers, and that should work out fine because I took somebody off of something that I can't remember. The windmill can be grinding slowly because we're not making a bakery yet. We need to get a bakery up and running, absolutely. Only one worker, or only one builder and one harvester, huh? All right, I'm gonna put the carriers. I'm gonna spread you out to two harvesters. Go. All right, my people are my people are peopling. Hmm. My people do people. And look at this art style. If you haven't seen this before, check out this like 3D pop-up book art style where these two-dimensional sprites that are just like one thing. You zoom down in on them, and you realize that the two-dimensional sprites have a three-dimensional aspect to it as well. I think it's really clever. I mean, you know, it's been done to a lesser extent before, but to have it be like your main thing, I don't I don't know about that having been done. First thing that we really need to be doing, actually, is get the Anbu Doctor up and running again. Make sure time is running slowly, because I know we're walking into some problems. Uh, pull another worker off. Another carrier off. I need somebody over here. Why are we not? All right, less harvesters. There we go. Anbu Doctor is now ready to go. We need to heal this guy, cure him of his poison. So if we give him an, an antidote, it'll be 20%. If we cure him, 
it'll be health. If we pet him, you know, he'll like us more. So antidote him, please. And we'll need both of the doctors here for that. You're there. And here comes the other doctor. So at two times speed, we'll get her in there. She's complaining about something. Do I give it a toss? Do I? Do I though? I'm not sure if I do. No, 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 five. I wanted to see it out there. And then F7 took away the thing. The overlay. So yeah, she's, uh, you know, just whispering to it now. Um, you're going to feel uh, a slight pressure and a pinch. <laughs> and they come back and they sit down and, and wait, what happened? There was a research thing or something. The nomads, okay, we've encountered some nomads. Pick them up or send them away. We can always use more people helping out around here, so pick them up. Oh, and also, shoot, I forgot to do it. Where are they? Where are those nomads we just picked up? They always come in from an edge, but they tend to come in from that edge, so did they come on board from Anbu's ass this time? Where are they? Huh? Did I not actually click the thing? I don't know, pick them up, commit. There we go, and? Are you... There we go. You're on board. Oh, and there's some of them are poisoned. Okay, I didn't actually pay attention. I was just clicking, wasn't I? This guy is homeless, is hungry, and badly poisoned. Named Hilly, named Rudd, named Kirby. I was supposed to do this thing. We're gonna settings, Twitch, connect. No. Okay, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, and now... Now, our villagers, as they come aboard, will be named after y'all in chat. Uh, apparently I gotta do that every time I start up the game. That is fine. I am now aware of it. Oh, wait! No, you were already here, Flora Sidler. Yes, that's right. So you just happen to be in that direction. But these two folks are... ill. Village doctor is way overstaffed right now. How many people are poisoned? Kind of just the people who came aboard. Yeah, so you're overstaffed. Go down to... One. One village doctor. You guys, it'll it'll work. And go back up to two times speed. Where are we on the map? Because I know we're about to cross into something that I don't want to be in. And that doesn't look like it's moving at all. Or it's moving very slow. Like, you see that line? It's supposed to move back and forth across that line. And then, if we can command Anbu, then we can, you know... Tell him stop, wait for it to move, and then we would, you know, not have to encounter this. But it doesn't look like it's moving at all. They just want me to encounter that. Okay. Well, we're walking into a winter biome, so let's look at our crops and see what needs to be flipped around there. Hello, Kelkin. I'm just getting back in. Take some minute, you know, if it's been a while since you came to it, take some minute. The beets will grow in uh, winter weather, freezing down here. They'll grow well enough, I guess. The wheat will continue as well, so long as it's not completely freezing, and I don't think it will be completely freezing except when it is. So we can just keep on the beets and the wheat, and the beans don't don't burn on the grill, you know? And the took a whole lot of in just to get up that hill. That's I can't I can't help but hear that every time I start to say <laughs> uh, say something about the food in this game. The Jeffersons. Uh, so, are we all not poisoned? We don't have enough housing for people. Okay. Wow, really? Damn it. That's my whole housing district. Look at how nice and tight and clean that was, and then now it's, it's gonna have to have an extra house in a weird place. Okay, but uh, have an extra house in a weird place. Um, just down the street like that. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have a special house there. How are we doing on building the stuff that we were supposed to be building? And what are you complaining about not having? Not enough resources, and the resources needed are stone. And we are entering the the toxic spore. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, um, you guys. You're back online. Give me all of the workers that I can get. I don't think I'll need you immediately. We've got 81 buckets of Anbu bile. I'm gonna I'm gonna enable it because I don't want to mess around here. The, the the spores are coming. Oh, and they're green in the foresty area, the 
poisonous forest, but the spores are blue in in this area. Okay, I'm gonna try and leave the game rolling while we do this, but you know, at the slowest speed possible. So we're getting we're getting hit. Um and it's growing poisonous plants on the back of Anbu. And if we don't, you know, stop them from spreading, we're gonna have a problem. Uh yep. And it will continue to like take over other plants nearby. It will regenerate other, you know, ones as well. But we've got my uh, flame flame guys out early this time, doing what they do. He's burning that down. Anything else around there that needs to be marked? I'm marking all of these for you know people to come around and cut them down as well. Uh, and keep it, keep it, keep this shit away from my crops is like priority number one. So if anything gets near the crops, I will prioritize it to be removed in a hurry, instead of just whenever feels good for you. Um, and that was medium air toxicity we just passed through. Anybody see any more uh, poisonous stuff that I haven't marked for collection? We've exited, apparently, according to the, you know, happy tunes. Fully grown mushroom, harvest that too. That was way less, oh my god, than the last one, I think. And probably because we were kind of, we're kind of ready for it. This time. And I got these guys out doing what they do. And yeah, we got five contaminators. Ambu bile is, is more than enough. I want to send... How are we doing on people being poisoned after that? Nobody's poisoned. I want to send the the uh, Anbu doctor back out for healing uh, one more time for Anbu, so we're doing that. Definitely could use it. And because we are draining Anbu's bile, uh, we have taken a little bit of health off the top of it. Hmm. I mean, it's okay. We're doing all right. I feel okay. Cold weather will decrease the... It's gonna affect the crop growth, okay? Um, yeah, so now we're in this cold snap here as well. Wow, they are not treating me good here. Uh, before we're too far away, send some people to the forest to get us some more wood, I guess. And then, before all that happened, we were shy of stone, weren't we? So give me you, just the stone. We have stone over here to collect, collect this stone. Uh, and there's some for you, and there's some for you. Just, you know, give people jobs to do. Okay, this shit is, you know, it does get out of hand pretty quickly. Um, harvesters, I'm gonna switch people over to harvesting, reduce the number of carriers that we've got, increase the number of doctors on staff for those harvesters who might get infected from harvesting poison. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it. And we need more workers just generally around the place, so where can I take people off of jobs? Uh, have you cared for the Anbu yet? You have. Anbu poison level 37. It should get even better. Now it's 17. I'm going to close down the Anbu doctor. That's two people who can join staff on clearing out our little poison issue. They took care of the poison issue down here very quickly, very nicely, thank you. That's a free full-grown mushroom, so I'll grab it. Uh, it's just up here, and that's the, like, longest walk that these guys have to do in order to get there. Anybody poisoned? No, we handled that very well. Productivity is down, however. So, yeah. I want to get that up to 130. That's one of our goals for the day. If we can get that up to 130, then I'll get some free keys to give away in chat. I'm not sure of which game anymore. I've confused myself. <laughs> but yeah, that went that went very well. And considering that it's gone so well, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the number of workers here. Um, we still have, you know, some stuff to burn, so having three guys on staff seems reasonable until I see that it's all gone, and then we'll just go down to one dude standing there with a flame, or maybe no dudes. Maybe I'll shut down the whole damn building. We handled that. And we're getting through this cold snap. Um, 
food production is way down because of the cold snap. But once we clear it, something, something profit, hopefully. Uh, we're as near as we're ever going to be to that sand dune, so I'll send out an expedition party to pick up the sand. Eventually we need sand and iron in order to make glass and things out of iron. Um, but I've never done that before, either of those things. Uh, looks like we got one guy in the quarry, which means that we should have, you know, a supply of stone here. You know, soon. Looks like you also could use uh, a path to help you travel a little bit faster from work to home kind of a thing, so we'll build that with our free time whenever we get there. Get, get me out of the freezing temperature already, huh? I know I'm playing at one time speed, but I was trying to get my feet back under them. So about those codes, says Sasaito, do I got a dance for them? Yeah. Uh, were you good at DDR? Can you, can you, you take your shirt off? <laughs> um, yeah, the, the way that it's working is we have to like actually complete challenges and then the game developers will give me codes to give away for Nimbatus and for uh, that other one that's a puzzle, and for this game. For this game, I think we're set up to try and get three keys for it in total. Get one for Nimbata Space Drone, uh, Space Drone Constructor, and uh, and then the other one that I, Niche. Niche, it's, it's hard to remember because it's kind of a niche thing. Mm -hmm. What What's your problem? Wait, what? You're bad food quality, bad food variety. Well, we've just come out, oh, no, we haven't. Cold weather. For one day's 22 hours, might affect my crops. Yeah, will affect my crops. These guys don't have anything to do because you're full. You've made all of the th the. Th all right, well then just disable you. Nobody works there anymore. <sighs> the beets aren't growing fast enough, but they are growing. We needed to like build this. So, friggin' prioritize the berry gatherer, and that will at least get us food. It might be bad variety of food, but it'll be food. Alright, our expedition ran into something in the, uh, at the sand mound. Uh, dis dancing under the hot sun. So, yes, Sasaito, start dancing immediately. I need video proof. On Twitter. Looking for protection from the sun, your scavengers walk under a cliff formation. There, you meet a tribe performing a dance ritual. Ask them for shelter and offer them some water, giving them negative 40. We've got 135 in storage. Oh, a dance party, let's join. Or it's best not to interfere in the ritual, let's look for resources elsewhere. Let's give them some water, because we've got it, and we're nice people. And how could that go wrong for us? If we just start dancing next to them, they might be like, hey, cool, yeah, help, or they might be like, this is a sacred ritual. We've been preparing ourselves for months for this dance, and you've just pissed off our god. So if we just give them water, surely nobody can get angry at that. This is just what they were praying for. <gasps> they were praying for our arrival. In return, they offer you some food. I am a god. In, in return, they offer you some food, some corn. In exchange for water. Well, we had water. We needed food. That works out brilliantly. And we can stop making grilled tomato from the no tomatoes that we don't have and instead make polenta from the corn they just gave us. That helps. A bit. Let's have another chef. Um, in both directions, I think. Yeah, make both of those kitchens work a little bit faster. Are we through with the poison, boys? It looks like the poison's gone to me. Uh, they're just standing around doing jack shit now. So yes, we're done with poison. You can put that away. You don't work there anymore. We're done with the bile extractor. Anbu only lost 8% of health while we were extracting its bile from wherever. And uh, we're not in a poisonous area right now, so one doctor will be fine. And there should be more than enough staff to go around to all of the places that I want staff. You have no space for planting. Well, it's because we're in freezing temperatures, it's not growing. And so nothing's coming up. And so you can't replace it with anything. Hmm. Are we gonna exit freezing temperatures at any point in the future? In one day, 14 hours. <sighs> oh, good. Oh, uh, wait, 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 stop, 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 shit. Um, I might be able to avoid this. I might be able to avoid this 
if we do this very quickly. There's a fucking thunder. It's, it's coming right for us, too. Uh, I need the hornblower online, and then uh, there's no workers inside the hornblower. Now there are. Lie down. Ambu accepts my command. Lie down now. Don't take another step. We're walking into thunderstorm territory. There you go. All feet on ground. Good. Stop for a moment. Have a rest. You were tired anyway. Ground toxicity isn't that bad either. It's medium. But if we're going to be lying on... See the storm going past right there? I should let him, like, chill here for a bit. And it's a better place to sleep than... Than this coming up anytime soon anyway. Uh, while you're sleeping, party can go to that settlement. And then we gotta get that wisdom from the shrine. Don't let me not do that. Woo. I'm just here for the philosophy lesson. Okay, I've... So... If, if thou wishes to have things which are free in life... Fuck, what did I do? I was scrolling when that popped up and then it just went down and I don't know what it is. We're not researching a damn thing, are we? No. And all of those are blocked. I can't even. Yeah, I can't research anything without knowledge at this point. So... Why do we have people whose job it is to research them? Oh, fuck! What? Why did... What What happened? Oh, shit. Um, Anbu, are you sleeping? You're not. Oh, but... Walk, please. Anbu accepts my command. Go on. Did this hit us anyway and knock down a bunch of bu buildings and I wasn't aware? Fuck. I don't know what's going on. We found settlers at the village. Yes, bring them aboard. Uh, healthy people and hungry people. Fine. Um, if we go over here and we pause... Did anybody new come in from chat? Ebenezer, is there an Ebenezer in chat? Kelking! Kelking, you're on board now. Welcome to the Anbu. That's two out of four people who should have come aboard. Karita? Is there a Karita in chat? Or a Jocelyn? Mm. Only some of the people who come aboard are named after folks in chat. I would expect there to be a Kenneth already, and there isn't. Yeah, but some of our fucking houses, like, fell over and shit. And that would only happen if we got hit by that storm, even though I stopped just before it. It doesn't, it's fine. We've got lots of people handy to work. We are short a fair bit of housing, but that's because something's knocked down. Now we're short one housing. Balls. Balls. What? What is this? Cold weather. We're still in cold weather, but what am I... What? We're getting hit by it again? But we laid down and let it pass! Fucking... Uh. And the whole fucking village just got knocked down. Oh my god, this game. Fuck me. Uh, with the... So, first off, researchers, you're not doing shit. You're disabled. Go get a real job. Like... Uh, building things. Um... Builders. Everyone. Everyone's a builder. And prioritize, like, rebuilding this. Because with that, I can make more builders. And with that, I can make more builders. Fuck me! We're... This is not going well for our people. We could see some deaths from this. Builders. More builders, then. Now we have ten people... to build. To rebuild the whole fucking village is what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, prioritize that as well. Hit it. How are we doing on food? Very not good. People are gonna start getting hungry, falling over and dying and stuff. Will you build the thing already? I told you to rebuild it. Why are people over here rebuilding these when this is highest priority? Get on it. Get on it. God, it's like, it's, you, it's definitely plate spinning juggling. You know, I feel like I need to check the road ahead. What's coming up on us? Oh, fuck, yes. I do need to check the road ahead. Do we want to go south or this way? If we go south, Anbu will eat on its own. It's a good idea. You, go get the knowledge from the shrine. I want to go south. Uh, do we still have an Anbu? Oh, a horn blower, bastard. Uh, probably the horn is destroyed, right? Yep. 
Fuck. All right, we are working on it though. 51%, you also get highest priority. I don't know if we're gonna get it back in time to make a decision there. Unless, what the hell's Amdo doing? Oh, you just laid down? Before the crossroads? Good boy! Alright, Ambu's taking a nap. That should allow us to put everything back together. Hey, you know what we could use? Maybe some builders? Everyone's a builder. Until we get the whole friggin' village remade. I know you're all hungry. I'm doing, apparently not my best. Cold weather ends in an hour and then our crops start growing again. Less than an hour, zero time. Come on, end. There we go. Our crops should be growing again. Wheat is starting to come in. Balls. There it is. There's some wheat. We can't eat wheat anyway, so it doesn't actually help us. How about this berry picker? Give me more. It's the only fucking food we've got right now. It comes in regularly. Uh... Eh? You're handling that. Good. How are we on mushrooms? It's very hard for me to figure. 87 mushrooms, 2 Anbu food. Excellent. Anbu's going to be able to eat if we are able to tell it to go south. Which we will tell it when it wakes up. If we remember to do so. Okay. Good work, everybody being builders. Let's be other things now. Harvesters and carriers. And we don't need five guys standing around waiting to harvest. We are in medium poison right now. How many doctors do we have? Let's have a second doctor. Uh, we did get one bit of research of, of wisdom in. I think I need to wait for two. We can build a bakery? Did I start? Do I have a bakery? We need a bakery immediately if we don't already have one. I've got one knowledge. It takes two or more to unlock all of that. It's one for the blood extractor. Everything else is two here. Um, one for an Anbu laxative. Or for the sleep command. Increase Anbu's digestion speed, making it defecate more often at the expense of energy. Uh... I... hmm... What do I want to be able to research? The tree nursery, the iron furnace. I need to just sit on my research and not do anything. Once everything is the highest priority, then nothing is. <laughs> there were two buildings I wanted to make the high, highest priority, and they were, they were... They weren't doing it fast enough for my tastes. We'll just say that. A eh? What, A? Eh? Um... We're collecting a bunch of berries. I said I could make a bakery now, and we don't have one, so slow down time, bakery. It doesn't fit there, which sucks, because that'd be nice if it just fit right in there. Um, this is kind of farmland, but I mean the, the flower is right there. We want it nearby. So yes, bakery there. Make a that bakery. Uh, we got two builders, we got five harvesters, we got five carriers. Let's go down to like three harvesters. There aren't, there isn't that much regular call for harvesting, nor is there necessarily regular call for building. Why is the path not go through there? Dirt road me. There we go. And you can dirt road me there. Uh, hmm. Whoa, whoa, what's your problem? You're starving or something? What? Bad food quality. I mean, as long as you ate, then you ate. Although bad food quality might be code for starving, so there's that. Food variety, food quality, two of three, and you've got a red thing over your head and you're screaming about it. You're a little bitch. Who is this? What, what's your name, you little bitch? No, 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 you. Karita. You're lucky it was none of you in chat. Because I was gonna... we were gonna have words. We were gonna have words. Back up to two times speed. Uh... I wanna... I wanna give Anbu that command, but not until, like... You know, it makes sense. I, I don't know. I feel like if I blow the horn while it's sleeping, maybe I'll wake it up and then it'll be like, Okay, I'll start walking, and it's like, no, no, no. Have your sleep. Uh, we're in a medium... 
poisonous area. This will probably be a high poisonous area. Sleep now. Or forever hold your peace. <clears throat> oh, doors. Eh? N.A. beer. Non-alcoholic. Uh... You guys want to build that? I mean, there are some dedicated builders here. You're supposed to just, that's your whole life, is just building stuff. And we had carriers for days. There you go. I guess they built it fast enough. We get this bakery up and running. We're going to suddenly have all of the food that we ever need because we're sitting right now on 120 flour. We haven't been able to do anything with. Give me two bakers. Get in there. Ooh, there's a baker. Let's see who they are. Albertina and... Nikki. Alright, it's neither neither of them are people from chat for for fuck's sake. We've got, you know, almost half the people in here are named after chat, or a third probably, maybe. I don't know. Uh but yeah, they'll be filling up with with flour first, and then they'll be making some serious bread. And finally our wheat will be of use to us. We will want another farm that is, you know, growing something else like it would be great to get to the point where we could just leave all the farms running all the time fully staffed and if we happen to be someplace where things will grow hooray and if we aren't boo fucking who you know um this sawmill is still producing wood for us which we are just fine for we got tons of wood stone we're good on stone right now because we have a quarry that's just knocking that out I'd like to get rid of this giant trunk, which would mean putting down another sawmill. Um, but it's kind of like... I guess I could build one and then close that one down and focus on this because this is the one I want out the fucking way. Yeah, yeah, why not? Alright. And we're sitting here kind of doing nothing on our hands. Give me, uh, so what is it? Where is it? You. That's a sawmill. And then I just put you in there. Yeah, do that. This is also helping me, like, build in the direction of, of this area. So as long as I am, try, you know, getting in that way, let's try taking this this path straight down to that some, some, some bitch. Some's kind of... Is that how you want to do it, though? You know what, you, what I think you want to do? What, what do you think I want to do? I think you want to go, like... Like that. Maybe. Yeah, go like that, maybe. Because in the long run, I'm gonna have a farm here, a farm here, and maybe there's another farm that ends up being over here, or it's over there, and I just wanted to leave it space for the farm, so... You know, the builders can spend their time doing that. How are we doing on Ambu being asleep? Alright, at this point, I don't want to miss our opportunity. Anbu, actually on the map, I want you to head south. I know that there's a one of these there. But I want you to head south because you'll eat and I won't have to feed you. I think it's best for you. Go south. Now, you can disagree with me in chat right now. Type yes or no. Uh, do we go south or don't we go south? Will Anbu listen to my commands is up to you. You type yes. Anbu will go south, you type no, Anbu will do whatever Anbu wants, which I think always means that Anbu will go north instead. So if you think we ought to go north, you know, then just be a dick and overturn my decisions. <laughs> mm. I feel like we got our, um, we got back in the saddle here on the game. Took a second, but we're in. Ren Phoenix was gonna dick mode engaged. No, you were too late. Um, get your dick back out of that mode, because we're headed, we're heading south. I have decided a path, Anbu has listened to me, and it didn't wake Anbu up to give it that command. So we're okay. Like in the, in the future, I won't have to worry about whether or not that's gonna be a problem. We don't need a horn blower right now. Uh, Anbu's going to get fed. Let's reduce Anbu's poison again, now that it's waking up, so I'll turn the Anbu doctors back on. And let's send Anbu out an antidote. Jesus! You know, there's people living on your back, dude. Maybe, you know, a little bit less jerky on the 
on the leg lifts, huh? I'm sending out one more on, uh, antidote for Anbu. It's been sleeping in poison for a while. At the ground level, it was medium poison anyway. 25% will heal it for 20, and it'll take it down to 5% poison. It'll be a happy boy again. So, there go out the doctors. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> and... Anbu is now just 5% poison. Hunger will be taken care of shortly. We are leaving the the f winter biome here. So beets will still grow fine. Wheat will still grow fine because we're going into a forest. Yeah. Um, so that'll be temperate for us. Go ahead and get some wood from there or something, I guess. Oh, and there's a, there's a ruined settlement. I want to get that before it goes off screen. Mm. And we have made another sawmill. Nobody's working at it right now. Really? Have I really occupied that many people? I mean, we got harvesters standing around doing nothing, so... One less harvester. Eh. We'll have one harvester and one worker on hand. I like keeping the carriers. Carriers are always doing something, you know? The farmers are harvesting and leaving something sitting there, the carriers grab it. So we need to move berries from this side of the world to that side of the world, the carriers grab it. So I think it's worth having all of them on. Oh, uh, the exclamation point dare, calking. Yeah, I mean, I integrated with the uh, dare drop for this challenge to try and get there, so there technically is a page now on dare drop where you could ask me you know, to do a dare while I'm doing a thing. <laughs> but, uh, that wasn't my intent, necessarily. I was just trying to set it up so that we could play the game and, uh, maybe get some more free codes for you guys. Um, what is going on? Low digestion. Ambu defecates less often, causing its belly to rumble and the earth to shake. Feed it a laxative to cure his condition. Oh, fuck. Why would that be the case? Did you eat something you shouldn't have? What? That wasn't food, was it? It looked like food. These stones look like Anbu's favorite mushrooms. Eating them might cause constipation. You guys shouldn't have listened to me to go south. He's now constipated. Did it change his heart rate at all? Because that's one of the things that I think we need to get him to do. <laughs> I don't have laxatives. I could have researched them. I didn't. In fact, we can we can start research up again now because I've got two now. I don't have two now. I have one knowledge. Fuck. Why don't I have two knowledge? I guess it was just that that we got some knowledge from. God damn it. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna walk through that or even run through that. You know what? If we're going through it, slow time down first off. Get my um, decontaminator people back up. Get us fully staffed. Uh, bile extractor, how much bile we got in storage? We got 104, I'm not even gonna turn the bile extractor on unless I see that that's a problem. Uh, harvesters. Let's get more harvesters on the job. Five harvesters, because we're going into poison and we're gonna need to pick it up and get rid of it. You can go ahead and grab the uh, fully grown mushrooms as well. They're free Anbu food later. Okay, we're walking into this area. If Anbu knocks down my buildings at the same time as we're walking through the poison cloud, and that's what we're set, that's what we're walking into right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Yep, that's the situation that we be facing. Ugh. It's too late. I would have stopped him just so that he could get over his, his constipation before this happened. Um, Anbu, would it, would it be of any use to us at this point if you ran? I don't think we're going to have enough people doing things. Two doctors? Yeah, because people are going to start getting sick now that we're in the poison. Uh... Ambu Doctor can go away. That'll give me some people. Uh, you guys are fully staffed. We need the food. 
Okay. Yep. We're in it again. Walking through it. Uh, where are the poisonous plants? Okay, that just kind of blinked out of existence in a hurry there. Um, did we just, like, glitch, maybe, and I'm not gonna have to deal with it? I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for... It. Maybe if we didn't walk it, it was just passing off of the pass? I don't... Like, it popped in, and then it popped out, and I don't see that we have any bad, evil plants from it. I think we just... we got lucky. It might even be because Anbu has the low digestion, maybe the things don't stack. This game is in early access. It just came out like a week ago, two weeks ago, on Steam. Week, week and a half. Um, it's in early access, so maybe we just, you know, glitched a little bit, got lucky. Hoorah! You've not started your timer, just past one hour. Son of a biscuit! I'm always doing that, aren't I? I did it again, thank you. And you're right, I'll, I'll take the how long we've been live time to get it going. So it's one hour, uh, three, oh, nine. Yeah, okay, and then, here we go. Close. It's close to how long we've been streaming, anyway. Uh, which would mean that we need, like, a live stream break, usually. The hour turn mark. Um, but yeah, if we don't have, and didn't get any, like, poison plants here, then these guys just don't need to exist. Turn you back off. We don't need the three of you on duty. Um, we don't need the harvesters to be that job populated, either. Mm-hmm. Hornblower, do we have any reason to talk to Anbu? Uh, ooh, lots of people coming up to, to save, to pick up anyway. Okay, go ahead and... Ooh, no, no, no. All right. I'll do the Rune Settlement, then we're gonna do the Shrine. Um, and then we'll have Wisdom to actually do research into the next thing on the on the list here. Jeez, Pawn, who do you think you are setting up fake split times? A cluster truck speedrunner. <laughs> it's just what we do, man. <laughs> How do you think we get the times we do? Hard work? Effort? <laughs> Come. Don't be a sap. So Ambu Hunger is 20%. We could feed it um, with the trebuchet. Let's staff the trebuchet and take care of Ambu Hunger. Yeah, there's no feeding spots coming up, so yeah. It'll be a perfect feed. 20% for 20%. You, sir, show interactions. I want to I wanna feed it. Not enough resources available. We'll go and bring them and get them. Because we have it. It's in storage. We had it. It was in storage. Zero of twenty. Full staff required. Where are you? Are you gonna pick it up somewhere? Or? Yeah, there's there's inventory in here. I'll turn the Ambu kitchen on again. No, no, no. Deconstruction. What? No, cancel deconstruction. I will turn you on again. I will put one person to work in you. Worker moving to employment. Okay. And we've run into those nomads. Pick them up. Uh, one healthy, three poisoned. All right, welcome to the Anbu. Is there anybody in here who we don't already know? Felix? Can? Or is that Gan? Little magnets, little magnets, you just came in. Or you were already here, and... No, you're coming in... Homeless and other things. And... Rabina. Nobody, nobody wants to go to Rabina. Uh, all right, we, we definitely need more housing. We've got housing for 48, and there's 53 people living here, so that's another... another hut. Yeah, I think that's, that looks nice, you know, it's a livable district. I want to do it down here, too. I want to, like, start building housing for people, and then they'll be the people who live down here. You know, so our village stretches all the way across the Anbu, but I'm just not... I'm kind of waiting, because I know that there's different types of housing, and I figure, like, I could put the better housing down there or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right. Are we going at two times speed? We're not. We'll do it. Pressing a lot of buttons. 
So we went to that thing and our guys are back. Go to the shrine. I want the wisdom. I need the wisdom in my life, baby. Get inside me. Huh? Yep. Uh, how many people do we have staff? Just one builder and one harvester. I would like, especially now that we've got more people, I would like to have two of each just standing around. There you go. Uh, ready to do when I tell them to do so that they'll do the do. Yeah, that path can never come through there, understood. And now we have housing for 54, we got 53 people. What's Ambo doing? I see some weird head movement here. It's Ray Charlesing. Just Ray Charlesing. Just having a good old kind of time. Did we feed you yet? No, because I never actually said to do it. Do it. Show the interactions. Ambo food. Fire. Aha! We just launched food to the Anbu using a trebuchet, in case you haven't seen that before. It's pretty nice. Alright, that's the only time we don't need to feed you anymore. You're reloaded, disabled. So Anbu is now not hungry, not much poisoned, getting a little sleepy. Um, and what happened here? Oh, maybe Anbu farted or something because of its indigestion, or I don't know. A couple of things fell over. Damn. And we're storage full. Did my warehouse collapse or what colla like why would everything be full all of a sudden? We've got 177 wheat. Oh, nobody's working at the windmill. Well grind that wheat, please. Put two of you on that even. And then we should have made a shit ton of bread by now. I mean, we'll have been eating it. We, we haven't made a shit ton of bread. You. Because you didn't have the flour, because I had shut that down. Understood. Wow. Consumption versus production there. What? How did that happen? I am not entirely sure how that happened. But we're grinding the wheat to fill the thing, and then the other, and then it's doing it. So don't worry. We're also full on water? How did all of that happen all at once? Slow down. I'm confused. When I'm confused, we slow down time. Go to the poison forest, just for shits and giggles. We've got two doctors working right now, and we don't necessarily need them. What are we doing on poison people? None? Then one doctor, please. Uh... Yeah, I'm confused. Uh, you're rebuilding that air well. Did we just not have storage for the water because the air wells, like, one of them collapsed and therefore we lost a certain amount of storage? Should I be building another water tank is part of the questions here. Does the warehouse store water? Not so much. Nor does it store food. Nor does it store food. Doesn't look like it anymore. What is this? Anbu energy booster? When do we learn that? If I were to add another water tank, it would be where this log is. And we haven't taken that down yet because I wanted them to focus on destroying this one. Which they won't do. Because we're full of wood, we've got... No? They're, they're working. Here, have three people. Like, mining at the wood. <laughs> Did you go over what the challenges are? I had to go for a bit, society. Yes, um... But I could use a refresher uh, on what we selected. One of them was to get to any ending of the game. Uh... What's gonna happen with the scavengers? They brought back 11 herb, but two got poisoned. Alright, I know what happens there. Go to the settlement, maybe we'll find people who want to join us. That's the ruined settlement. We could have gone to the less ruined settlement. Probably better people living there. Um, yes, the ones that we chose were... Uh, I should still have it up over here. Gourmets and gourmands is our hard one. Produce five different kinds of processed foods at once. We've got... Um, 
bread being made now that's very processed. We've got the berry... Bowls of berry something being pro made right now. We were making corn, but we probably ran out of corn. Yeah. So we got two of them going right now. And we gotta get all three, all five at once. And I don't even know what the other five are. So that's one of them. The other three that we took were the Smelly Village, store 200 Anbu Dung. The End, uh, reach any ending. And the Partying Village, achieve a productivity level of 130% or higher. We're at 117 on the product productivity. In terms of Anbu Dung, where's the dung stored? We don't have any compost. Dung? We only have 20 dung? Where's all my dung? Bruh? So there's 20 dung being held there. And then they've got two dung being held there. Are we actually using my compost that, that quickly? Hmm. Maybe we could use a second dung collector. I mean, we could definitely process compost fast, but we'll never get to 200 dung if we're actually making the compost and using it. So, I'm closing down compost production. Um, so that we can collect 200... 200 poo. Because if I get the 200 poo, then you guys get a free game. Mm hmm Where are we on, like, everything else? The wheat is growing fine. The beets are growing fine. I need more farm, and I wanted to put it here, where that is. Um, let's look at if I were to put another farm, like if I'm alternating back and forth, because I got this nice little like overlap of right next to that tree. Like, boom, we've got a little overlap like that. So from here, that same overlap would be there, I think. Uh, does that mess with something? I mean, a little bit. Messes with the, where you've got buildings and stuff right now. Yeah, that can't be right because you need to be in this row to be doing exactly what we were doing there. I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. If I just put a farm there. It, it, it's wasting of the farmland. Because you've got these guys here. If I wanted to fill all of the farmland at some point, which I don't, ever. I think I just put it where, where I was looking, where it was like, okay, so that would give me an overlap about there. But if I take it down one more, then it'll be in line with the other things, and I like that a little bit better, and yes, like that. What's going on? The expedition is going somehow. The elderly woman. Every building here looks completely devastated with one exception. There's smoke coming out of the chimney of an old barricaded mansion. Your scavengers open the door and find an elderly woman in her rocker chair, armed with a crossbow. Um, we should offer her some food to show her that we come in peace, or we could try to sneak past and steal some of her resources, or we should let her be and scavenge the surroundings. We just started producing bread again. The odds of me being able to, like, if I postpone it, and I really try and crank out the bread, the problem is that we haven't been milling flour, and we probably can't mill it fast enough to end up with more bread. It's like flour versus production of bread versus how fast they're eating the bread in order to get up to 20 bread. And we just had five for a moment, and then they immediately ate it all because they're gluttons. By the way, don't make polenta, because, you know, we don't have that. Make uh, beet soup and berry muesli. So we're producing three different, like, processed foods right now if we get two more. I think we're just going to have to let her be and scavenge the surroundings, because I doubt we're going to get up to 20 bread to be able to give to this old lady. I'd love to do it. It just ain't going to happen with people as hungry as they are and our food supply being what it is. So, yeah, just work around her. Oh, we find a food storage and 30 bread. So, old lady did not need bread anyway. She would have been, she would have just shot us with the crossbow. She would have saw us and went, <coughs> what? Boom. And then, yeah, so give me 30 bread. It worked out great. All the things that I was complaining about. Three of five though going right now. 
man, what do I need to do to get the two more? Like, what, what are the other things? I'm gonna pause berry muesli just to roll. Polenta and grilled tomato. Yeah, we don't have to... We don't have to drill into Anbu to produce five kinds of food. I just need to have every kind of crop on hand and two more kitchens so that those kitchens can also be producing food. This is doable. This is this is absolutely doable. How are we doing here, Anbu? I didn't tell him to go in any particular direction. And he chose the right one. Holy shit. Large poison forest. A large forest full of infested plants increases toxicity levels and spawns poisonous plants on Ambu's back. I've never seen that. I've never in any of the games I've played seen that big fucking thing like that. Holy balls. Thank God Anbu turned when, when they did. Get the wisdom, please. Get that wisdom. It's just on the barely. We can just barely see it. I need that wisdom. Holy fuck, what would have happened if we walked into there? Just when you get comfortable in this game. Just when you get comfortable. What is this about, Anbu? Do you always walk like that? When did you start your Stevie Wonder days? Huh? When, when did this... I don't recall this activity. We're in some low poison right now. If Anbu decides to lay down, and it's going to, oh good. Um, let's have, like couple more doctors on staff if we can find them because it's gonna end up being a thing Ambu's gonna go to sleep you're at 14 and 14 well your your poison will you'll be poisoned more soon enough I'm sure what are we doing we're supposed to have been building a farm I'll tell you that I guess they had to get the resources dragged over and they're walking the long way or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Just kinda curious. Yeah, they do. They'll they'll bring the wood right over from here. That's that's cool. So that's helping out. I mean, he, I think he is bringing the wood in and then picking it up and carrying it next door, so that's a little bit... But it's fine. How are we doing on this, by the way? 150 resources still left in that. That's, that's nasty, man. It's gonna be ages before that's gone. You need wood. They're bringing wood in. Or are you taking the wood past the place where we need the wood to put it in the warehouse, where then the carriers will come and pick up the wood and take it over here? I think that's, yep, and that's a carrier. Ah, but the carriers know what to do. The carrier came from there, immediately walked over here, and then became a builder. You work at the worker post. I don't know if you're a carrier or a builder, but thank you for building my farm. I, I do... Ooh, cool! You laid down right before we left the poison area. Good work, Anbu. Um, yeah, you did do that, didn't you? Also before this, so it might have worked out okay. All right, so this farm, what are you gonna grow? I'll slow time down. Um, not beets, not wheat, tomatoes, cactus, corn. I'd love to be doing corn. We're about to walk into winter. Winter. So corn won't grow. Nothing's gonna grow. Well, we're in the winter biome. Okay. Well, then, you are going to be... Corn. You are going to be corn. Um, yeah. And should we use compost on you? Uh, it's okay because we're not producing any compost currently. Yeah. And I am going to close you down. I built you to grow, to be able to grow all of the things at once, or to have some supply of all of the things, but it's, nothing's gonna happen for you. And our food production is great. We're at 124% production. Can we hit 130? What do I have to do to hit 130? Housing quality is only 106 of 159. They all want a quality of three. The only way that we're going to get a quality, a housing quality of three, is if we research cottages, 
which seat four villagers and require glass and iron. Which means that's not useful to get until we have the iron furnace so that we can do things with iron. Deep quarry produces stone by drilling deep into Anbu's back. Anbu will fucking hate you, uh, apparently. And then glass blower. So we need iron furnace and glass blower before we can do either of those. And that's what I want to do. We've got the knowledge, too. They brought back the knowledge. Uh, but do we do tree nursery? We're fine for wood. We're fine for wood. We want the iron furnace. Yeah, research the iron furnace. Research is going again. Hurrah. Um, if it is going again, my research buildings are actually closed. So let's employ some researchers. Yeah. Uh, two of each of them, and it means I'm gonna have to fire people from other tasks, I think. Uh, you guys are all closed down. Berry pickers are integral to our food supply. We might be overdoing it on the berry pickers at this point. Like, what do we got? We got 35 berries. Um, we only got five... No, no. We only got two berry muesli. I'm going to reduce the number of berry pickers out here, at least. They probably spend more of their time walking back to town anyway. The way things are right now. But we're going to expand into that area, and then it'll make sense that they've been out there doing those, those things. I still need more employees. Uh, the Hornblower... I don't think we'll need to talk to Anbu anytime soon. Anytime in the immediate, anyway. And he's still sleeping anyway, so yeah. Hornblower, uh, you were fired. Anbu Kitchen, you are also fired? You have 52 mushrooms, you've made 5 food. Yeah, close down the Anbu Kitchen. We don't need that up and running. These are closed down, so that's good. Alright, that should staff our research in things. Searching things. Um, one person's poison, but we got doctors. Alright, well, we don't have enough doctors, but uh, two is fine while we're lying here. Honestly, one is probably fine while we're lying here. Yeah. Yeah. It's all working. It's all going. It's all doing. So, uh, what have you guys been doing lately? I... Uh, got a new doctor yesterday. New primary. I switched from my old primary because uh, she didn't take my symptoms seriously and sent me first and foremost to a psychiatrist. If you don't know me, I've got uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, but the doctors have never heard of what chronic fatigue syndrome is. And, uh, and, uh, and so she sent me to a psychiatrist first. Um, who told me uh, to take an SSRI, if you know what those are. They're, um, you know, it's, it's a serotonin uptake inhibitor, reuptake inhibitor or something like that. It's a brain drug, and it messes with your brain is what it does. Um, and I wanted to ask if anybody in chat here has, uh, has taken SSRIs or is on an SSRI now to get your, uh, you know, opinion of SSRIs. Um, because I looked into the potential side effects, and I looked into how often people uh, seem to say that this thing hurt me more than it helped me, and I said, in my particular situation, with my particular symptoms, uh, I don't have the energy to have the kind of side effect, and I'm already having some of the things that it says as side effects, so it could worsen them. What is, what's going on here? I'm seeing so many little flashing, like, things, and it's that one, is it just that you don't like your housing quality? Yeah. Well, get get the fuck over it. And you're poisoned, apparently. But we've got one doctor. How many of you are poisoned? Seven now. Okay, maybe we did need that second doctor on. Alright. Sure. Anbu's gonna be getting up in a second. We're gonna be leaving this territory. You won't be poisoned much longer, is my point. So, you know... Live, live with it. Live with, live with it. Yeah. A couple of doctors doing their job should, should handle that fine. What, what's your problem? No tools available. Tools? What do you mean tools? T 
tools. The compost. Well, don't don't try and compost then, Bay. It's fine. Go just do your job. I see what you're saying. Why you would complain about that, though? And it's I guess good to notify I me. Mean, I just hope that they haven't been standing around being like, "Well, we don't have any compost, so I guess we won't plant anything." Um, but yeah. So they the first doctor sent me to a psychiatrist. It was a big fucking jumping through flaming hoops in order to get to a psychiatrist. Um, there's not a lot of them uh, to go around in the first place. Uh, the ones that we found, like, they work one day a week at this facility and then who knows where they are. Um, I had to see a counselor twice in order to see a psychiatrist. I finally see the psychiatrist. Uh, yeah, 45 minutes this, this guy talks to me. It's supposed to be an hour session where I'm, I'm supposed to be a new patient. I have 10 years worth of history to convey. 45 minutes he talks to me and says, uh, yeah, try some Bolton. Ah, don't worry about it, you know, and I, I was like, well, I don't want to take something every single day for, you know, issues that come up once in a while. I'd rather just have something like reach in the cabinet if it's a problem. He said, well, you know, we'll just do this. Try this for a month. See how it works. I don't know. No big deal. If, if you don't like it, if it's not working for you after a month, no, then that's the end of it. No big deal. I looked up what, how big the deal is. These, these SSRIs... Is that what they're called? SSRIs? Yeah. Th these SSRIs are fucking... You can't get off them, is what a lot of people say. Uh, the research and studies that have probably been paid for by the company that make it um, say that 50% uh, of people who try to stop an SSRI will have withdrawals. Uh, if you look at what people are actually say, um, patients who have been on them and tried to get off them, is that they can't come off of them. That you come off of them and, and it's like they're not themselves anymore, or they have, you know, hypertension that sends them to an emergency room, or they have all of these extra symptoms and they can't stop taking these drugs after they've taken them for a month or two. This guy's just like, eh, eh, take Cymbalta for a month, we'll see how it works out for you. I look at what happens to people. I look at people, you know, saying, my God, uh, you know, don't do this. Don't, unless you absolutely have to, unless your back's against a wall, here's what happened to me telling horror stories of they tried it for a month, it did not work, they did not like it, it did not help them, then they tried to get off of it and they can't come off of it anymore. And the, the manufacturers of the drugs don't call it uh, addictive and they don't say withdrawals. They've got nouveau terms for it. Um, instead of having withdrawals, even though all the symptoms are the same as withdrawals, you're having... Um, cessation symptoms or uh, what is it D D something symptoms they've just they've just churched up the language so that they can pretend like this isn't a massively addicting thing um, but it's not addicting in the way that it's pleasant or enjoyable or that you want it it's biochemically addicting in the way that if you you know put it into your brain and then try and stop it your brain your your body is going to like reject the absence of the thing that you you gave it is what some happens to some people with these these SSRIs um, and I just can't believe that that these people have medical degrees that I've that I've been interacting with that they could hear my symptoms they could hear what I've been going through hear what I'm dealing with and not weigh pros and cons the psychiatrist I saw didn't even mention side effects didn't mention withdrawals played it off like I would be taking you know, vitamin D, like, oh, you know, it's just iron or something, you know, it's, uh, just try it for a month, no big deal. The, the term brain zaps didn't exist until they made SSRIs because this is something that happens to a lot of people who take SSRIs, and then they try and come off of it, and they had to come up with a term to describe what it felt like. It's, it sounds like a fucking horror story. And the medical professionals I'm talking to, I'm like, I want something for breakthrough anxiety. I've had a couple of panic attacks. Um, and, you know, if it gets really bad, I just want to know that I've got something in the cupboard that I can take, and then I won't end up at the fucking hospital feeling like I'm, you know, thinking I'm dying, having a heart attack, and kind of a thing, from a, from a major panic attack or from an anxiety. Um, and they're saying, well, we don't do Xanax anymore, or Valium, or, you know, and we're not going to, like, uh, sign a, a medical marijuana thing either, uh, because we do SSRIs now, and I look into it and find out that the best SSRI... This was my research today. The best SSRI 
on WebMD.com. All right, and you know, it's 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 a it's the patient reading the internet. Oh no, um, but I think there's value to the reviews from people who have actually used these SSRIs. When it's in the thousands, we're talking almost five thousand people who have used um, Lex Lexapro. Lexapro, which is one of these SSRIs. Um, it is the highest rated one with a 3.9 star out of 5 star rating. Um, and if you look closely, if you pay attention, there are three star ratings that, that the patient gives apparently after they, um, after they, you know, when they're writing up these reviews. One of them is ease of usage. Now, all three of those star ratings will be added together in order to create the final uh, star rating. Ease of usage is it's a pill you take once a day. So there's a lot of five star, four and five stars. Like, what's there to complain about uh, for a pill that you take every day except for that? Well, you got to take it every day. That kind of sucks. Four or five stars. So the, there's a huge one third benefit of basically almost a just full five star rating on ease of, ease of usage for anything, uh, any one of these SSRIs you look up. And the best one, Lexapro, is 3.9 stars. Um, when you look at the other two categories, which are uh, efficacy and, you know, effect, did it, did it do what it was supposed to do, and satisfaction. Satisfaction uh, for the SSRIs, I think, is the, is the best one right there, because why would there be a difference between efficacy and satisfaction? If it did the thing that it was supposed to do, then you'd be satisfied. The reason there'd be a difference is if it did the thing it was supposed to do and gave you four other symptoms, it, or if it did the thing that it was supposed to do and then you tried to come off of it and found out that the withdrawals won't let you come off of it and you try and step down from it with your doctor and that doesn't work either and you realize I'm gonna have to take this for the rest of my life every single day and wow, that seems pretty good for the manufacturers of this drug who are only in it for a profit, huh? Um, that's why there would be a gap between efficacy and uh, satisfaction, is either it did what it was supposed to do, but I didn't like what happened to me on the side, or it did what it was supposed to do, but I could never ever stop taking it again. So I say, I looked straight at the satisfaction because I feel like that's the end of the day, like rating, the best of these, Lexapro at the 3.9 star rating, its satisfaction rating breaks down to 55% of respondents give it a four or a five star rating. 45% give it a one or a two star rating. It's a fucking coin flip. And the doctors that I've seen want to give this shit out like it's candy. It's a coin flip whether or not it's going to hurt you or help you. The symptoms, I don't even want to talk about, uh, like the side effects rather, I don't want to talk about because they're so dark and horrible. They include such horrible things that, you know, best left unsaid, unless you were actually thinking about taking these things, in which case, you know, look into it. But the symptoms that they list, like, at the top or, or that you'll find, like, uh, on the on the banner um, sites where they just list, like, the top eight, the most common, um, they're, you know, fine. They're not great but they're they're you know reasonable they're they're the usual kind of things that come with trying a medication um but basically everything that it's supposed to treat it can also cause and and there are concerns over um what it does to people's minds because it is a drug that crosses the blood brain barrier messes with your mind and the people who make it don't actually know how it works <laughs> It's a serotonin uptake uh, inhibitor, so it prevents the serotonin from moving in, which allows it to concentrate and blah, 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 but they don't understand why it would take six weeks to get the positive effects, which means that they don't understand the mechanism by what it's, it's fucking, it is a brain, it is a drug for your brain that the people who make it don't understand how it works that the people who make it, you know, the manufacturers of it, that make money off of it, well, it just happens to be a drug that if you take it one day and then try to stop taking it, some people have said, I took it one day, it messed me up so bad I stopped taking it, I had withdrawals for months. It almost seems as though what they designed here was a pill that works beautifully for making money. If you take it, you can never stop taking it, and it's a coin flip whether it helps you or hurts you. Bear in mind 
If 55% uh, of people gave it a 4 or 5 star and 45% gave it a, um, a 1 or a 2 star rating, bear in mind, placebo... Placebo would make 35 to 50% of those 4 to 5 uh, star respondents also respond 4 to 5. The placebo effect routinely is, 30, is between 35 and 50%. If they would have given, you know, if if, if forty five or if thirty five to fifty percent of those respondents would have taken a sugar pill, <laughs> they also would have given it a four or a five star rating. That's just the reality of realities. Placebo works. Belief that you're healthy helps. Belief that you've done something to help yourself helps. It's not something to be embarrassed about or ashamed of. It's something to acknowledge and go, wow, the power of the human mind, of the spirit, of sentience in general, kind of a thing. That's you know important. But in this instance. If there are only 55% of people, just slightly over half, say that it helps me, 35% of that 55%, like, what we're talking about is that this drug, maybe, these drugs maybe only help 15 or 20% of people and significantly harm the, the other, the 45%. It's, it's, it's the kind of thing that you want to go at carefully. You want a doctor to know about this, to think about this, to concern themselves with whether or not this is what we're going to do for you in particular with your symptoms and, you know, and uh, everyone that I've talked to, the psychologist that, you know, wanted me to take it, treated it like it was nothing, um, gave it to me after 45 minutes of a chat that should have been an hour long at least, I'm sure he billed my insurance for an hour, the fucking... Since that psychiatrist, you know, I've told other doctors, I looked into it, I don't want to take an SSRI. And they're like, why don't you want to take an SSRI? I'm like, well, it's a shotgun medication that you might as well take a baseball bat to my head. And then when I wake up from the coma, ask me, do you feel better or worse? Because it's a fucking coin flip. And I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> and I would rather pursue other possibilities or other medications or, or no medication at all and just try and cope then risk the kind of things that I that I read about this, but the doctors are all just like shocked that I would have any any misgivings about every single day of my life ending up like having to take a, a pill that that fucks with your brain. That everyone that that a lot of people who take say you know it made me feel not like myself. It uh, made me feel like bored with everything, as though the entire world was a slot. Like I, I've read. I've read too much. I've read too much. And, you know, you can focus on the bad or you can focus on the good, or you can step back and just get, like, the broad strokes of it. And I think that's the important, that's the best way to go, is get the broad strokes of it. And in the broad strokes of it, between the official research that's probably being funded by the people who are selling it, and the actual, like, patients who are taking it and then telling their stories online, I'd say it's about a 60-40 uh, coin toss. Uh, of 60% of people, it will benefit them in a way that they decide that it's it was worth it, and 40% it will hurt them in a way that they might be saying, I wish I had never even taken the first pill. And at those rates, I don't want to fuck with it. Um, so I'm curious if anyone in chat has any experience with those, has ever tried one or is on one, uh, and how it's worked out for you in particular, but, you know, I'm just... I, I have been, you know, I, I wasn't able to work for three months, I wasn't able to live stream, I, this, this, I wasn't able to do this for three months, this is my work, sitting in a chair, talking, and playing a game, I wasn't able to do this for three months, because of the, the bad health things that I have had happen to me, um, and I have been interacting with doctors, and, uh, been to the emergency room twice, and stuff like that for, for the past five months, I guess, total, yeah, since, since April, um, and I am just, I would say my experience having interacted with half a dozen different medical professionals, um, who were specifically, you know, looking at me like our, our interaction was patient, doctor, you're the dude, what, what are we going to do here? I would say that the American medical profession is mostly useless. I would say it's full of a lot of people who are very arrogant, very egotistical, who are afraid to not be the smartest person in the room, um, and who, if you try and tell them, well, 
I've done some research of my own, they're absolutely not going to listen, who have nonetheless absolutely sucked up every fucking drop of marketing that the, um, that the drug manufacturers, Big Pharma, have dumped out on them that are desperate to feel like they're part of the industry of medicine, to feel important, to feel like they've made it, and just rolling with whatever happens to be going on without really caring so much about what happens to the patient, although they'd like to convince themselves of that, it seems to me that they make decisions more often based on whether or not they'll be able to get paid from the insurance company. Uh, they don't want to go to f war with an insurance company. They don't want to give a patient a treatment that they might get sued for later, even when they believe that that's the best, pay best treatment. And all of that is not actually being a doctor. That's not, there, there's no reason you took the oath then. If you're not willing to risk, if you're not willing to just show up and do the job where you care for other human beings, and that's first and foremost, if you're going to put your own monetary gain in front of that, you're not a doctor. You know, monks who take a vow of poverty and then decide to, you know, keep their beamer, they haven't actually taken the vow of poverty and they're not real monks. Doctors who don't actually, like, you know, treat their patients and care about that first and let the chips fall where they may, are not actual doctors, and I have I have interacted with fewer actual doctors than I have doctors, and the few people who I think might be doctors, it's not certain yet. Like the the medical prof I I have gotten nothing from them, and I've never tried to interact with them before. I've never had a particularly good opinion of them in the first place, or thought that they were going to do stuff. And because I've had interactions with them before in my life, you know, one off here and there from childhood all the way up. But even when I started having my issues, I stayed away from doctors because what are they going to do was my question. And then I finally got desperate enough to be like, well, all right, you know, I'm going to I'm going to do my best to try and work with them. I need to get a diagnosis here. Things need to start moving. Things are so horrible. Like I need help. They're the people to help. I'm going to I'm going to go to doctors. My God. My God, I, I'm most of it is a waste of time. Like, I am sifting through 90% of feces in order to try to come up with 10% of, of help and treatment from these people. Um, yeah. And from this industry. It's, 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 it's horrible. It's nasty. And I'm getting it for free. <laughs> you know, like, uh, for everything that we can complain about in America, about insurance companies, and, you know, how do we not have, you know, free health care and all that kind of thing. Uh, I've got state-sponsored health care. Michigan is a Medicaid expansion state. And that means that, you know, they don't consider um, assets or savings or anything like that. It's just income-based. And then you get, you know, ostensibly free health care. Very few things that would have any kind of copay on it. That's where I am right now. And not paying for this stuff, it's not worth what I'm not paying. Not paying for these people, it's not worth what I'm not paying. It's not worth what the state is paying. Um, it's 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 really shitty out here and you can't find you know someone who actually knows how to do the job and then does it uh who is that mosaic task force with the resub i hope our subs help you thank you so much with the tier two sub for 57 months thank you mosaic i'm i'm scrolled up in chat here because i see people have been talking i needed to vent and rant a little bit so i've just just gone, but I want to go back and Kenneth Wan G's pawn, uh, wait, no, that was, who do you think you are setting up fake split times? That was before I got into the serious shit. Um, let's see. I have taken and gotten off of Prozac, uh, Fluxetine, and it worked well for me, got me out of bed. Fluxetine was, when I looked at, uh, Fluoxetine or, or, and Prozac, um, those were, uh, not rated as well as, as Lexapro, but I think the fluoxetine was higher on the list uh, than they wanted to put me on Cymbalta, which is Dulox, Duloxetine or something like that, which I think is one of the lowest uh, in terms of people thinking that it actually helped them. But uh, it's, you took it and you got off it and it worked well for you and it got you out of bed. Okay, a lot of docs are just pill pushers now, it seems. And, and the thing is, they're pill pushers in this... They're just... They don't have the balls to be doctors. Like, does it not make more sense to give someone who has uh, infrequent breakthrough anxiety uh, that can lead to a panic attack a drug that they'll have to take every single day that interacts with their brain in a way that no one understands and that uh, in 25% of cases uh, people have uh, significant difficulty coming off of 
Um, and some people just can never come off of it after they start trying it. Or what if you gave them 10 pills of Valium that they could keep in their, you know, uh, medicine cabinet. So if it gets real bad, they could just pop something and then it would go away. And which of these makes more sense to you? Every day of your life, a medicine that a lot of people can't even get off of, that gives three to four um, side effects even when it's working well for most people, that takes about a month to get onto and is hard to get onto because of the side effects, and then might start working for you, or might not, and then you can't get off of it. Hmm, which of these makes more sense? They don't have the balls to prescribe what makes sense, what's logical, you look up what Xanax, I've been talking about Valium, look up what Xanax on WebMD has a star rating of. It's like 90-something percent. It works. But, some people misuse it, abuse it, sell it on the street because, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice experience, a pleasant experience as well. And the doctors are, you know, afraid of the government coming after them, I guess, and so afraid that they're going to hawk and shill these, we don't know how they work, brain drugs that are, it's, it's a shotgun drug. It may, it might work, and it might not, and if it doesn't, it might fuck you up permanently. Here, it's like a Tic Tac, just try it for a month. <laughs> Don't even touch Lexapro, can cause permanent brain chemistry changes, made my grandmother very impulsive and petulant. Side effects may include suicide, that's what I was dancing around, gives you enough of an up, up to, yeah, yeah, Kenneth. Um, that's what I was dancing around, is that, uh, and in the 90s when this was new stuff, um, the news was reporting very often about the uh, connection, uh, the potential connection that needed more research uh, between people who were on these SSRIs and the increased rates of suicide when family members were coming forward and saying, my so-and-so, you know, started taking that because they had anxiety and they killed themselves and they never would have done that. They never would have done that. That's not them. And everyone around them would agree, no, that's not them. They never would have done that. Um, there was interest, the media was covering it and it slowly but surely got covered over with advertising and media. Um, you know, there's a reason why you can't turn the television on and keep it on for an hour without seeing, uh, ask your doctor about blah, 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 today because now the very news and journalistic sites that would you know usually be covering this kind of thing have a monetary incentive to keep their advertiser like i i don't want to make it seem like they're you know uh, a horrible thing that won't work for anybody um but they're absolutely dangerous they're absolutely dangerous and some people actually have suspected also that it increases i mean what kenneth just said um in grandmother, in your grandmother, made her very impulsive and petulant. Some people have, have suggested violence. Um, some, you know, some individuals have a reaction from these magic brain drugs that they don't understand how it works that creates violence and that there could be people sitting in prison right now for having killed people. And the reason they did was because their doctor put them on an SSRI and didn't monitor and didn't check back and didn't make the connection that here's a brain drug and then you became violent. Um, there used to be a conversation about it. Now the conversation is doctors just tell you to get on them and that it's no big deal. Uh, and the media is, is very quiet about it. Um, you know, and it's like, who do you trust? Uh, the thousands, the, the over 2,000 people... Uh, out of 5,000 um, WebMD who came online to warn other people, I tried this, I tried Lexapro, and this horrible shit happened to me. Or do you trust the people who are selling it and the doctors who they market to? And I say I trust the people who are talking about it um, openly online. And I, I acknowledge that you're going to get more people complaining about something, that something went wrong and something didn't work online, than you are people who are going to come online and say, everything did exactly what it was supposed to do. You know, you don't, you don't, if, if somebody tells you this will do that and then it does that, what's there to say about it? <laughs> There's not, so you're going to get more negative reviews, but at a 45-55 split for Lexapro satisfaction, uh, give it 10% skew and it's a 35-65, that's one-third of everybody who takes the thing walks away feeling like it, it hurt them more than it helped them. 
that's not that's not a great medication and it's something that your doctor should be like very careful in in suggesting and I've had three or four different doctors at this point who were like SSRIs man just give it a try what's it gonna hurt well check the lawsuits brother uh, I'd stay away from it, Pawn, but I'm just some dude in Twitch chat, says Triflistic. We're all just some dude in Twitch chat at the end of the day, and the doctors need to recognize they, too, are just some dude in Twitch chat. Um, especially the, the doctors who are clinicians, you know, clinical doctors. Tre uh, practicing, you know, medicine doctors. Because they are mostly just trusting that the research doctors have done what they're supposed to do. They don't really know. They've had some training, they can understand some lingo, they can get how the mechanics work, but if you're not a laboratory doctor, then that doctor doesn't really know shit either about, you know, how it works, what's happening. And it would do very good if the doctors would get off their fucking, stop thinking that they were, you know, gods and everything, especially these little, little primary general practitioner doctors, you know. That's been my experience, is uh, at least specialists you know, can t tell you something about something. They'll, they'll seem like they've gotten expertise, but the, uh, the, the general practitioner, primary doctors, the two that I've, I've gone through at this point are, have both just been like, they're just there so people can come in and be like, I I've got a cough and, and I've been sneezing. And, and then the doctor can say, well, you realize it's flu season, right? Um, you know, j the simple shit, um, and anything more complex, uh, they just want to throw away, wash their hands of, get you out of their office. This is quite a topic to walk in on, says Flora Seidler. Flora Seidler, we, we saw you walking around here earlier. Sorry, you did have to walk in on this. I'm, I've been seeing doctors. They, they wanted to put me on an SSRI. I, I looked into it. I said, I, I don't think so. And uh, since then, I, I can't get treatment for anything else because everybody wants to say that uh, all of your symptoms are probably just from... Basically, it's all in your head. Okay, the anxiety that I didn't have until five months ago caused ten years worth of chronic fatigue since, since, uh, since, <laughs> since the days of the Zen Center. Sure, that's how time works. They're not, they're not particularly smart, these doctors, is what I'm saying. Uh, the big brain talks in politics is what I treasure from the Extreme Sys Mosaic Task Force. Um, I don't want to leave anybody, you know, think, I do want to leave you like, if, if you have a reason for an SSRI, which SSRIs are for, you know, uh, anxiety, depression, nerve pain, um, although now doctors are starting to try and prescribe them for things like bowel problems, because some people who have taken them have said, oh, well, my bowels got a little bit better while I was taking them, so let's go off-label with this dangerous brain drug. Good idea. I do want to leave you with a, with you know, the mindset of if any doctor ever says, you know, get on an SSRI, let's try it. Um, that you can come to them and say, whoa, doc, let's talk about that, and you need to convince me that this is the best option, because they are dangerous things. Uh, and it doesn't seem like the people who are supposed to tell you that they're dangerous things are telling you that they're dangerous things. Psychiatrists didn't mention side effects. Psychiatrists didn't mention uh, withdrawals. Treated it like, take it for a month and we'll see how it, th that, those were his exact words. Yeah, just try it for a month, we'll see how it goes. There are people who have tried it for a month and never been the same. There are people who have tried it for a month and never been able to come off of it. I saw five star ratings. Five star ratings, all five stars uh, from people in the comments on WebMD about Lexapro, I think. Five star rating that ended with, although, ended with this sentence, although if I had known that I would not be able to be myself without taking this drug every day, I never would have taken it. Five star rating, someone completely satisfied who ends his thought, who ends their thought by saying, although if I would have known, I never would have started it. That's not supposed to be a five star rating, but that person doesn't realize it. Um, yeah, so I, I don't want to be like, you know, somebody who's spurring up because that's what doctors, that's why doctors overcorrect is because people go online and they look something up and they go, oh my God, look at these side effects. And it's like the side effects rarely happen with this. Okay. Don't get, oh God, now like I got problems getting people to take the treatment that they, that would help them because they go online and read shit. That's the doctor's perspective. And I think they're overcorrecting by about a thousand fucking percent. 
to treat SSRIs like, ah, oh, they're nothing. How do you just take them? What? No, we don't do Xanax anymore. That's horrible. 90% of people who took Xanax said that it helped them. Take this thing that 55% of people say helps them and 45% say, oh my God, no one should ever take this. Take that instead. So I want you to know um, and be aware, but I also don't want to end up being like the reason why somebody didn't take something that would have helped them. It's just like, they you should take it when it's the thing to take. But don't let somebody give it to you just because you've had some anxiety issues or something, you know? Fucking take a yoga class, uh, uh, you know, learn to meditate first. And if that doesn't help and your back's against a wall, then, you know, have a conversation with your doctor. But I haven't had a conversation about SSRIs with any of these people. What I've had is them telling me, just take it. And me going, no. Um, let's see. Let's, I'm scrolling up because things moved a lot more than I saw them moving. Is it? Mm -hmm. Uh... I'm trying to remember which bias that is, but yeah, on one hand, you have to be careful about falling into that bias, uh, which I think was probably when I was saying, you know, people online are going to complain more than they're going to laud something. Uh, have to be careful about falling into that bias, but on the other hand, knowing the real, as in people can identify, rather than the mile-long list of potential side effects, uh, is helpful. Yeah. Um, and and I, I just don't think that there's anybody who's particularly trustworthy right now. <laughs> After having, you know, looked at various websites and listened to things, I, th I think there's a lot of power in money and in marketing, and Big Pharma's got a lot of money and way more marketing than they should be allowed legally to do in America. Shouldn't be able to, you know, market drugs to patients. Ask your doctor about such and such. No. No. You go into your doctor and tell them what's wrong, and then your doctor, having, you know, stayed current with the journals, um, recommends what you should take. You don't, you don't ask your doctor, but that's what it is over here. If you live in another country, then you're like, my God, right? You, you know about it and you're like, my God, do they not have, like, laws in America? Um, use a more sophisticated version of WebMD, then write your referral to someone with a clue if it's beyond a quick Dr. Google. <laughs> I've definitely had that experience where it's like, and you know, that's, I, I'm fine with that. I just want my doctors to reflect that. I want like a doctor to be like, you know, what you're talking about is over my head. Sounds like a neurology issue. Sounds like it might be a rheumatology issue as well. I'll write your recommendation to those. And then, you know, you can get that, you, you go see somebody who knows about it. Instead of this, like, uh, I've never heard of it. So it probably doesn't exist. Go see a psychiatrist. Cause it's all in your head. Um, and, and that's got to be just about their egos, you know? And, and the thing is, every doctor that I've seen, by the way, I've walked in, I've brought a 30-page pamphlet on chronic fatigue syndrome and set in front of them. I, I showed it to the guy that I just met with, New Primary, yesterday, who's completely useless. Um, and they don't have any interest in it. They're not going to read it. This guy, this guy yesterday said to me his, his, his words, his exact words were, I've never heard of a neurological issue that will cause crashes followed by fatigue. And then I pulled out the thing and said, you know, and, and pointed at it and said, you're, you're describing exactly what's in here, uh, along with the bowel issues that I've been having, that's in here too. The only thing that's different is that they, they talk about how um, doctors tend to, you know, assume that it's something psychological and in the person's head, but it's a real disease. And he just kind of kept steamrolling in his direction of, I'm gonna recommend a psychiatrist. I had to, I had to bend his arm you know, I had to force him, ostensibly, uh, use my will against his will to get him to write me a, a gastroenterologist for the, for the, uh, what is probably irritable bowel syndrome that I've developed since the ER visit in the past six months, which is perfectly in line with the, with the onset of, of chronic fatigue syndrome, and most CFS people have, uh, IBS, bowel syndrome, yeah, um, it's all, it's all right there. All of the information is there, but the doctor doesn't know about it. And because they don't already know about it, they're not going to like admit that they have something to learn. They'd rather assume that the person who's coming in and saying, well, I think it's this. Well, how would you know you didn't get a medical degree? 
Like, well, I was able to search my incredibly specific, very weird symptoms that you don't recognize, uh, you know, uh, going with anything else. You can't find it because it's very rare. Well, it's not really rare. Two million people in America probably have it. But it's very little, like, known about. You don't know about it because it's very little known about, which makes it easy for me to search these very strange symptoms and find them all coalescing in this group of two million people who I'm like. You don't want to know about? Okay. Psychiatrist, you want me to see a second one? Because I already saw one and it didn't do anything. All in the head, Lamau. Yeah, sure. I mainly agree with most of the things you were saying. America healthcare is just horrendous. Yeah, even when you can get access to it, it's like... I think the capitalist influence on the system isn't, you know, it's not just about not being able to access it. When you can access it, everybody's corrupt. <laughs> everybody's already corrupt. The ER visit back in April, I checked, they checked me in with 180 over 90 blood pressure. That's a pulse width of 90. That's horrible. The 180 over 90 also is called hypertensive crisis. And any trained doctor or nurse should know 180 over 90 is hypertensive crisis. And what you're supposed to do is put that person in a bed and monitor them. And if their blood pressure does not come down quickly, you start administrating something, probably a nitrate, a small amount in a very drip because you don't want to bring it down too fast. You start bringing their, their blood pressure down because a hypertensive crisis will damage the brain, the heart, and the kidneys. A doctor knows that, a nurse knows that. The people at uh, Henry Ford Emergency Room in Detroit apparently did not know that. Or rather, they had been told what the emergency rooms uh, tell their staff now, that hypertensive crisis doesn't happen until there has been brain damage or heart damage or kidney damage. That's a thing in America. Doctors have been told that hypertensive crisis doesn't exist until the damage has already been done, so you don't have to treat them when they're in threat of that damage because they're not technically in hypertensive crisis until there's nothing that you can do anymore. Look into it. Google that shit. Google the effort to try and get emergency rooms who have come up with this policy um, in order to, you know, try and redefine the concept of hypertensive crisis so that they don't get sued and so uh, they can leave people dying in their waiting rooms um, while their understaffed emergency rooms, uh, you know, can't deal with, with the volume. Um, you know, that's a th you can look into that and find out about it. Um, I, I am a victim of that, and because no one did anything for me while I was in hypertensive crisis, uh, I have had uh, five months worth of, of brain issues, of neurological issues, of heart health issues, uh, and, and now of bowel issues as well. I didn't have any of those before this thing happened. And if the doctors would have done what they were supposed to do at an ER and observed me and helped me get my, my blood pressure down, I probably wouldn't have n not been able to work for the past three months. Uh, and I probably wouldn't have, you know, suffered massively. Uh, you don't want to know what it was like for me across these past five months. I don't remember whether I'm on an SSRI or an SNRI, except for Exifor and Wellbutrin. I didn't look up any of those, so they're probably an SNRI, because uh, I didn't grab them off my list of SSRIs, but yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, how, what's been your experience with it, the Amish Stig? You know, has it worked out for you? Doc, my Twitch Zen master said we should have a talk. Would be a fun conversation starter. <laughs> Floor Seidler says, uh, uh, I was on Wellbutrin a few years ago. Never really had any complications. I even just stopped completely without assistance. No problem, said the Amish, er, talking to the Amish Stig. It helped me, but I was so done with having very few emotions. That's a big side effect that gets talked about a lot by patients and not so much by the doctors um, and not really even in like the side effects lists. Um, the like reduced sense of emotions and disconnected I guess is how some people describe it. It's just like things are happening and I'm just not involved. I'm not interested. And sure that's one way to uh, to reduce anxiety is to 
give someone a medication that makes them not care about anything. But, uh... <laughs> It gets into that very Orwellian territory, especially the way that they don't seem to like take it seriously or tell you what the side effects are, and they seem to just want to put everybody on it uh, who has anxiety, which is like one of the top two things that people have in America, that, and then they just throw you on an SSRI or something like that. Um, it seems it gets to the Orwellian territory where it's like, just take this pill every day of your life, which you'll never be able to stop, potentially, because if you do, you'll have massive withdrawals and you'll never feel the same again. And, uh, it will make you not care. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna go run the world now. Hope you don't mind breathing, uh, smog for the rest of your life and drinking toxic waste. Bye bye <laughs> You know, it gets to that, that point of Orwellianness. Here's this, here's this fucking brain drug. We don't know how it works. One of the main things is that 50% of people will have massive withdrawals. <laughs> you can't come off of it. It makes you not give a fuck anymore about anything. And uh, the people who are giving it to you are the rich people who run the fucking world. And it's like, huh, are you just trying to silence the proletariat mass who should uprise, cut your heads off, and take the, take the world over? <laughs> take their world back for themselves? <laughs> You've, how did we get here today? How did I do it? <laughs> I've been wanting to, like, I'm like, when I come back to streaming, I'm going to be a positive guy. I'm just gonna, we're gonna play games, we're gonna be upbeat, we're gonna be silly, and I'm not gonna get into all that political shit, and I'm not gonna drag people down, and I don't wanna be, you know, I gotta be, uh, uh, less, less angry and less worried about things myself, so I'm just gonna stop talking, but here we are. I, it's just, it's what I do, apparently. Um, marketing, prescription drugs, thanks Obama, or Reagan. <laughs> that and, uh, and, uh, what was it? The lifting of restriction on advertising directly to children. I mean, we got, we got He-Man and Transformers. <laughs> we got a lot of good, good properties that have no depth to them and no, mar like, <laughs> we got a good prop, a lot of properties out of it. I was warned of it. It was informed by my doctor properly. I live in Europe. Oh, well, of course you were. Of course you were. And people were monitoring you, and they were checking, and they were asking you questions about it. I live in America. They they put one of them in every case of Tic Tacs. <laughs> one free with every roll of, of fucking fruit roll-ups. <laughs> Here's an SSRI. Give it a try. Couldn't hurt. It's been... Very helpful for relieving the sensation of what I can only describe as a ball and chain on my soul. Can't say I've had emotional disconnection, but then again, I've been so emotionally repressed for so long. I don't know that I'd have anything to notice missing. Oh. No, that's good. I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. You know, you're one of the lucky ones. <laughs> you're you're one of the 55%. Um, you know, that it, that it did what it was supposed to do. Um, yeah. That's, that's... In, in this chat, I want to note that this chat is like a perfect fucking analog of the WebMD comment section, right? Because there's been, I, I've read at least four or five people, including a second-hand report from Kenneth about his grandmother, and what have we got? We've had like, uh, I think we've had three out of five people say that it helped. Um, one of them said that it had some, you know, drawbacks to it. Uh, the other two are just like, no, it helped. Um, and, uh... And I th or no, we had five, and then there's been, and then like two or three have said it's it, it seems it feels like it's broken down in the same percentage things. You know, my grandmother had all of these issues. Oh my God, um, I was on it, was able to come off it. Um, it helped me, but it uh, you know made me feel uh, a lack of emotions. Like it's exactly it's exactly representative of what these things seem to be. Uh, there's 55% of people, it just helps, and there's, there's not that much problems to speak of. And 45% of people, um, uh, have problems, or it's a living hell. <laughs> is, is what it seems to be. We need to get back to the game. Should we pick these settlers up or not? We're gonna commit to picking up. Two and two, healthy and hungry. Head over here, and see who they are. Sasaito, welcome to the staff. I'm gonna put you to work. Mosaic Task Force, welcome to Anbu's back. Hube, you're you're very proud. It's just a bit too much, too much, um, you just go for things. And Leonor. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome Mosaic Task Force and Sasaito onto the back of Anbu. 
after all of that, SSRI, the state of medicine in America, holy shit, watch out for yourself because the people who you're paying to watch out for you aren't doing their jobs talk. We should we should have ourselves a live stream. Two hours without a live stream? We should have ourselves a live stream break. I bought the game, by the way. I haven't played it yet, but I was convinced. There you go. Did you hear that? Uh, Stray Fawn Studios? I sold at least one for you. So, you know, give me some more free keys when we complete the, the challenges that we're going for, which is what we're going for. Right now, on this very live stream, I'm gonna complete some challenges uh, from Dare Drop, from Dare Drop, and uh, hopefully they will get us uh, some more free keys to give away. Only, not not so many to this game. I think if we got them all, we probably won't get them all, then there would be three free keys for this game, but there's also Nimbatus, the space drone constructor, and there's the other one. I could just about remember it. <laughs> We'll be back in seven minutes after this live stream break. Don't go anywhere, Pawn, not out. And, and the volume all the way up there. There we go.
Hello, I am the Ronan Paul. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash Ronan Paul live stream on twitch.tv slash Ronan Paul. We've just uh, been riding the back of this Anbu here in the Wandering Village while discussing, you know, the uh, unadvertised uh, side effects, bad, bad, bad end of the stick, uh, potentially of SSRIs <laughs> the, and the state of American medicine. Because I just saw a doctor yesterday who, uh... <clears throat> I'm not sure if, if should be allowed. <laughs> um, and Amish Stig, uh... Curious to see how it interplays with upcoming medical fuckery. Um, because, let's see, you're talking about... Yeah. Um, be careful with... I, I read during the, the live stream break, I read your comments, and, you know, be careful. Like, don't let them not consider what they should be considering because SSRIs interact with like a lot of stuff is what it seems to me what I've read recently in researching these things after I was angry at my doctor because uh, apparently it was completely <laughs> unreasonable of me to not want to take a drug that fucks with my brain every single day of my life and potentially get stuck taking it for the rest of my life because the manufacturer of the drug happened to develop something that has such withdrawals that you just might never be able to stop. Um, yeah, like definitely just hold them accountable in terms of having the conversation about, uh, about, medi about potential interactions between one medication and whatever SSRI you might be on, uh, whatever else you might be taking, really. Um, especially if you're in America, because I don't... I, think there's any reason to trust these people anymore. They're all tainted, they're all corrupt, they've all got a, uh, uh, more interested about, you know, the dollar and not being sued and all that kind of stuff. You just want your doctor to be, you know, someone who got in for the right reasons and who's going to treat you, first and foremost. And if, you know, they have to go down swinging, they're going to do the right thing. They're going to treat you. They're going to get you, you know, prescribe you the medication that you should be on, not the one that the insurance company would prefer. You know, they're just going to fucking make it happen. And if all of the doctors had balls, the insurance companies really couldn't do anything in this country, could they? If American doctors had a pair of fucking testicles and grabbed them and held them and, you know, acted like you'd want a doctor to act, uh, then what the fuck could the insurance companies do? Hmm? A fully grown mushroom, ready to be harvested. I'm gonna mark these for harvest before I unpause, and then we're gonna get back into this game. Ah, and just relax. Just chill out to this very chill-outable game that I've tainted with all of my... my, uh... my medical issue anxieties or whatever. I, I really did have to vent, and it made me feel a lot better to, uh, to talk to you guys and to hear back from you and find out that, yeah, it's, uh, it seems to be... Uh, exactly the way that that I think it is after doing some research <laughs> hear from people in chat and, and the description is basically what I found out there of yeah it helps me uh, this other person that I know it really fucked them up uh, you know just all the things so where are we what are we doing what's the big what's the deal we are currently researching the iron furnace after you know having to work pretty hard in order to get uh, the two uh, intellect, the two wisdom that we needed in order to open that up. We're about to walk into Winterlands, and we're as set up with that, for that, as we could possibly be with our wheat farm and our beet farm. Those are the only two things that actually will grow in the winter biome we're about to walk into. Uh, we've got two berry gatherers, uh, not fully staffed over here right now, but two of them, so we're, we're really good on food. We're, we're milling, you know, the wheat into flour and making the bread. Uh, we're, we're making berry muesli from the berries we're pulling in. We're turning beet soup, beets into beet soup for people. Uh, we're 26 on, in terms of our, you know, 26 positive for feeding people. And our pro productivity is almost at the place where I could earn some games for y'all. Because that's part of what we're doing here today, is uh, trying to complete some dare drop challenges, which will get us some free Steam keys to give away to chat here. So that's what I'm working on. Um, one of those challenges is to 
be producing five processed foods at once. We are currently producing three processed foods at once. We've got this new farm uh, that's going to help us get up to four. We'll need another kitchen as well. But um, right now, it doesn't, it won't work. It's not helpful. Um, because we're going into that winter biome. So no, no use planting anything. It's just, it's just nothing's going to grow. Uh, neither tomatoes nor corn will grow once we cross the winter lands and our Anbu is about to do that very thing. Oh, scavenging party returned. What else could we be doing? Before we get too far away from that, just six hours away, send them out for there. Uh, let's try and actually time this so that we, you know, don't get hit by that tornado this time. We'll be picking up some some people soon. Anbu's a bit hungry and a bit poisoned. Let's let's do something for Anbu before we ask it to do stuff for us. So let's get our trebuchet back online. Enable you. Enable the Anbu doctor. See if we've got staff for all that. We do. Anbu, have a bite. I can't have a bite. One Anbu trebuchet waits for workers. There you go. Have a bite, Ambu, and then it probably still needs to wait for workers because people are always just doing whatever the hell they want around here instead of what I tell them to do. Okay, that's getting to the end, and it'll be bouncing back and coming at us shortly. Not thrilled for. We can go ahead and hit up this quarry, I suppose. I think I'm going to ask Ambu to stop walking. And then... Once it goes past, we'll run it. That's my plan right now. Uh, but slow time down, and let's also get Anbu antidoted. There you go. Back out here, back up to speed. Yeah, okay, slow back down, because I think we're going to hit it if I don't do something. So, Hornblower, oh shit, I need you, you know, staffed. And what I want you to do is tell Ambu to just lie down and wait a second. And we've got more Nomads to pick up. Who do we get? Two healthy and three poisoned. Um, whoa, no, 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 stop Ambu. I did give him the command to lay down, right? Did you listen to me? Anbu accepts my command. Five nomads have joined the village. Some of them are poisoned. Let's see if any of them are you in chat. Is there a Heidi here? Or a Harmony? Or maybe a... Her... 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 Herina? Aaron... Arena? Arena? Kaylee? I don't think there's anybody. There's... Wasn't there a fifth one? Didn't I bring five people on board? Where you at? Yo. You? Alan. Is everybody who's in chat right now on the Anbu already? Raise your hand if you're on the Anbu already. Yeah, go ahead and harvest that mushroom. All right, are you laying down for me, Anbu? If I come out here and see what's going on, two times speed. We're we're waiting. Okay, things would be bad if we were in there right now. So what I want to do is I want to wait. Till now, and tell you to walk. It's gonna take a second for him to get back up. It's past. It's past us. And I could actually tell him to run if I needed to. And we could get up to 6 BPM. Is that one of our challenges? God damn it, I can't remember. Uh, let's do it. I want you to run. Run, please. Anbu. Run. There you go. Go ahead. I fed you. I will feed you again when the time is right. But I want you to run through here to make sure that we get past that one. But I could keep you running, and maybe we'll skip past that one too. I think I'm going to. If he'll keep running, it'll increase his sleepiness, probably increase hunger as well. But I think we'll be okay. Is this the Ambu you stabbed in the back or a new one? I have removed a horn or two from this one's back as well. But it's not the one that I did the worst of damages to. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ambu sleepiness and hunger on their eyes. That's way the hell out there. I just want you to keep running and get us past this. Okay. 
I don't want to get hit by no fracking thunder fox. You gotta beat it, though. It's on its way back, man. It's on its way back for us. Hey, we finished research on... Something. I can't remember. Blood Extractor of the Sleep Command. We're not researching anything because we don't have any... Oh, we do have knowledge. I don't want to spend my knowledge on these things. They're only... We need another two. And it was the Iron Furnace. We need to get the Glass Blower. And I want the Tree Nursery. Those are priorities, so we need more knowledge before we carry on with research. Which does mean, I'll slow time down for a moment so that I can reach in here to the researchers and tell them, you don't work here anymore. Go get another job. And then back out here. Are we good, Ambu? Not yet. You still running? Yeah, he's running. You trust me. Trust me, this is good for both of us. Mainly for me, because I live on your back. Man, it doesn't seem like you're running. Oh, there we go. Put it on two times speed. Get through there. Oh, it's coming for us, man. Come on, you can do it. 5.9 BPM. 6 BPM! Is that one of our challenges? To get its heart rate up to 6? 6? 6.1. I... Probably not. Get through, get through. Are you through? I think you're through. No. We were there for a second. A thunderstorm sweeps over my village. Several bu- God damn it! Several buildings have been damaged. Oh shit! Yeah, several buildings have been damaged. Son of a bitching motherfucker. Walk. <sighs> you weren't fast enough. 6.9 BPM. Nearly gave him a fucking heart attack and it didn't, didn't, didn't matter. Hell. And, and now you're gonna lay down and, and we'll be in poison. Because you ran for it. Son of a bitch. Alright. Um. So. You guys are builders. And, uh, all these builders are builders. I'll leave the other one. What were you doing anyway? Your harvesters? Your builders. Go ahead. Anybody who doesn't have a job, start rebuilding the village. Son of a... I worked so hard for it. It's a very slow beating heart. It's a very big beating heart as well. So that's the thing. How are we doing? Would the doctor's still open? And there's two of us there. And we're gonna start getting a little bit poisoned, but it shouldn't be that bad. It's only medium poisoning down here. We will be laying here for quite a minute. Uh, so... Let me... Make sure that I'm scavenging the, the countryside for the goods. The goodies. I like the timing of that second tournament. We were so close. We were literally... It was a... It, it dinged, and then we were outside of the zone. Just long enough to trigger it. It doesn't matter, we're fine. Look, already, at two times speed, the whole damn village is rebuilt. You put that many builders on staff and it just gets done. So, you guys are... What are you? You can remain builders, but go back down to like, two. And then, your harvesters, and you can go down to two. And then, you guys are carriers, and you will stay at five, because it's just damn handy to have some carriers around. Uh... So where are we and what are we doing? What are we working on right now? I'm really, like, disappointed with the beats. I've got five staff there. I got fully staffed and I have never seen them use more than, like, these eight. You know, they've never had more than eight things going at once and beats aren't... I guess it's just that we're rarely in the green area and so everything grows a little bit slower with beats, but... For fuck's sake, man, is what I want to say. How, how are we for water? 227 water. And the, 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 the tree went away. They cut down that big tree that was in our way. Oh, hooray, away. I just keep saying, I want another water tank here. Yeah. Another water tank tucked in right there. I don't know how the hell they get to it, but I'll presume that they can get to it somehow. <laughs> Scavenging party returned. Let's send them out to... Uh, send them out to the, that place for some reason. Yeah. Uh, is there a direction, by the way, that you guys think we should go when we get up here? I mean, there's not a lot to be said for one way or the other. Anbu is sleeping right here, so that would be a sleeping patch. Um, but it won't need to. Either direction we go, we're going into desert. So there's that. Are there biomes other than fuck you, it's cold, fuck you, it's hot, and fuck you, it's poison? I, I, no, I think that's it. I think you just named them all. 
<laughs> uh, like at the beginning of the game, you have um, like just a forest that isn't fuck you, it's poison. So that technically exists, the non fuck you, it's poison, but it's mostly fuck you, it's poison forests. It's, I haven't seen a non fuck you, it's poison. They gotta keep the pressure on somehow. Uh, Evil Boner Dalkin, Dalkin with the uh, resub 62 months. Hello, sometimes I feel like starting your stream, telling you my sub is going to continue and leaving again because I have to get up again in a few hours. So take my sub and good night from Germany. Evil Donald Balkan, thank you so much. Um, and you have good sleep uh, in this Anbu sleeping spot. You have a good sleep and thank you. 62 goddamn months. Five years, two months? Is that how math works? If I knew how math works, I wouldn't be, you know, live streaming on Twitch for a living. And not much of one. <laughs> but thank you, Evil Donner Balkan. <laughs> and Mosaic Task Force. And <laughs> um, fresh off an anxiety attack. Let's go, says a cute sharky. Cute sharky, do you take SSRIs? Or SNSRIs? Or, or that? We were talking earlier about, you know, SSRIs, anxiety depression, nerve pain, drugs, and so. I think so? Hmm? <laughs> Do you take, uh, it would probably be a pill every day that uh, was prescribed for, to help with panic attacks, anxiety, uh, depression, uh, or nerve pain would be the likely, the likely thing. And yeah, I've been discussing it because my doctors, well, several doctors have wanted me to just take an SSRI, just give it a try, just da 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 And I didn't want to because my, um, symptoms that I have currently seem like they would be a very bad potential interaction with, with the symptoms or the side effects of an SSRI or the withdrawals that they don't want to talk about of an SSRI if you ever come off of it. And, uh, and, you know. Nobody in the medical profession that I've interacted with wants to acknowledge the fact that there are major issues with, with these drugs and that they should be taken carefully and with planning. And not just, oh, you got some depression, some anxiety, whatever? Be here. Have along with an M&M. &M. You know, why not? What could it possibly hurt? Except for everything. Um, so this... Berry bush is not part of our production. We're at 100% pr production on that efficiency, so I can get rid of that, which means I can I can bring, yeah, a pathway through there. And I'm just gonna, you know, I got builders standing around doing nothing half the time, so I'm just putting them to work. Uh, search Sertraline, HCL. Well, I've, HCL is definitely at the end of of. Uh, some SSRIs that I've seen, but I don't know if that's one or not. Like I 89 with a subscription, am I not hearing the dings? Or are they not coming across? Are we not getting... Is, is, it's just me, probably, right? Hey, Pawn, how's it going? Oh, it feels so good to hear that, like I 89 It's been so many months. How's... Hey, Pawn, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good now that you're here, now that everybody's here, now that we're on the back of on... Oh, shit. Yeah, I need to make a decision. Slow time down. Um, I I have no preference, but I will I will say go north just to give you a preference. And chat right now, quickly, 30 seconds, type yes or no. I said go north. Do we go north? If you say yes, we'll go north. If you type no, we'll go south. You control the Anbu. You are the, you are the Anbu. Be the Anbu. And decide whether you want to go north or south. I don't see any benefit to going one over the other. Um, they're both deserts, they both got Ambu sleeping spots ahead. So, yeah. Up to you. Ooh, a cute shark he got in there at the last second and swung us to a yes vote, which means we're going north. Based on your decisions. Definitely your decisions. Cetraline is a type of antidepressant known as a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It is an SSRI. Often used to treat depression, panic attacks, OCD, and PTSD. Testing one, two, one, two. Well, that works. And I love your chosen method of testing it, which is to give me money. Thank you again, like guy 89 Did did the subscription come through, though? Am I am I crazy? Or I feel like the last two, I just looked over and saw them, as opposed to um, 
hearing them like I usually hear, you know, there's supposed to be the thing, but I get in my own head sometimes and don't hear what's right there. Looked it up out of curi uh, curiosity, Amish Tig is on an SNRI and an NDRI. Uh, and they're all like reuptake inhibitors of one thing or another that has to do with brain chemistry. Uh, although also like bowel chemistry, like serotonin is not just in your brain, but I'm pretty sure it acts on the brain either exclusively or mainly. Doctor may worry about peanut allergy if you take an M&M daily. Yeah, they might tell you about that. Watch out. Peanut. A lot of people have problems taking peanuts. You be careful. Uh, and that, okay, I heard that. It, but it did kind of try and skirt off of the, it kind, kind of tried to glance off of my awareness. So I can see that I probably just didn't hear it. Oh, fuck. What choice have we made? There's a heat wave ahead. Thank you, the light guy 89 for the gifted subscription to Germacian. <laughs> That's 44 total in the channel, and that should bring us up to 39 of, of the 50 sub goal that we're going on right now, I think. Thank you. Again, serotonin, n n oh god, n norepinephrine, and dopamine. Serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got no problem with, you know, I just, I, I feel like they're, they're, what I'm experiencing where I live with these doctors is they just want to throw you on it and, and not have a, you know, I don't know. They're they're they don't have conversations to you about the possible side effects, and they treat it like there won't be side effects. And forty five percent of people uh, end up like, I wish I'd never done it. Apparently, so uh, yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. We're not talking about it anymore, except for when we do uh, occasionally, because that's just it's my stream. What are you gonna do? That's probably how it's gonna go. We're gonna go down to just one doctor because I don't think we should have any poisoning issues anytime soon. Um, we're going into a desert. So, what we can do is this, this doing nothing right now farm, we can set it to grow cactus. And we can uh, enable it, put five people on it. No plots assigned and we can actually build the damn thing, huh? Oh, um, I want, I think I want this to be like that. We've got it more than enough berries in our lives, so, yeah. Yeah. We'll do it like that, and then maybe on the side of the farm. Cactus, actually, I think they grow a lot of it. I think it comes in quick. Maybe I should, like, go balls deep on cactus here. If I were to go up this way, similarly... Why do I get more plots? Oh no, because I've got that road there. So it's not that there are more plots there. It just seems like there are. Right. Yeah, we'll go both sides of you like that for now. And then we'll see if we consume all of that land with our cacti, which we surely will. Which means maybe I shouldn't even like wait on seeing because I can see it where I stand right now. And just put that in there as well. Yeah. Because I was saving this for another, like, dirt road that can go up that way. Uh, <clears throat> sir, this is a Wendy's drive through <laughs> uh, Good thing it's not a Hardy's drive through The FBI lurks outside of those. I hadn't heard anything about Hardy's FBI. What's the new meme? What happened probably in Seattle, right? If it involves the FBI lurking... <laughs> it's It's, it's got to be... It's in Washington or Oregon. Just found out the best name for this thing. Social Anxiety Disorder. Sad. Mm. And then, but there is GAD too, right? Gen general Anxiety Disorder? Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, SAD is already an acronym, so you can't have it for that. Uh, it's, it's the standard American diet. SAD. <laughs> fuck me, I'm sad as fuck over here. No, you're not. You just got over it. You said when you walked it. Fresh off a of panic attack. <laughs> oh god, I, I got the iron furnace and I haven't done anything with it. So iron furnace um, forges iron out of iron ore. That's good, I guess. Do we have iron ore? We have iron ore. 
I don't know how we have iron ore, but we have it. Is it because of you? Do you get iron ore? No, you just get stone. So all of the iron ore we have must have been collected from these guys going out to mines or something. I don't, I don't know, actually. Send the party. Going into a desert means that we have an opportunity to grow some new shit, okay? Our beets are not going to grow when it's just hot. Um, our wheat will continue growing when it's just hot. Our beets are going to die in the torrid thing. So we could switch the beets over or we could have a fourth farm. Now, we're, we're in theory using a lot of water. I'm gonna switch the beets over to uh, tomatoes to corn. We're gonna go cr grow corn because that'll grow perfectly in hot weather. So, is there anything here that needs to be, you need to be told to harvest because it wasn't at full harvest? It's growing beet, it's not going to grow while we're in this weather. So, grow you, or take you up. You're growing. I mean, I just gotta have them bring everything up, don't I? So you, 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 like, cut it. Cut it all down, if it's a beet, Pull it out of the ground because they're done. They're, they've grown as much as they're gonna grow. Okay, and start growing that corn. So we'll have wheat, corn, and these cactuses, which are gonna provide us water because in the desert we're not getting water from our air wells anymore. Zero production speed. But we also had a shit ton of water walking into this scenario. We've got 200 full water tanks uh, right there, plus 45 apparently just around the joint. So I think we'll be fine for water um, in this desert, especially since we get to run over here uh, and grab water from oases and things like that. I should take this opportunity to pull in some sand because we will be moving double into up, up. making glass, hopefully, here. Um, and an anonymous gifter just gave HOC Gaming, gaming Harv, are you here, Harv? <laughs> Just came to HSC Gaming, uh, a tier one sub. Welcome back to the Harv and Pawn Show, Harv. <laughs> um, let's see. The My Pillow guy got picked up at a Minnesota Hardee's. This is Anbu's going to sleep. A Minnesota Hardee's and phone seized in relation to the Capitol Hill uh, thing. Okay, Capitol Hill putch. <laughs> The, uh, the attempted overthrow of the American government by Trump supporters? The MyPillow guy, huh? <laughs> what about the I cut this boat in half guy? Has he been, is he part of the, the, the attempted coup? Is it the same guy? <laughs> I don't know who these people are. They're out there cutting boats in halves and, and recommending pillows. I don't know. Flex save? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just he, he puts it back together. I cut this boat in half. Why did you do that? Because I wanted to say the, those words this way. Right. Ooh, ooh. I haven't thought about it in ages. Dung. We have 62 available. 60 of 100. Is there just two in there? Yeah. Why don't you shit more? We might have to laxative this motherfucker. <laughs> this Anbu, we actually can, I'm not joking. We might have to give this Anbu laxatives to get the 200 compost we're looking for. How are we, uh, production? 125. If I can show that there's 130 at some point during this game, that's free codes for us. Uh, where's my thing? Yeah, there it is. What are we going for again? The end? Reach an ending. 200 Anbu dong. 130% or higher, and gourmets and gourmands. So, that thing where we got its heart above six beats per minute, that didn't do it. But I could have, if I would have done that. Can I accept this deal? No, I can only have four deers. Can I get rid of one and accept that one? If I would have done that, then uh, we would have a copy of Nimbatus the Space Drone Constructor in stow, but I didn't. Uh, so that's fine. That's fine. Give Anbu poo-poo pills. That's what we might have to do. Like, in the research here, there is, under Anbu, Anbu laxative, um, and it'll poop more often. 
And we could research it right now. I was saving up. I was saving up for things that are more important, but this gets us free games. So, what's more important than that? Ambu laxative. Start researching, and nobody actually works in the research centers today. So, reopen them. And get smart people on them. Not American doctors, apparently. Don't, don't put them on them. I said smart people. Let's take these trees down so I can actually fucking see. It's a mother tree, so you don't take that down. But I wouldn't mind getting the goddamn trees off of the goddamn, um, you know, herbalist there. And you can cut that back and cut that back and cut that back. We'll leave these two at the corner, though. They're, they're cute. Um, roads are looking good. Did we build something that's important and that now that I've got it, I should be doing a thing? We're starting to get buckets of water from cactus. That's how that works, by the way. If you grow a cactus long enough, one day you turn, you just turn away and you look back and it'll suddenly be a bucket of water, with water in it. Um, the wheat is growing, the corn is growing. Anbu is walking toward a heat wave, though, right? Yeah, so we're gonna run when we get to that heat wave. I'll send the, the expedition party out there. Ooh, I gotta get that. I should have gotten that, too, but I gotta get that. That's where our wisdom and our research will be coming from. Anbu wags its tail. Did it? Hey! What a happy Anbu you are! And we haven't even fed you yet. Maybe that's what he's saying. Would you feed me? Would you mind? I'm gonna tell you to run in a second. Um, we'll try and get you a meal in the interim. Did I leave all this stuff open? I think I did. I, I, Anbu food him. Can you do that immediately? Who am I waiting on to do that? Oh, oh. There you go. Anbu food in air. Anbu fed. There you go. Alright, uh... I'm gonna need to horn blow you here. Because I'm gonna have you run through the heat wave. Uh, which is definitely coming up shortly. We're about to walk into it. Yep. We're in a heat wave. Please run. Run in a heat wave! That sounds like a good idea, right? Everybody loves that. There's little mushrooms here to feed him, too. So he's down to 14% hunger, 11% uh, poison, and he's only 10% sleepy. Yeah, get us through this heat wave. None of our crops are gonna grow. Although, wait. Is this just gonna keep... It's gonna go on? And on and on? On the map, I thought once we got underneath, out from underneath it, it'd be fine. I'm gonna trust that once we get out from underneath it, it'll be fine, and not that it starts there and ends there. Run while it's hot out? Yeah, good idea, right? Let's go for a jog. It's really hot. That, that won't just make me fall over and die, huh? Laxatives are fun until it happens to you. Okay, we're out of that. So... You can stop now. Sorry that I'm taking so long to tell you to stop. Well, there you go. There you go. Stop running. Yeah, just shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah, just... uh, yeah. there you go. Um, he's a little bit more hungry, a little bit more tired. We're still in the hot weather, though. So, I don't know... I don't know if that helped anything. Like, we're not standing in the heat wave, but it says hot weather, which is affecting our crops. So maybe... I don't fucking have any idea. How we are are we on water? We've got water for years. Get the sand... No, 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 no! This, 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 this! Shrine! Oof. I almost forgot about it. And it was almost off screen. We need the, the knowledge to carry on with the game. Um, do we want to walk out of a desert into... Um, a snowstorm? Or what do you guys think? Ambu going to get heat stroke. Maybe. Maybe. Where was I? I feel like I built something and it was like, ah, we finally have that and now something something and the other. And but no. Uh this sawmill was for sawing a big thing down and it has done it and now there's no reason for it to exist. So I'm gonna deconstruct it. Um, you put a sawmill next to, uh, this, to one of these, and then when it has taken all of the resources out of it... Huh? 
Which could happen right now. Huh? Huh? What timing? Huh? 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 No? Alright. Well, when, when all the resources are gone from it, then it disappears and then that doesn't need to be there anymore. Same thing with uh, the quarry. You put it next to one of these, and when the resources are gone, you can take it up. Temperature... Anbu wags its tail again. We're almost through the hot weather. Supposedly. And I think it, I think it did mean that the heat wave went from there to there. Because, you know, it's just been this hot the whole time. So, don't make Anbu run for no reason. Alright, whether we go north or south at this crossing, we will enter into a winter biome. There's a place to sleep ahead. And that's the only thing that we know from the bit of map that we can see right now. So I'm going to say... And he needs to sleep. So I'm going to say... Go north. And it's actually up to you. And you can type yes if you want to go north. Or no if you want to go south in chat right now. Because you are the Anbu. Chat is the Anbu. You embody Anbu-ness, really. When you think about it. That's how I feel about it. No, no, yes. <laughs> it's, yeah, that, either way will be fine. You do what you think is best there. Maybe the game's trying to, you know, lie to me. I asked if it would do it. You guys were split down the middle on no's or yeses, so we're going to do it. We're going to go north. And if that screws us over, then that, that'll be my fault, won't it? Um, have my boys come back from their mission yet? No. Expedition in progress. They, that was miles away. Okay, well, there is a thunderstorm ahead. That poison forest is not a problem. What? What? What happened? What was that? Anbu laxative researched. What? I didn't tell you to... Oh, yeah, I did tell you to do that. So that was because the research completed. Right. Now we have no knowledge, but we'll be getting some soon. So we can't research anything right this second. And I did want to hold off until I have two knowledge so we can research something that's more, more, more. Um, we, we want another farm. Sooner or later, we're going to want four farms. It's a lot of water, but, you know, we're going to want four farms is what I just said to you. Will you fucking listen to me? My God. Uh... I like the idea of a big long strip farm along the road. That's kind of neat, right? You'd think that's kind of neat, wouldn't you? So if I put that farm there, and then... I'd think that's kind of neat. Yeah. Boom. I'm gonna have them build another farm right there, and then it'll be along there that we, uh, that we do the farmings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you guys done with that fucking log yet? I mean, how many? There's three of you working on it. There was one guy left working on this one and he got it up. You hungry again? Well, is there any food coming? Not that we can see yet. I can send a party to this dune, get some sand, do it. Uh, we are going at two times speed, aren't we? Yes. The game seems a little slow now because I'm not sure what to do next. <laughs> Uh, I was going to feed my Anbu, is what I was going to do. You, sir, um, Anbu feed. Feed this boy. Tell me he's hungry. Are you ready? No, he's doing the Ray Charles. Oh, and he's going to sleep before he eats, probably. Unless my dude gets here and friggin' fires it. Where's my dude? Where were you, brah? Where were you? You were making beet soup, and now we don't have any beets, so you probably shouldn't be making beet soup. We have corn coming out of our ass, though, so make polenta. This guy's still making berry muesli, that's fine. Oh, our uh, expedition to the sand. Uh, 
encountered something. Wandering across the dry desert plains, your scavengers encounter scouts from another tribe. They want to start a new settlement and ask you to help them build a fountain, as there's no water nearby. Well, building a fountain isn't going to make any water. Like, that's... If you had water, you could put... But it's not... All right. <clears throat> Uh, we'll give them what they need, but we'll also invite them to join us on Anbu. Or we can just offer them some of our water. Well, since building... Um... Building a... a that's not gonna work, is it? So I'm just gonna give them water. They might have asked for that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys vote. You, or you guys decide on this one. We haven't had a poll all day. So give me a poll. Uh, and it's gonna be, uh, the question is, stupid settlement, uh, and, let's see, give them stone for, what did they want to make? They want to make a fountain, idiots, so, stone for fountain, that's, that's too many, stone for fountain, uh, water, because water, <laughs> or, um, Feg off. <laughs> there you go. There's a poll open now. You guys decide. Do we give them 20 of our stone slabs to build a fountain? Because that's how finding water works, is you build a fountain and then it just comes. Uh, do we just give them what they need, which is the water, or do we tell them, bye? It's all up to you. It's all up to you. And it's, uh... Recount, let's go. I think they mean a well. Yeah, but they didn't say a well. <laughs> Bug report. Nah, keep it in. It's funny. Yeah. I mean, it could genuinely be intended, you know. Might be part of your decision-making process. Well, do we give them the thing to make the thing that won't help? Or do we give them what they don't want, but that will help? But honestly, it's probably just one of those value things. Uh, stone slabs are probably more valuable than water, so it's like, do nothing for them, help them out cheaply, or, you know, be generous. That's probably all we're really doing. And you have decided with 83% voting stone for fountain. All right, we'll, we'll help them make the thing that won't help them. They are pleased by your generous offer, but refuse to join you as they have to care for... Uh, as they have to take care of their own people. Instead, they hand you an object from their backpack in return. <gasps> two knowledge! We got two knowledge! They gave us water. Meh. But we got two knowledge out of it. That was a very good decision. Thank you, chat. Because we can immediately go into researching. I'm going to get uh, my researchers back on staff here. And we're going to research something in the resources category here, and I think it's going to be glass blower. The sooner we can start making glass out of the, you know, stuff that we're pulling off the side of the highway, the better. And we've still got one knowledge from just finding it on the side of the highway. This is working out very good. Um, so we, do we have something new that we learned before that I haven't made? Sorry? What, what are these sounds? Oh, Anbu's laying down. Taking nappies. Good. There's more sand all the way out there. There's some here. Well, he'll be laying down for a minute. We can we can travel in a, a day away. We're still in the hot weather for one day, five hours. How are we doing on food in this hot weather? Fine. Pro productivity is down, though. I got to show 130% productivity. That should be easy. I don't know how you do that, but that should be easy. I just gotta make more than I need. I got all this cactus coming out. We got corn. Wheat is not growing because it's just too damned hot. In fact, it's decomposing because, yeah. Because we're in torrid weather currently, so that's not cool. Uh. And we're building a new farm. Which is taking longer than I would have thought it would. But are you working on it? They're working on it. Oh yeah, we got a whole team on it. Get that crew in there now. We can do that and that. Hey, there you go. Now we got farmers. 
What's this? Yeah, fresh air and hot weather. I've seen it. Um, you guys are gonna be tomatoes, I guess. Because now we'll have, like, room for everything? Corn, beets, wheat, and tomatoes. And I've got one, two, three, four. Uh, so we'll just decommission the cactus farm when we're out of the desert. And yeah. And then we'll be able to grow everything. And then if we can get two more kitchens up and running and we can be making all of the processed food at once, then we will complete one of the challenges that will get us some key codes to give away in chat. Um... Yeah, so let's do this, and I had a plan for how I wanted to, uh, lay this out, and it was gonna be like that. Huh? Isn't that cool? Big friggin' thing right along the side of the road. Really good for harvesting and taking to the warehouse or something. I don't know why it's that way, but it is that way. Yeah. And yeah, you're gonna grow tomatoes, even though we're going into a biome where they're not gonna grow. That's just what you do for a living, hon. Hmm. And then my harvesters can help out by harvesting. Maybe I'll make another harvest. No? Alright, well if it didn't come immediately then I'm worried that I don't have enough. Oh, we're standing up and going. And we're heading into the winter biome. At this point, I shouldn't need to like, flip over anything. Right? Should need to change what we're growing. Wheat is gonna grow in the freezing. Um... Corn is not, so... I guess we could just shut that down, or just leave it as it is, and it'll die, or whatever. Um, I could flip it over to beets when we're going in, just to have more. Yeah. Yeah, let's switch you over to, to beets. And then the tomatoes are definitely not gonna grow in the winter. So it just, it's stupid then, to like, just try and start growing them. Um, like, hmm. That's what it's going to be for, though. It will be for that. But I guess it's just another beet field. Another beet field. Give it all the workers. The farms get complete employment. Or they don't. I don't know. Maybe if I take, like, one off of everybody, then all of the farms can work. Yeah. And we'll just see. Um... But yeah, the wheat is about to start growing, so keep planting. Don't worry about that. You, making cactus. I think I just leave you there, making cactus. I don't know. Nothing's gonna grow, but... The hell do I care, yeah? Wait, I thought they didn't have water. Well, the cactus have been producing the water. Uh, oh yeah, the people who we gave the stone to gave us water. <laughs> It was a while ago. I didn't notice that comment until now, but you're right. The people who were building a fountain for so that they because they needed water gave us water. And one of our options was to give them water. That's interesting, huh? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fucking shit. Um we're fucked. It's already too late. Even if I tell them to run. I'm going to tell them to run anyway. Run. There you go. Run on boo. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. 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 Okay, we're getting hit by a storm. Yeah, lots of things just broke. Oh, good. And the things that allow me to control my villagers broke. Uh, high priority... No, not, not on the hut. Um, on... Oh, no! They're all still here. Okay, everybody is a builder. You're all builders. That's your job. If you just lost your job because everything got knocked down, you build things now. Uh, and we're past it, so I could tell you to stop running. Oh, but we lost the horn blower as soon. Okay, so we need to rebuild the horn blower immediately, or the Anbu's going to pass out. Uh, high priority on this, please. Shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a possibility. We get to. <laughs> I tell the the Anbu to run. We get hit by the storm anyway. Hornblower goes down. Now we can't tell the Anbu to stop running. Will the Anbu run itself to death? Is a question that we won't have to answer because we're going to fix this in a hurry, aren't we, gentlemen? No, this, that's got the high priority. Where are you going, the Amish Stig? 
Why are you working there, Miss Franklin? This isn't what... Nope. Hello, people. Highest priority on the hornblower right now. I, d I did it. Where, where are you going? Oh my god. I said such kind things about this game. <laughs> in the first live stream in reference to... I feel like I'm in control of these people. <laughs> Other games that I've played that do a similar thing, you don't feel like you're actually controlling, they just kind of do their own shit when you tell them to do something. And now it took us an hour and a half to get over to the highest priority thing. Asshole. Look at Anbu is, yeah, very sleepy. As soon as this is complete, I'm slamming time to a halt and telling Anbu it can stop running. Heart rate up to at 7.4 BPM. Blood pressure at 7,000 over 2,050. That's bad for an Anbu. Okay, slow down. And somebody come work here. Fuck, we need staff for it. Oh, God. Um, somebody isn't a builder anymore. Somebody isn't a builder anymore. Somebody isn't a builder anymore. Good. Work there. Show interactions. Okay. It, it can't run itself to death. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Anbu. <laughs> Yeah, my bad. 3% health, 7 BPM at resting to 7 beats per minute at a resting heart rate for Nanbu. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What's an Anbu? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Well, where are we in this winter biome, by the way? What's that? Oh, a group of nomads that are going to walk into us. That's convenient that you... I, that's why I did it. See, it was all part of my plan. Yes. Go to this mine, I guess. I haven't gone to many mines. I don't know where we've been getting all of this iron, honestly. Have I researched... Have I finished researching it? Can we start smelting iron, for fuck's sake? Did I place one? And I'm... I'm very confused all of a sudden, aren't I? You seem very confused all of a sudden. Um... We have iron ore. We have no iron ingots, so I didn't place it even though we got it. The iron furnace, I just kind of forgot that we had it now. I can put it in town, or I could put it out here where we mine, which just makes it thematically correct. Doesn't really make a damn bit of difference, I don't think, but it's thematically correct. How close are you to finishing that? Not close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna thematically, because I like that word. And it's the other side of all the trees, so this pollution won't something something. I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually figure in in this game. I don't really think you do. But, but thematically. Mm -hmm. Build two horns, the main and the backup. <laughs> the one, one for the right ear and one for the left ear. <laughs> and then if we really need his attention, we can both of them at once. <laughs> Uh, I might as well dirt road myself so that I connect to the main village. It's not easy to do because of this horn that we could take out while it's, while it's sleeping. It trusts us. We're going to have to take these horns out sooner or later. They are in the way. I'm going to get that fucking horn out my way. And uh, I want to build this road like this. You know, nice right angles. Um, Ambu. Uh, it, it was, it's a, it's a diseased horn, um, you really need to have it removed because it's impacted and it's gonna affect your, the straightness of your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I could have been an orthodontist, man. I could have, I could have told people that you have to have that removed. It's going to be a big problem. And then just charged them gobs of money for shit that didn't need to happen. Both of my molars are still here. Both of my impacted molars still here. They told me, if you don't get that removed by 20-something, you're gonna have big problems. Well, unless it's causing my fatigue syndrome, I, I think we're fine. <laughs> and I think you just wanted to make a dollar. Small sleep command or blood extractor? Um, neither. We're waiting on more knowledge. We need more wisdom. I only have one knowledge. Call it wisdom. Come on, knowledge is... I guess it's more honest, you know? You can't sit in a building and research something and get wisdom. You can only get knowledge. Wisdom comes from more, more serious activities. 
reading about other people who did things. That doesn't help with wisdom. I'm gonna put two people on the iron furnace because I don't think I've ever really... I, I, I've never made anything that had iron or glass in it. So, you know, let's go. And also, I forgot to set these people back to what I want them to be. Five carriers, one builder standing around doing nothing, and uh, two harvesters. And that will be more than enough people to work there. The Anbu feeding trebuchet. Well, he's waking up. He's hungry. Is there any food ahead? No food ahead. Might as well, uh, might as well feed the Anbu breakfast. As far as it's concerned, it's breakfast. Anbu food. Ready to fire some. Oh, wait, you're doing it? Yeah, there it goes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then with the poison, you're almost, you're just about there. Probably by the time they bring out some medicine for you, you'll be, uh, ready to have it. Give him an antidote. Yeah. By the time I can get both doctors in one place, the arrogant SSRI... <laughs> uh, prescribing bastards. By the time I get them both in one place, uh, he'll need it for the 20% reduction. This is all going smoothly, quickly, and nicely. Uh... I only need one person on the Anbu kitchen. Oh, it's not even open. How are we doing front? Oh, I'll open it. And I'll just leave it open from now on. We probably have enough people living here. 121% productivity. We need to get to 130. Um, how much poop have we got? We got 100 dung. That's half the dung that we need. And we learned laxatives, didn't we? We learned laxatives. Hey, 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 hey. Don't just sit there. Um... I researched laxatives, why can't I? Uh, what do I need? Not enough resources. Green? Green something? How do I do it? Do you make it in the Anbu kitchen? Do I like switch over? I do. Um, make an Anbu laxative for me then. Okay. This is, all right. Well, maybe I need two people working on that then to get it done. Maybe I don't. Just one worker. Um, there's nobody free. Why is there nobody free? It's two harvesters. We don't need two harvesters. Are you... That's one person in the Ambu kitchen. How many people are working that don't need to be? One village doctor. Just keep him open. We just fed you. Nobody needs to be the feeding trebuchet. Any crossroads ahead? Let's stay in the... the um, winter, because I'm set up for winter, it's working, we're feeding people, let's just stick to one biome so I don't have to switch it over. You can vote in chat right now if you disagree with me. Type yes to agree, no to disagree, but I think, like, let's stay in one biome, uh, so I'm not just switching things every, uh, couple of minutes in terms of crops that I'm growing and whatnot. You know, there will be another desert ahead of us. It is going to be tricky to get all five uh, of the different types of food being produced at the same time. Because we'll need to have grown enough food and then not consumed all of it to still be, like, making it at once. So that, that could be a little bit of a trick. You guys agreed with me? Uh, two to two to one, you agree with me. So we are going south, and I'm going to have to worry about this son of a bitch. Uh, let's send our people out to that mine while I'm looking at this. How you doing? You've already, like, yeah, rested for a while. If I got him, if I started him running right now and I just kept him running the rest of the game. <laughs> we'll have to watch out for that thunderstorm, but I want to stay in one biome and, uh, you know, really stockpile some stuff here. We're growing a lot of beets. So we got 94 in storage, we got 60 berries in storage. We're apparently not producing quite enough food somehow. Total productivity 124. How do you hit 130? How do you even hit 130 here? Now we're still at just 100 dung. We're making laxative though. 
Uh, I don't have any yet. But we're gonna make some. Is what I've heard. Who works here? You? How many more do you need to carry over? Jesus, balls. Alright, have two of you then. Two of you will work on that. Get her done. Make me an ambu laxative. I want him to poop more. I desire defecation. How how has the stream looked for those of you who have been around for a while? Have we had any like it doesn't, you know, like like stuttery frame issues, any laggy kind of stuff? Because we're on the CPU encoding instead of the NVIDIA encoding today. I had to change it over because uh, I, I updated my OBS, which I haven't done in a very long time, and it screwed a bunch of stuff up. OBS crashed once. It, it was definitely like, oh god, this is why I don't upgrade software. Oh hell. But it worked out. I just had to change some things over. Dramacian! Hello! Were you here earlier when you got um, uh, a, sub, uh, a sub from... from... Who, gave, who who donated a sub and it landed on you? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, the Light Guy 89. The Light Guy 89 gave you a uh, subscription there. Um, more search parties? I don't know how long you've been here. I, I feel like, you know, I haven't seen you. Bill Two Horns in the main backup, you said. I'm Sometimes I just don't realize who's who. It's been talking to me the whole fucking time. I just listen to this like a podcast. Yeah, see? That's fair enough. And Jelly Be Good! Back on a nine-month streak. Ooh, nine. Yeah, nine is sexy. I like nine. Who doesn't want to be nine and streaking? F for months or something. I was driving and could not answer. Fair enough. Fair enough. So you have been. Um, thank you so much, Jelly Be Good. Welcome back to the Big Dick Club. Um, Jesus, where does that put us then? We're over... We, we turned over 40 on the sub goal there. You guys realize that I don't actually want to play Cluster Truck again. I just, that's why I put it there and put it at 50. But, you know, <laughs> I will play it. I kind of want to play it. I just, yeah, I'm glad that it hasn't, like, happened too quickly that I would have to play it. You know, I'll ease back into it is my plan. What are you doing? I told you to, that's where the horn was, and I told you to make the path after you'd removed the horn. Why, why do you keep doing that with me on the research, huh? I only have one knowledge. Stop talking to me about research. Are you guys in the research building waiting? I don't have the knowledge for it. Go, go play outside. In the road, preferably. Yeah, production is not keeping up with consumption. Why? I know we're in a... We're coming up on a... We got past it. Without me actually helping. Good. Oh my god, that's a strong thunderstorm. That's just a thunderstorm. We definitely gotta, you know, dodge this one. Uh, go to that mine for iron or something. And what was that on next notifications here? Oh, it might have been dare drop actually. Uh, yeah, this is worrying. Ooh, 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 shrine. Uh, no party available. Okay, I gotta hit that shrine. Do not let me not hit that shrine. Uh, um, I feel like the cup needs to be, like, above the world records. You, I, I like that there's overlap. Like, I, I, I set that up intentionally. <laughs> but, you know, it goes underneath the words. The, but you can still read the words, right? Eh? So it's, it makes a layer. And it annoys people who with OCD, probably. But I, I like it. <laughs> Fully grown mushroom, yeah, you can harvest that. And, and you, growing mushroom harvesting, it doesn't yield anything. All right. We got lots of mushrooms, we got some food. When are you gonna make this laxative already, huh? Just bring the herbs over, we... How do we not have herbs? I'm sorry? What? Because we were in the desert and it was really hot and then I fed, I healed him once? Like, we, we've we been making herbs and not using them a lot for a very long time, I should think. Why do things keep growing? These mother trees are just horrible for actually growing stuff. Alright, I'm gonna put more people on making herbs because that's our problem. 
There's your problem. If we got poisoned right now, we would have no fucking cures. We couldn't cure anybody. I had no idea. Um, how's this going? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, we're in it. We're, we're fucked. Oh, god damn it. Why can't I just pay attention for a little bit longer? Oh, run, Anbu. Run. It's not gonna help. And then it will destroy the run thing, and then we'll just be running forever, right? He's not gonna make- we're, we're fucked. This is just us, and fucked. <sighs> well, I was trying to get things done, too. Why don't you be builders for some reason? I don't know why I'm thinking of making you builders. Um, seems like a good idea. Son of a bitch. Anbu's wagging its tail. Strong thunderstorm over the village. A lot of people just lost their jobs. We aren't making enough food in the first place. If we got sick right now, we'd be super fucked. And housing is down. Okay, thanks. Thank you for that. Oy vey. And there's going to be a cold snap ahead. Who told us to turn south? Who agreed with me that we should turn south? What is wrong with you? Well, I gotta send the, the party out to here. Watch this, they'll be back, like, so quick. So quick they're gonna be back. I'm going to three times speed. Just go. Finish your... Oh, right, they're probably all working on rebuilding shit. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Take me back. You were the only one that wanted to go north, said a cute sharky. I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. I said, north! It's the way to go. But would they listen? Hell no. Alright, let's reduce the number of builders. Make you harvesters. Harvesters, there's two harvesters. Let's make you... Uh... Carriers. No, no, no. You, you stay builders, and you go down to, like, one. You guys are two. You're five, but instead of being builders, you're... You're carriers. Did, did we rebuild everything? We're very good at rebuilding the entire village from scratch because the person who's, you know, in charge around here just lets it explode on a regular basis. We have a net positive on the herbs, apparently. The doctor is sitting on herbs. The weird thing about this game, very weird thing about this game, um, is that, like, the number up here is not the total. It's... And then it says two available, and it says two reserved. You see it? It's, you, look, look, my finger is there. You see it? And and we've got fifteen of them in like over here that the doctor has. It's very odd. I think that's going to change uh, in development. I think it should change in development at some point. You know that we need to communicate. How many do you have in total? I would presume that if I needed the herbs that are here somewhere else, that someone would walk over, grab them, and take them there if it was more urgent. Like, so, I think it's weird. It's just weird. I'm, I'm, hmm. I wonder if that's like a thing that you could put in the game or that it might already be here as well in terms of like things to continue expanding. It's an early access game. Can you like mark? I don't know, an area for keep this clear of trees or something like that. Because <laughs> I've definitely had to, multiple times, cut down trees that regrew in a place where I was like, I don't want those trees there for visual reasons. Um, will you let them join your village? Yes, I will, um, even though we're low on food. Okay? Hungry people join my village. Just one. One hungry person. And that's probably them. Stinky! Oh, I'm so glad they came. Hungry and stinky. Just the trifecta. You'd need another thing for, for it to be a trifecta. Hold on. Don't... If, if you didn't say that out loud, dude, most people probably wouldn't have known. Anbu's sleeping. Good for Anbu. Uh, go back up to two times speed. Doctor, we've just got one. We're really really going after those herbs now. Um, I could give them more room to, like, grow, too, but uh, it looks like that's that's enough for them. This fucking tree! Get rid of the son of a bitch. It's blocking us from being able to grow herbs. Maybe I should give them more room to grow. 
I can't take down the mother trees. That's why we keep getting trees over here. These are mother trees. They spawn other trees. Very aggressively. <laughs> if I were to give you more plots, where even can I? I could tuck them in in weird places, sure. There's three of you working on it. You can have these three on the other side of the road, too. And we don't need that, so yeah, you can have that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out there and plant something before another fucking tree grows. <laughs> Catastrophes boost GDP, though. Do they? Oh, we're moving again. Okay. What are we... What hell doth we approach? We're as close as we'll ever be to that, so we're gonna get the shrine. Ten hour walk away. And then we'll have a turning up ahead, whether to go into desert or whatever's in front of us, which will probably be desert. <laughs> the options aren't necessarily options a lot of the time, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, have we made some fucking laxative? Ooh, we're making it now. Huzzah. We've made a laxative. I think I only need one. Go back to making Ambu food, and only one worker needs to work here, and you can do that incredibly slowly, at your own pace. That's what I want you to do, baby baby. Uh-huh. We have a laxative. Let's feed the Anbu a laxative. Uh, here? Anbu feeding trebuchet. Oh, that's how I would feed it, wouldn't it? Isn't it? Doesn't it? Um, so yeah, oh, we're in the cold snap. Cool. Uh, Anbu feeding trebuchet. Come back online. And I want to fire a laxative. <sighs> Somebody has to carry it over, apparently, before I can even have the option. I don't think that's right either, like, that I would not be able to say, and now do it. I have to actually wait for somebody to come out, realize that there's a laxative at the kitchen, go get the laxative and bring it over. Is that... does that seem like intentional, like, gameplay? Because it just seems like me not being able to click this button knowing that I want it, and I'd still have to wait after I click it knowing that I want it to happen. I don't know. Like, this is, at this point, you know, it's like I like the game enough that I'm thinking about it critically in terms of, hmm, what can we do? What are you doing? Well, you don't work here anyway. Who works here? You work there. Where the fuck are you going? Huh? You're on your way to... The kitchen? Is that a kitchen? What? No, where are you going? Bread. You wanted bread. Fuck me. We've got the... this. This. Food stand. And it had three berry muesli in it. Why would you walk all the way back there? That's why I put it there so you wouldn't do that. You fucker. And see all the range? You're definitely within range. Your job is within range. Hmm. Okay, you've got the laxative over there now. Show the interactions. Fucking feed him the laxative. Where is this guy? There, you're going in. Fire. Laxatived. And it should count as food as well, I would expect, right? So if we go back to here, once we've cleared that. High digestion. Defecates more often. It doesn't count as food, but I put food in it. It was in the shape of food. It consumed mushrooms to make. Didn't it? It didn't consume as many mushrooms to make as it usually does. You're loading it up. Listen, feed the fucking thing then. If it's supposed to be pooping and it doesn't have food, that's gonna be a problem. Feed it. Where are you? No, you're not. You're not doing that. You're not doing that right now. Whatever you're doing, you're not doing. He's. You're going to the kitchen again. We've got this, and there was no food in it. Eat from the nothing. Why is there no food in it? I've got five carriers. They should be fucking stocking it, man. What's the situation out here? You got food? How much? You had some food. I might need to assign more people as carriers. I might need to build more of these little huts. They wanted cheesy bread. Oh, I see. I see. 
We've been, we've been going for another hour and a half since the last live stream break. My throat is actually getting kind of dried out from talking. So maybe we should have another live stream break and keep going. I mean, if I've got the energy to, and I do, which is kind of crazy to me, then why not? Anbu is sleeping. It's an excellent... Oh, I didn't make a choice here. Well, we could have gone to a poison forest or a poison forest in a desert or a desert. So I guess, you know, it doesn't matter that I didn't make a choice, huh? Are you... Yeah, another shrine. More wisdom. Oh my god. It's 100% sleepiness. I don't... I'm surprised that you ever did that. Do you think it poos while it's sleeping? Because that's not going to be helpful to us. We're still just sitting on a hundred dung. Are you working? We have a hundred and a hundred of a hundred in that inventory, but surely we can store dung elsewhere, right? I've got a fucking warehouse. We can't store poop somewhere else? It looks like we can't store poop. Which means that I have to have another dung collector. Well, balls, I didn't know. Ooh, we got a glass blower in. How am I supposed to realize that when I've got extra storage facility? All right, um, yeah, I guess you're just gonna go up there. I don't, I'd like to keep it close, closer together. We're kind of building a community here of dung collection. A dung collection community, one might say. Are we good that to do that? You're not the berry grower. Berry grower's up there. I'll put them side by side. Hmm. I think it won't go because there's something in the way. No, it won't let me put it in any of those places. Well, balls. Can I not have two? How would I ever get 200 dung? That's the berry collector, so we can't hurt any of the berries that are growing there. Okay, no, I can build it there. I don't know why I couldn't build it here. But I couldn't build it there. Um... I don't think Anbu's house broken. They maybe pee the bed. That's possible. Is it probable, though? That's the thing. It could take a while for that to be built. Oh. Because it's way out here, they gotta bring stuff out to it. And especially if I were to assign them, like, to build the road that goes there, then that probably would take too long, and then the, the, it would never get done. I think you can lose a bush or two. Look at all these bushes that he's got right there. He'll still be 100%, even if I knock this out. I'll just go like that, come around his corner. Eh. How much of that do you need? Like, it's up to there? Okay. If I were to build a road starting all the way back here. Damn it. Damn it, I clicked. And then you come around like that. And then you go up. Go up right there. Just trying to avoid the berry berries that we're actually using. One more time, show me. Yeah, this one doesn't need to exist. So road can come up like that. Uh And then go over to this dung bastard. Probably doesn't need to walk any further than that. And then from Heather. Is it from Heather? Yeah, from Heather, we'll go like that. And now finally, the village is connected from front to back. Yeah, from all the way to here, you can walk on paths that will get you all the way there. I mean, once they build it. Um, I want you to prioritize the building of the dung collector. Uh, because apparently we're full and I gave it a laxative that doesn't help us. This, this building also, having 100 of 100, isn't complaining to me the way that the other buildings do. You know, uh, where it would say storage is full. So that's another bit of a, hmm, damn it. Can it go in the compost heap? It could, but then they will compost it. Uh, and I'm trying to get 200 dung, because that's one of our dares that will get us, uh, free games. 
Right? The smelling vi village. Store at least 200 Anbu Dung. And it'll get us a key to Niche, a genetic survival game that I can give away to somebody in chat. Yeah, this guy's just standing around there. Dung collector extraordinaire, Heidi. Doing absolutely goddamn nothing. Is it really like I can't store... I mean, it says we've we've got exactly a hundred dung, right? Yeah, and then, so none of it is like up here. Dung looks like... It honestly looks like a bowl with with poop in it. Yeah. It doesn't count as material storage. Let's pray that it doesn't count as something in the pantry that you'd want to reach for. And it definitely doesn't go in the warehouse either. So we the only way to store 200 dung is to have two full dung collectors. <clears throat> I'll do it. Don't 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 think I won't do it. But I did say that we needed a uh Damn it, that we needed a, a live stream break. Make Anbu laxative, please. Another one, because the first one was a waste. The Anbu went to sleep, and we couldn't actually pick up the poop. So, yes. We're going to leave it there as we step away for a seven minute live stream break. Come back, carry on. I'm just going to rest my throat for a little bit, and then I'll meet you back here. And we're going to get some of these goals done. We're close. I need to make two kitchens. These are the things to remind me. I need to make two kitchens so that we can grow the food uh, or be preparing all of the prepared food all at once. And uh, and I need to get this laxative thing going and that'll be two of our missions that are going to get you guys, you know, codes in uh, free games in chat. So stick with me. Seven minutes. Don't go anywhere. Pawn not out, but looking for a song. Please listen play. carefully. There's one. Back in seven. Pull it out of secrets of making friends? They are so simple and easy. Well, that looks easy enough. And Joey is going to try it out.
I was just, I was walking past, you know, I was going to take my full seven minutes. I was walking past and I saw it say OBS Reconnection in the bottom corner. And I'm like, what excellent timing for Comcast, our sponsor, to, uh, <laughs> to fuck me over during the live stream break. Uh, have a little disconnection. But I configured Twitch to do that thing where it's supposed to, like, not... This can, it's supposed to like keep it going and then something for 90 seconds. So, did, did anything different happen on your, you guys' end? Because well, what I'm hoping is that this live stream will be one live stream and Lady Pawn won't have to transfer three fucking live streams over like she had to last time to YouTube. Y yes? <laughs> did, did you get like, uh, did it just, the stream continued, but it was like, uh, you know, there's an error, but it didn't just end and then restart. You know, that's that's what I'm expecting. Oh man, we're gonna miss this song. We were born to bring it back, but it's more than basic. It's a portion of his rap, but the core is ancient. It's supported like a pack of some warm servations. It's important like the fact that we're... But we are going to miss it because I'm back and we're playing the Wandering Village. There we go. Get <laughs> the background audio back up. I like, and I am going for uh, a few different, like, dare drops uh, that if I complete them, then I'll have keys to give away to chat. Uh, reach any ending in the game will give us uh, one copy of The Wandering Village to give away. The Smelling Vision, if I can get, uh, Smelling Village, if I can get 200 Anbu Dung, then we'll have a copy of uh, the developer's, one of the developer's other games, Niche, to give away in chat. If we can get 130% or higher productivity level, we'll have a Nimbatus the Space Drone Constructor um, key to give away. And if we can do the hard one, which is Gourmets and Gourmands, we produce at least five different kinds of processed foods at once. All at the same time, that gets us two Wandering Village Steam Keys to give away for viewers. Those are the four things that I'm going for today. Um, and we're miles away. I, I don't know. We're, we can do it. We can do it. It's quick. Someone CPR no but Nobut has been... Uh, joined the Choir Invisibles since, since a, for a long time now. And uh, I have no plans at this point to bring him back to life. Like, I would have to make plans to bring him back to life. I'd have to, you know, put him on a server again or start running him locally through a Node.js or something. I have no plans to do that. So, <laughs> he's he's just... he's we, we sent him away to live on a, on a farm and be happy. Um, where are we and what is the situation? We'll be walking into a desert shortly. Okay, how are we for water? Um, we have only 50 buckets of water. That's not great for walking into a desert shortly. Why is it that we only have that many? We have been growing uh, more here. I did open up a whole nother farm, so that's, yeah, I can see that we might want additional water. Uh, production. We won't be able to produce more water once we're in the desert via an air well. We will be able to do it with cacti and they have planted cacti and they are still planting cacti down here. So that's fine. You guys can keep doing that. You're poisoned. I don't know if you know this, you're poisoned uh, and we don't have any herbs for you. What? 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 How, how? How? Look at all of the herbs that I have them growing. Are you, like, m are you prioritizing the Anbu laxative over, like, feeding our villagers? Just shut down the Anbu kitchen right now. Right now, stop storing our herbs over there, and for fuck's sake, let's reap some of this harvest, huh? 
like, should I, I'll prioritize the reaping of the heart? Can I do that? Can I prioritize the reap? Like, if I tell them to come over here and reap it, it says a fully grown herb ready to be harvested, used to, to cure poison. Fucking do it then, eh? Um, there. All of those. Get them immediately and heal people with them. Yeah, they're fucking decomposing over here. Now they're on the list where, like, you know, people whose job it is to harvest should come over and harvest them, and people whose job it is to carry should fucking carry. Have we lost anybody? Have there been deaths that I haven't noticed? Productivity is down to 89%. Why? What is... We need to get the fuck out of this... this this uh, winter biome and into a desert, apparently. I don't know if the desert's going to help us. I know that we're going to walk through a fucking poison forest, and then there's something else after it. Mysterious formation. Oh my god. Um, Anbu is up and moving again, though, as we, as we live and breathe. I'm gonna send my excavation party to the mine. Why not? Hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah. We at least had a good long stint in the cold to grow cold weather veggies or something. I don't know what we've been doing. Um, we've got some bread made. And we, we need people to harvest the fucking wheat. And is, is the farm waiting for like the farmers to come around and harvest wheat? Unless I mark it? Or what? Or what? There are 21 people in the village that are poisoned right now. Because we were lying down in a place that had medium poison and we didn't have the herbs. Holy, holy balls. Um, well the herbs are fucking in. These are marked. Like, I'm gonna prioritize the, everything of that and keep Keep, just do it. All of this. Harvest. Okay, well that's fine. You can actually harvest that, I suppose. You don't have to, though. I'll cancel that. Because that's a waste of your time. But with the priority of, yes. Anything that I've told you to do over here, fucking do it. And pick it up and get it where it needs to go. Which is the doctor's. Um, the Anbu doctor has 40 of them that it's sitting on. Alright, and we can't use those, eh? What, a? Eh? Fuck me. Alright, I'm closing the Anbu Doctor to make sure that they don't take any over there, I guess. 63 people. Keep an eye on the screen down here to see whether anybody dies on us from this poison. Nobody's badly poisoned yet, though. And we are healing some people. We've gone down to 16 people poisoned. Either that or they're getting better on their own. I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna give you a second Doctor, though. I'm gonna give you three doctors, actually. How we doing? We're we're about to be fucked by by poison. Um, stop. Just just wait a second. Just let me let me clear my throat. Ha 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 ha. <sighs> Why aren't you people telling me to hydrate? <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, no, this is the sound, this is the music of being in in that cloud that we're walking into. We're not in it yet. Oh wow, mysterious formation after that. Okay. We can send the party to the oasis or we can send it let's send the party to the oasis cause water, right? We weren't looking good on water before. Yeah. Alright, um, there's nothing to be done but to just walk through this. No, there is something to be done, and that is... Let's get these guys back online. Decontaminator. Hire all five. Fill that son of a bitch. And we've still got, like, a lot of Anbu bile lying around, but I'm turning it on just in case we need it as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to take jobs away from something else. We're gonna want a full staff of harvesters. Uh, I don't need builders at all right now. Yeah, I don't need builders at all right now. Um, carriers... Carriers are gonna be important to keep keep going. 
what can I close down? The Anbu horn, because we don't need, yeah, nothing's going to be happening there. We're not going to be feeding you. I'm just trying to get staff back. If I close it all down, they'll, they won't have a job and they'll join us where they're needed. Iron furnace, I'm not building anything real important out of iron right now, so back down to one dude working on that. All the farms are down a man, because that's how I decided to set them up, just to spread out our people. Um, ooh, we've got the second dung collector now. That's good. So, I turn you off. You've still got a hundred dung there. And we're collecting over here instead. Yes. Alright. Go. How many jobs? Alright, we've got full staff of these guys for the walking into the poison. So, those dudes... Yeah, these dudes... They're the decontaminators, and they will burn any poisonous plants that uh, start growing on Anbu's back as soon as we see it. Which we're going to see very shortly. Yeah, Anbu is 10% poison on entering. He's losing health already. Poisonous air increases toxicity. Like, our people were already a bit poisoned. Oh, this is, this is, this is great. I was just all about like, oh, we don't have any fucking uh, herbs. Oh, great. At least the Anbu will be okay, because the Anbu's got 40 of our fucking herbs waiting for it. Okay, here we go. So this is, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to slow things down. And the infectious plants need to, we need to find them and we need to kill them. So... Yep, you go away. What, what, what's your problem? Huh? Harvest only full grown? No. Why, why not? Oh, you, you're marked. <laughs> it just didn't highlight it for some reason. Okay, you, and you, and you, all need to be gotten, getting godded. Oh shit. Get this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Uh, our other farms? Other farms are okay, so high priority over here because it'll infect the whole goddamn farm. Get that, uh, and get these. Those are the highest priority. Alright, keep, keep cutting them down. Uh, what else? Where else? Aha! Yup. Over here. We're good there. It hasn't, it hasn't spread ridiculously. Not yet, anyway. Down under there and look hard. You know, something hiding in this forest. We look okay? Does it look like I at least marked them all? That's how it looks to me. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a good one to get the get rid of. Way too close. Way too close to our food. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Yes. Do it. Burn it. The battery died. Has he completed any dares yet? No. But, but no. <laughs> I'm close, but you know, th things just keep popping up on us. Um, you can, like, this mushroom that needs to be harvested. I think we've survived that poison. We handled it very well. We've come out here. I'm going to reduce the number of workers and the decontaminator to like two. Uh, and then if there's anything that I missed, they'll still be out there to like find it. They should still be able to get it. Okay. And then we'll repair some of these roads that got broken by the contamination. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So, we can have builders again. Uh, yeah, I only had one builder standing around doing nothing, and then... Oh shit! A dead Anbu, the village elder, we haven't heard from him since the beginning of the game. Truly a sad sight. This could have been all our fate as well, but we managed to pull through thanks to grit, grit cooperation, and not least of all, your guidance. Thank you, village elder. Is this one of the ends of the game? Is this... can I... can I submit this as a clip? And then, and then we get a free game? 
Because that's one of our goals, is to get an ending of the game, at least one of the endings of the game. Does this count? We've encountered the dead Anbu. I don't know. I'm gonna, like, is there a slash marker or something like that? Marker. Um, dead Anbu. Yes, I've added a marker so I could make a clip out of this easily later, if this is the thing. Uh, is this game based off of Nausicaa? Valley of the Wind? That's what I'm getting the question. I don't know, I've never played that one before. We should build something to commemorate our continued survival, a monument to cooperation, and it might even be a good opportunity for me to finally pass the torch of village leader to you once and for all. Oh, I'm sorry, have you been doing something? Because, uh, didn't feel like it. I don't think it was pretty much me over here. But look, in the background. Dead Anbu. That could have been us. Eaten by the spores and the toxicity. In the name of toxicity, Kirare in the palms. Yeah. Oh, and we're strong poisonous air. So, yeah. Um, let's keep looking for bad, bad things that are bad. You know what? Let's send some people away to do more important things. Go to the shrine. How much? We've got three knowledge in store. We could be researching right now. All right, are we back on our feet? I think we're on our feet. I think everything's working. Food production is going down. We're gonna have a water issue. We have a water issue already, but we've got cacti. For days we have cacti. That will be bringing in some water. They might need more plots and another farmer. Grow, grow more. Grow more, grow more. Here, grow here as well. Really? You gonna give it that? I don't, maybe. Oh, and we've got a new thing that we could grow or we could build. The survival monument. A monument to your continued survival against all odds. It would just cost a bunch of resources that we don't have. Awesome. It's the planet base had that as well. When you get to a certain level, and it's like, let's build a pyramid shaped like my dick to celebrate. Um, and I did. I did. And it was a large, it was almost the size of my dick. Uh, I, I said I was going to give them more spaces to plant for the cacti, wouldn't I? Um, but I'm just like, where? Here? Here? Here, dear? Like, there's some more strips. I don't know how much more they could even handle, if, you know, asking them to. We've got beets for days. What are we growing? Or what are we cooking? Berry muesli, polenta, and we don't have any corn anyway. Do we have wheat flour? We don't have much wheat flour. Oh, well, the bread wouldn't matter anyway. Make the, uh, make, make the beet soup. Like, everybody just eat beet soup. Yeah, four, four chefs. No, that's berry muesli, and you make beet soup. Yeah. That'll work. Scavenging party return with one knowledge. Uh, I need to get my research facilities back up and running. So, re-enable. Re-enable. We'll find people to work for us, eventually. I want the tree nursery. Although we have four knowledge right now. Deep quarry. Produces stone by drilling deep in Ambu's back. Oh, right. He wouldn't like that. Laboratory. Used to create complex substances to be used as medicine. Medicine has been... You know, an issue for us. I've never had the option of... Uh, I've never had this much knowledge at one point. Um, constipator? Liquifier? Cottage? Scout Tower increases sight radius on the world map. That would be pretty great. The cottages would be awesome too. To be able to house more people better. Hmm. You're saying that the... What is it? Nausicaa Valley of the Wind anime. Okay, I haven't seen that then. As opposed to played it. What, what do you guys think? The laboratory is very exciting. But if I were just being pragmatic, I'd get the tree nursery. And I would get the cottages, I think.
I, it's exciting, the laboratory. Let's find out what the laboratory can make in terms of complex substances as medicine. Research it. All right. And where are we in the world again? Okay. We're in this desert and we're going to be here for a minute. That's where we are. Go get some sand for me. And if everything is going well... Uh, I know I need two more kitchens in order to, like, complete that other challenge. But I want the glass blower because we've got the iron furnace um, glass blower is the other thing we'll need uh, to make the new cool shit that we'll be able to make so where do we put the glass blower I think the glass blower could be out here in the nouveau district the the weird place that we yeah I mean it's just like it's not using resources except for the sand as far as I know so, being closer to resources is like, well, we could just put storage for it over there. And we want to be growing this district so that it's like, we've got village over here, we got village over here, that kind of thing. I'm going to try right there, because it fits in nice. Yeah. And you're still 100% efficiency. With that, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're done with all of you guys, so I'm shutting down the decontaminator. That's two more people who can work on other things. Uh, you, this quarry, actually mined the entire stone that it was mining, so it can be deconstructed. We don't need that there anymore. Um, how much, like, refined iron have we got? We gotta have some, right? We've refined all of the iron ore we had into straight-up iron. Okay. So we have iron, we need glass. Once we've got glass, we can make the new hotness. The new kinds of buildings and whatnot. Uh, water is still an issue. On the main map, there's no oases for us to get at. Um, they're scavenging over here, so I can't send them there. Fine, whatever. Right. Food production is way down. Food variety, they're actually okay on. Food quality, not so much. Housing quality also, there's a lot of people who just don't have a house. I stopped building houses, because I'm a damn fool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing where I'm gonna make more village on this side of things. Uh, yeah. And maybe like this. Yeah. So, how many houses do we need? If we got 54 housing, we got 63 people. These house six people each. So, I need two more houses to cover everybody. Two more huts, anyway, to cover everybody. Yeah, we're gonna start building, like, stuff over here. Um, new stuff, anyway. We've got a very developed thing going on in this area. We're gonna start moving, moving shit over here. A warehouse near the glass, Sister Mason. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, the warehouse isn't that far from the glass. Down here and then over there. It's a nice straight walk, mostly. But uh, what I would do instead of just a warehouse, like a whole warehouse for the glass... Although, if we've got one for that's like serving this section and one that's serving that section, that's not bad. But what I would probably do is actually just give it like a little storage container like the one that we've got here from the beginning of the game. This material storage, and then... And then that would store 30 sand and 30 glass, and the facility itself, once it's built, should uh, store some of it, too. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll definitely look at it, though. How are we on, like, wood and stone, just the, the regular stuff? Yeah, we're gonna need... Another, like, mill. Another set of mills. Like, uh, a sawmill on... Where else would we want one? Where have we got a giant trunk that we want to get rid of? Over here. If I put you there, then you'll cut down two trees in the process. Yeah. So, that sawmill will cut this down, and I'm gonna need another quarry for the stone also, which we could have over here. Like I said, we're tr gonna try and develop this side of things, get people to hang out on this side. And supply them. 
would be the notion of the lotion in our ocean. Sixty-three people, nobody's poisoned. We're gonna get their housing quality up. Total productivity is back up to 122% somehow. Food is still odd. And that we're not producing enough, but everybody's happy? It's weird. Um are you guys short of water? Missing resources, and the resource is compost. Just don't don't compost that. Probably need water too. Yeah. And you're short of something. Presumably water. And you're on and off short of water. But you use less water. I think these both use two water each. Yeah. So it really is about the cactus. We got five people working it and they haven't managed to like fill in all of the plots, so it's not like they need more plots. Sorry, could you not grow on my on my land, my farmland? And you as well, for fuck's sake. I could increase the speed of my workers uh, and how many people I have to like help me out here. Scorching sand, oh shit, oh shit, oh sh Okay, he's walking over scorching sand. I need somebody to work there uh, immediately, please. Do you work there? No. Do you work there now? Good. Um, out to here. And you're on scorching sand, are you? Well, run then, silly. I mean, it's really just bad for you, but I didn't realize you were on scorching sand. And there's nothing on the map to indicate that you're on? Oh, it's there. There it is. Well, I didn't choose which path we were going, and we're going into the poison forest. Good god. Health and hunger. Oh my fuck. Damn. Thank you, Dramacian, for pointing that out. They drank Anbu sweat pee? Uh, they could, I suppose. At least our water issue will resolve now. What, what happened? What are you doing? No. No. Not on the scorching sand. No, Anbu. You may be tired, but you need to keep going. Oh, fuck. It doesn't- oh, shit. Um, you need to listen to me, Anbu. You need to get up and walk. You can't, you can't lay down here. You're on scorching sand. I understand you're, you're tired. You don't want to run anymore. It's fine. Let's just finish the race. You don't stop moving until you're across. You know, it's just, it's disrespectful. To, it doesn't matter how far ahead you are. The other runners, if you don't, like, keep running hard, you're just being a dick. Move on, boo. Oh, we're out of it? Okay, okay. You can lie down if you want, now. Although, we're all going to get poisoned. But I understand that you're tired, and there's no sleeping spot ahead, so... Yeah. Great. We'll at least be able to get some wisdom here. But, uh... Yeah, how many doctors have we got? Full doctors? Give me two doctors. No, stay with three. I'm fool for having clicked that button. Um, yeah. You, right, everybody's poison. Disable the horn blower. Mm-hmm. How we doing on the poison for us? Not great. Uh, we will need to heal the Anbu now. Fuck. And feed it. Oh, damn. Mm -mm. Health and hunger with be the death of you. Yeah. Um, 38%. The poison isn't an issue, the hunger and the health will be. The Ambu sleepiness needs to... it's sleeping so we can't feed it. I can heal it. How are we for herbs? We have many herbs. The doctor is fully stocked. We're fully stocked over at the Anbu doctor as well. We were fully stocked and we have done nothing with those herbs. Maybe they do steal herbs from places where they are and move them around as they need them. I'm not sure. But the Anbu Doctor, if we turn it on, and staff it. Harvesters. Down to two. 
and fully staffed. Oh, uh, cure health. We need 30 to cure health. They'll move it over there, though, because now it's on. So they'll move the next five over. Doctor's fully staffed and fully stocked. So yeah, it'll get there, and then we can give it 20% health boost. Once it's not... When, once it's standing up and walking again and not breathing this toxic air, that'll be better for it. But we will need to then also... Oh my god. It's a lot of things, is what it is. Let's focus on the good things. What's 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 good that's happening right now? Nothing. No. What what um so the wheat, does it grow? Oh, it grows and it's going to grow great here. The beets, it's going to go gr grow great here. The more beets, they're going to grow great here and then the cacti are done growing and we can just stop that and roll it over to what are we not growing? Tomatoes or corn. Corn won't grow here. Let's grow tomatoes here where the cacti were um, and go up and go ahead and like just clear out the cacti just clear it all out because uh, reasons because yeah it's not gonna grow anymore so get rid of it not in these conditions anyway clear it out switch over to doing this It's really not what I should do. It's not what I should do. God damn it. Um, uh, Dramacian Cheers, maybe you need peaches too. You know, peaches and herbs. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited because we understood. There's one perfect fit and sugar. This one is it. We are both so excited because we're reunited. Hey, hey. I don't know. I don't, th well, maybe, maybe some peaches. Peaches for me. Maybe some peaches. Peaches for free. You know, put, put a little... I, I mean, they, it's usually peaches come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. If I had my little way, I'd eat peaches every day. Sun-soaking bulges in the shade. Move into the country. Um, uh, Cute Shark said, you'd think Anbu would like to be able to tell if they're, or would like be able to tell if they're on hot sand themselves. Yeah, no, no. Millions of peaches, millions of them. Very, like a lot of them anyway. I shouldn't do <clears throat> what I'm doing. Um, the smallest of our farms, uh, I don't think I should grow tomatoes there. Tomatoes take a lot of water, is my point. Like, I, I could... If I leave it on cactus... And I cancel the destruction or the harvesting of all this stuff... Like, this is just our cactus farm because it's huge. And that's what it needs to be for when we go into the desert. But this one could be growing me tomatoes. It's kind of big, but it makes more sense. Then we got tomatoes, we've got beets, we've got wheat. And we'd need corn. We still need corn. Which is what I was going to flip this over to grow. And if I did... Oh no, I wasn't. I was going to switch it over for tomatoes. If I switch this over for corn... It grows in the hot weather. I just need another farm. You know? When you get right down to it, when you think about it, I need another farm. And which we'll be making room for at some point, but in order to, like, be making all of the different types of food today, here and now, I need, I need to, uh, yeah. So that we can complete the dare. The dare is to make all the different kinds of food at once. So, yeah, I'm, I'm switching this over to corn. It takes less water. And that means I am going back to the plan of clear out all of this, this cactus shit. Yeah, clear it out. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, do that. Alright, I figured out what I'm doing there. We got a lot of stuff, like a lot of plates spinning right now, a lot of boilers. 
Uh, many of my villagers are poisoned. Yeah, 18 of them. Um, but they're just poisoned regular, like, regular poisoned, you know? Hmm. We should be doing great for water now. You know, 150% production speed in this humidity. So, water will be coming in real fast. We've got herbs moving around where they need to be. Uh, Anbu Doctor's almost full. So I'll be able to heal the Anbu or something else. I might even hold off on healing it. Hmm. Because the Anbu Doctor is consuming our, you know, some of our herbs here. It won't now that it's full. So if it's sitting there full, then I'm, I'm okay. If I just close it down... Maybe I leave it open, because maybe if I close it down, they start stealing from it. So I'm gonna leave it open, but do I heal? Because then they'll... Then it will be stealing some of our... Our stuff again. I'm gonna heal. Heal the Anbu. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Cure Anbu. And then I think I gotta shut it down. I'm not gonna, like, help it with its poison level. Because we need it for us. We need the herbs for us. For healing humans. So, I'll give it 20% health boost. And then it's just gonna have to absorb some poison for a minute while we get ourselves straight, you know? Pet the Anbu. I was supposed to do that at the end of the last live stream and I forgot. So we have never once pet our Anbu yet. Wow, sleeping Anbu at um, 38% health is uh, 1.5 BPM. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, the, uh, the pathing and everything, the animations, they're not just locked down to one thing, you know? It knew that the Anbu was asleep, it went out and healed it, it returns, and we have helped the Anbu. I'm closing the Anbu Doctor down now. Anbu's health is at 58%, so that's gonna help a bit. We will need to feed it, but we've got food made and waiting. Um, so when it wakes up, we can do that. Uh, go ahead and feel free to grab that free mushroom for us. Oh, 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 the reason why its health has gone down is because we've been extracting bile from it. That hurts it. That's why the health's been going down so much. I mean, some other things did happen, but that has not been helping. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're real poisoned, ain't you? Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I could have another doctor. It's, it's the lack of the, these pawn. It's, it's the herbs. And we are, we are growing the fuck out of them. That's what we're doing. We're up to 140 Anbu Dung. That would be another, you know, free game for us. Free, free keys. People are now badly poisoned. 22 poisoned, 5 badly poisoned. Yeah. We might lose some folks here. <laughs> We are at two times speed. I don't know why we're not building the things. Like, I've, I've still got people assigned, like, the, where, how they should be, right? There's one builder, at least. There's a couple of harvesters, but there's full stock of carriers. No one's idle, either. Everybody's working. Alright, Ambu's getting up. Where are we going? Oh, shit. I forgot to send one to there, so go now. There's nothing too horrible ahead of us, so that's good. He said, and then... The community was in remiss, just like that. <laughs> just like that, the community was in remiss. Where are you going? To die? Huh? To the doctors, maybe? The doctors go around to them. Three of fifteen. Do you steal? I left the Anbu doctor. I closed the Anbu doctor. Maybe they did steal everything from the Ambu Doctor, because, I mean, it now doesn't say that we have any. I, I don't know.
Looks like more villagers ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just kill off the, the unhealthy ones and bring on some new. For food, we're dead even. So we're keeping up with the food, apparently. Um, what are we cooking right now? We're cooking beet soup, and we've got 35 beets standing, and we're cooking berries, and we got 30 berries standing. Um, one tomato. Our wheat is all being turned into something. Tree nursery, that's the, uh, that's the safe way to go. I mean, alright, let's look at our research. Uh, we've got two knowledge in. We can't afford a deep core, I wouldn't want to anyway. We get the tree nursery. Or we unlock the cottage. That would make my people so much happier. And offers decent protection from poisonous air. And improves productivity, which is one of our goals. That's done. We're doing that. Cottages. I want them too. I've never had them in the game. I want the next level of, you know, people. Gotta buy me a drink for bend over the anal prop. <laughs> What has started in chat now? Gotta stop smoking that herb if you know what I mean. This is unrelated, but what does that say on the little alien guy behind you? He's back. It says, snatching your people up. <laughs> the, the tin that I've got hanging on my wall there. It says, snatching your people up. Lady Pong got that for me. Uh, long ago now. Long ago. When the world was bold. Um, let's just have one person working on the sawmill. Uh, and the same actually for... Where did I put our... Did I drop another... Yeah, I did over here. But they haven't built it yet, so... Fuck it. Uh, yeah, we should be approaching some... Some poisoned... No oh, good. Poisoned nomads. Well, it's not like we're all poisoned ourselves. Come aboard, fellas. Take up some more of our precious resources. Now that the Anbu is standing and walking, though, things should be a little bit less on the poison side. Like, people won't continuously be re-poisoned. We're down to ten poisoned, and they're not badly poisoned, so yeah. I will pick you up. I always need more people, and we're feeding people just fine right now. Two poisoned people came aboard. Uh, if I go over here and pause it, we might be able to catch him coming aboard and find out who it is. Do you work here or are you new? Ebenezer? No, you work here. Who's who's new? Aha! Here are our two poison folks. Estevan! Hello Estevan in chat. <laughs> the game's supposed to name new people who come aboard after people in chat. And Kenneth won! Kenneth, you finally made it! And you're on your deathbed. Well, nice to have you here, however brief. <laughs> You'll be fine. The doctors will surely prioritize the people who are badly poisoned. Also, we need more housing for people. How long are we going to be researching this? Why are we at 140% efficiency on research? Instead of 150. I thought it was 150 once I had two of those guys. Oh, well, we just need to build this. You guys never built the fucking hut. Prioritize the building of the hut, please. Um, and I suppose since we do have a lot of things to build and they're not doing it, you know, here's an extra builder for you. Uh, what did we get? We got the laboratory. Used to create complex substances uh, to be used as medicine. Okay. Oh, and our, our glass blower exists now. I haven't seen this yet. There's only one person working at it. Give two people on that, please. Well, if you're, you know... God, how many people do I have to feed? And I'm always, like, struggling for... We don't have enough people here. I've only got two people in the kitchen, like, making us food. I could have three each. Oh my god. The windmill is certainly, you know, operates. How much, how much of that do we have? Have we kept up with it? It's 12 in the four of the corn. I'm gonna reduce you to, like, one person on the windmill, okay? I think it's just running too fast. We can't get the wheat in fast enough to, to turn it to flour. We have a very varied diet here. Anbu's health is good. Hunger, not so much. Let's feed the Anbu. Turn you back on. I'm gonna need somebody to take that job. 
We'll lose our harvesters. Harvester, one less harvester, two less harvesters. There, now we've got somebody on the feeding the Anbu job. Feed the Anbu. It'll take them a minute to walk over, so. From wherever their last job was. The irony. Porn rants about doctors and prescription medicines, and he reaches the lab to make medicine. <laughs> And then doesn't build it, and then it becomes reverse irony. <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I don't know that I, I've got so many other things on the build right now. I don't want to, want to do that. Everybody's got some housing right now, right? 66 uh, housing for 65 people. Productivity at 125. What, what are you doing? Oh, he just ate. Okay, so 61% hunger is about to go down to 41. It's still a lot of hunger. We should feed him again kind of immediately. Yeah, it takes a second. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um... Poison forest. Um... Decontaminator back online. How much bile do we have? Oh, we've got way too much bile. I need, I need you guys to that for a living. I need harvesters for days. I need to feed the Anbu again. Uh, I need a disco doctor. You know what? Instead of doing that, just change them to harvesters. And then don't worry about the harvesters over here. Uh, no, there's supposed to be like two of or something like that. Um, our doctors are low of resources, which is that. And yes, we've got poisonous plants. All right, slow time again. And we gotta go around and do this stuff. Bang, bang, bang. Anything that's near our plants needs to die. Are you fucking kidding me with the trees? That, all right, but this is not the time for that. You, the trees that keep growing on my farmland. I need to kill off the, the, the plants, the, the poison plants. Are you in my farms? Not in there, not in there, not in there. Okay, we're good on our farm, and they're burning them. Okay. Okay. That might be all of it. Yeah, that's not all of it. You? If I don't get it early, it's just gonna spread and go fucking crazy on me. Oh, see this guy? Um... Which one of you is hit, and which one of you isn't? Alright, that's both of them. See? They're already trying to take this forest down. Uh, so yeah. We get out. We completely eradicate the poison plants. I think that's it. I think I got them all marked. I didn't. Fuck. Uh, and then... As an afterthought, this is where we grow the mushrooms, goddammit. Thank you. <laughs> fucking mother trees, they just spawn them wherever they fucking want to. Oh, too many bile demons, not enough dark mistresses. Oh, here we go. Okay, are you guys gonna do the thing and everything's gonna be alright and nobody's dead yet and the doctors can handle it? And we've got enough of this. Yeah? Please? Good. Maybe. Yeah, alright, back up to two, two times speed then. I've marked everything. They just need to get to it. And what's ahead? Ah, stop! Fuck. I didn't make any choices last time. There's a cold snap ahead. There's a place for Ambu to rest here with, like, beautiful, perfect air. Crossroads me to south immediately. So, here, get my horn blower back on the job. Uh, can, don't worry about anything right now. We don't need two builders. That gets me a horn blower. Blow my horn, please. The worker's inside the horn blower. But, they're on the. He's been assigned to it. I've never had to really wait. And I don't have time. I can't wait. So, just work. Wh why? What do you. Now that he, he didn't take the job, that's what I thought. Now he's taking the job. 
and he didn't take the job. They're going to other jobs. This is, I gotta find somebody to fire from something, somewhere. Uh, did we fiend the Anbu already? Yeah, you're down to 25. Um, you don't work there anymore. You work here. Seriously? Nobody's gonna take this job for me. Yeah, it's not a big priority. It's just whether or not we live or die. So, no biggie. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take people off of this worker post. You work there now. Thank you. And that means that I can now tell you where to go on the map. Which is right here. Go south. Oh god. In chat, please agree with me and type the word yes. There is no reason to type the word no. Only a dickhead would type the word... <laughs> I'm actually encouraging this audience by saying only a dickhead. They're like, oh, okay! You know. <laughs> I got enough troubles going on. I'm eating nuts now. Nuts and, and fruit. Dry fruit. Just a little bit. Everybody likes, likes it when the streamer starts chewing. That's part, right? Thank you. Thank you for agreeing we will go south. Hmm. We will catch our breaths. We will grow a lot of good shit before we go into the winter biome. And then we'll go into the winter biome. And then we can be fucked. Shrine. Shrine in the distance. Shrine me, please. Alright. God, there's so many people walking around now. It's impossible to keep track of them. These guys are still trying to clean this up. That's good. And, yeah. It does look like I got it all. I'm just double checking, because if you missed a spot and it started to spread... I mean, look at how aggressively it's spreading up here. Now, we're standing in a low poison area. Low air toxicity kind of area, so it, that's helping it along, I would say. But, um... Maybe when the Anbu lays down in that field that we chose, which has got all the fresh... Uh, fresh air, then things will, you know, improve for us. You don't need to work at the horn blower anymore. Um, I still need everybody out there, like, trying to clean up this mess. I mean, look at how aggressively it's, it's moving around there. Change the title to ASMR, then chew your nuts all day long. Chew on these nuts. Oh. It's, uh, peanuts, almonds, walnuts, pecans. I think we got dried blueberry in here, dried cherry, and maybe raisin. Look at, look at that. Look at how it just fucked that up so bad. Like, okay, maybe I have to prioritize this stuff. Like... Fucking, yeah, get it. No, no, no. In fact, you know what? Here, prioritize this like that, and then prioritize you like that, because, hmm. We gotta, like, you know, I could, I could do this even smarter, couldn't I? Um, which is to say, uh, higher priority, three level to that one, to the ones that are closest to the healthy ones. That one, that one. And that one. Yeah. And and you, and you, and just try and cut it off. Jesus Christ, it's going everywhere. We've never had such an aggressive infection. Ugh. Ooh, we completed some research. I don't know, I don't remember what we were researching, because things have gotten out of hand. Open the research tree, we've only got the one knowledge, so there won't be anything that we can research now. It was the cottages. Well, we could do the blood extractor, but I'm not I'm not trying to harm my Anbu here. Unless... Automatically extracts blood from Anbu's heart with every heartbeat. The process slightly increases Anbu's hunger, reduces its health, and its trust in you. And then with the blood, you make black pudding. And you eat dried Anbu blood or something. Hmm. Things are going so kind of sideways. I might consider the blood extractor.
we have cottages now, right? But what I think I really need in the attempt to complete the hardest mission that we have uh, from the dare drop is two more kitchens. Because if I can get two more kitchens, we'll be producing th five types of, of processed food. And we might be able to do that as we cross from this biome into the next. But I would need two kitchens. Um, and we want to be building out here because we're trying to grow this area into something. So if I built these two like that, it'll take them forever to actually build them because we're busy with so much else. And then there's nobody to work in them. But I'm going to try. I'm, I'm rushing for it now. We've been here for a long time. We may have completed... Ooh, good. Ambu's laying down in this, you know, no poison area. That's excellent. Oh no, Ambu's getting up from it. It was excellent, and now it's over. Um, only one of us are poisoned. We're still kind of low on this shit. I think I need to reopen the Anbu doctor so that we'll be able to treat Anbu later. At least they'll start putting, uh, start stocking herbs up over here. You know. Yeah. What's the point of eating Anbu blood? Just to eat, just for food. Just so that I don't have to keep growing all this food, I guess. What? What is this? Hmm? Corn that has been planted but hasn't grown at all yet. We are completely full on our fields of corn right now. And honestly, I should have had them prepping that field, f like, more. I should have given them more to do, you know? Um, by just giving them more space. I really should have. It's kind of late for it now, because we're about to step into the new biome. Yeah, I'm not going to now. But I should have then. I understand. Reduce the number of farm workers there, I guess, then. Are there free people around who can become harvesters? Because y'all need to be harvesting this shit. You know? You get me? Brah? Do you feel me? Who else can I fire? I just can't believe we've got this many people walking around, and it's just still not enough. There's only one person on the windmill. Uh, like, there's only one person in the iron furnace. Quarry's supposed to be torn down. Nobody's bothering with that. They're not even listening to me at this point. Bakery has two people working on it. And they're cranking out the bread. But do we have enough wheat being milled? Or are you just guys just like waiting? Are you regularly waiting? Yeah, I'm gonna reduce you to just one one person on the bakery for now anyway. Uh, production is 125%. We can't fucking hit 130 for some reason. I got three doctors, and nobody's ill, and nobody's getting ill. So, go back to one. Right? Got one person poisoned. One doctor can handle one person poisoned, and we've walked into the cold biome. So, what's the state of our crops? Corn is now actually going to die. I, mm, I thought it was going to... My brain went backwards and thought, oh good, we're walking into that biome, now all of this stuff will grow. But no, they planted an entire field's worth of corn that is now in the freezing temperature just going to decompose and all die, and that was a complete waste of, like, water resources. And all kinds of shit. Great. How are we on water? We go through way more than we use. Uh... Your storage is full. Well... That just means that... Somebody needs to come and move it. We need more carriers doing their job. Yeah, we're just starting to make... Why Why is... Everything's so weird. 
Everything's so odd. Look, we should have had water coming out of the last place. Cold weather affecting my crop growth. What are we growing? Wheat does not grow at freezing temperatures, but it doesn't get hurt either at freezing temperatures, apparently. I, I need to... Alright, slow down and look ahead. Fuck! Oh my god, this game. Yeah, go to the ruined settlement, but look at look at all this shit that I've got to... And we're in it right now? We're in the cold weather for two days and 21 hours, and we will continue to be in it, and it's going to be freezing, and we're just going to have whatever food we've got on hand. Oh my god. Four hours and 45 minutes of, of the Anbu is, uh, is, uh, makes, makes Pawn a angry boy. I don't know. I, I get rid of that kitchen. They're not going to build it. We're, we're struggling with what we've got right now. Hmm. And the poison. And the food. Look at that. We're just consuming it. We're not growing anything that can possibly feed us. Tomatoes consume a shit ton of water, and they will not grow as long as we're in this biome, which is going to be for a while. Um, nope, stop. Pause. Go back in. I'm trying to figure this out. So you are just this farm... Might as well be offline. Uh, beets grow in freezing temperature. We're going back to beets on you. If I knew what we were going into next, I could set something up. But yeah, all of the corn just immediately just 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 died. Um, everything's beets, right? Even the wheat. Well, the wheat doesn't die anyway. They could plant a full... Here's what we do. All of these are beets, and then this is wheat. And then no matter what we exit into, we're going to have all these fields full with wheat ready to, you know, grow. That's, that's the thought. And I'll reduce the number of people working on this field because they're not actually going to be harvesting. They just got to fill the thing before we leave the biome, which means I'll actually make this, this thing even fucking bigger is what I, where I am on the, on the premise. Um, more, more land for y'all. Uh, and I'd love to rip that out and connect these two. I've just been trying to keep, like, my plots square and nice looking, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. So, fuck it. The entire bottom area that you can plant, you plant that whole fucking area, baby. I might even tell you up here, too. Why not? What, do, what does it hurt to say, yeah, plant all of that? Maybe to there. Eh, it bothers me a little bit. It bothers me a little bit to do it like that. It wouldn't bother me as much if I did it like this. And we got like a Pac-Man thing going on. <laughs> and then I'll remove, remove these two. <laughs> and then it, it matches. Yeah, we got the Pac-Man field, we call that. That's where, you know, yeah. And then this doesn't cut through or anything, so yeah, give it this too. Fuck it. No, no, it looked cooler. It looked cooler before. We'll leave it like that. All right. What is this game? Asked Mephistopheles. This is the Wandering Village, a village builder that you build on the back, the traveling beast in a world that is dying from poison. You're desperately trying to keep yourself alive on the back of this beast. Which means you have to desperately also try and keep this beast alive. As ahead of you on the map, you'll be entering into things like cold snaps where none of your crops will grow. Or uh, small spore clouds that will plant poisonous plants and, and try and like overtake all of the vegetables that you're trying to grow. Or maybe thunderstorms that you'll have to dodge because they'll knock down all of your housing. Well, your villagers are on the verge of death. It's fun as hell. <laughs> These, these, these plants are all infected, and we're trying to get them all burnt down, uh, but, yeah, but yeah, uh, it's been a minute, and we're walking toward another small spore cloud, so, all right, carry on at two times speed, people, I think I've re, I've made sense of, uh, of what's happening here. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys that you can just rip up all the tomatoes. They're not gonna, they're not gonna grow around here. Um, 
You're gonna have to rip up all that too, aren't you? Like, what is it? It's wheat. It would survive in this temperature and come out the other end, but I just want it gone. Um, so yeah, get rid of all of it, and then except for don't get rid of, you know, the beets that you just planted. Everything is beets. You know, don't get rid of that either. Yeah, but get that shit out of your way. And then these guys are just gonna go out and plant some corn for us, and uh... And yeah, I might, I might even just have two of them. Two of them doing it. Because, you know, we're gonna be in this biome for a while. Slow things down. How are we looking on that spore thing? I don't think we can't, we can like avoid it. Just like not cross it, I don't think that's gonna happen. That sucks. We can't avoid this. But that we're just gonna get hit by. At least it's just a small spore cloud, but I'm trying to recover over here from the last spore thing. Alright, the farms are set the way that they need to be set. Will my villagers survive? Hmm. Anbu Doctor. About to have a real problem, is the thing. Ambu's gonna be poisoned, we're gonna be poisoned, everybody's gonna be fucking poisoned. Just finish the dirt road, I don't know why that's like that. I understand now, you get to this point in the game and you're like, you know what, maybe we should eat Anbu blood. It's like so hard, and I'm not... Like, my villagers that I do have don't seem to be benefiting me enough for me to be able to, like, keep them alive. <laughs> Comcast? Twitch? Comcast? Oh, we're losing. Alright. Hang on here. OBS going down, coming back up. Holy shit, we just spiked to 12 megs per second to bring us... to bring ourselves back. But yeah, that was just some fun... So a little bit of fun that me and my sponsor Comcast there brought to you by Comcast. Expect outages. Um, we, we just some just some nice fun that we like to have together. Ah, going into hour five, huh? Well, we are entering the the spore cloud. I suppose I could tell Anbu to run through it. I don't know if that would make any bit of difference for us. But, let's try. Anbu accepts my command. It should make a difference. It should make at least a difference in Anbu's poison level that he gets through it faster. No. But for us, our main thing is that it's going to spawn even more poisonous plants while we're still trying to clean up from the last ones. I'm gonna get my burn it down tool handy, because there's one. You didn't get hit in here? No? Alright, not yet anyway. Are we through it? I think we're through it. So, Anbu, you can walk. I mean, we're not through it yet, according to the game, but we took down a lot of it. Back in. Where else? Where else do we have new poison? I gotta mark it before it gets out of hand. Here. There. Everywhere. A little, little audio glitch there, huh? Just kind of popped on us. Uh, do we have poison in our own fields or anything? It's harder to tell because I've already marked a lot of these for being taken down. So no. Alright, um, prioritize those, because they'll get the rest of our forest dead there. Um, prioritize that one as well, so it doesn't take down that cluster of trees. I think that's it, I think we're good. We didn't get hit hard, we're okay. This guy's walking around burning my paths is not... 
Doesn't make me happy. Internet sometimes provider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 12 megs a second. I had no idea they rolled out gigabit in your area. It's 12 megabits per second. <laughs> we jumped up to 12 kilobytes per second, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, 12 megabit. You're right, mega. <laughs> I said megs when I meant when I meant kilobit. Kilo, ki I meant KB. KBPS. And why did things just collapse? A thunderstorm. <sighs> I forgot right after that was going to be a thunderstorm. Oh my fucking god. We're going north because there's food north. Okay? Okay, look, look. Uh, hang on, let me help. I vote yes. <laughs> Oh, a little bit of bug there. I'm not sure if the streamer should be able to vote in their own vo I, I don't know. It's- it makes for a funny moment. Maybe you do want to leave that on. <laughs> Are we gonna comply with me? I say, yeah, yeah, I say we should comply with my decision to go to the north. Um, cause then I won't have to feed the Anbu. It's one less thing that I have to do. <laughs> I didn't explain how that worked this time. I was hoping anybody who showed up <laughs> wouldn't realize. Oh, and because of the internet outage, you're probably all behind by 20 seconds. You have to refresh your browsers. Ah, ha 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 ha. So you didn't even know that we were having a vote. Beautiful. <laughs> we're going north when we get there. Oh, God. All right, so everything got knocked down. Can I dedicate builders? How are we doing on the poison cleanup affair? I think, I think the poison is going to be under control if I just leave my burners burning. Um, you guys, where's your building? Thank god your building didn't collapse. Which means that I will make all of my harvesters are now builders. Yeah, and then one can be a harvester. And then, and then builders? Are there free people who can build? If you're free... Right, well, a lot of people just lost their job, because the buildings don't exist anymore, so yeah. Alright, go ahead. And there's some folks that are hungry or poisoned or what the fuck ever. How are we doing over here? The fucking trees keep invading! That doesn't help! I'm prioritizing you. Get that fucking land back and don't let the trees grow on it. And this will need to be rebuilt at some point. Holy vey. Oh, I'm sorry about your gastric bypass surgery or whatever that's supposed to mean. Son of a bitch. We're still in freezing temperatures and we're still gonna be for another day and an hour. Forester? Hmm. That's not what I'd call them. If, if you're talking about these, the decontaminators? They need to burn it. Um... The forester, if you mean this dude, I mean, he's sawn. <laughs> it's just, there's too many things going on and nothing can be prioritized. And, and bad things keep happening and I keep not responding to them fast enough. <laughs> Seeing them coming. Tasty looking stones, no, they're not actual food! Ah, oh, I didn't realize! I thought it was food and then I wouldn't have to feed the fucking Anbu. Fuck! I have to feed the fucking Anbu. Ugh, do we have Anbu food made? We don't. So, I have to open up the Anbu kitchen, and it needs to be making Anbu food. And then you need to... You, I don't need you until we've got Anbu food, so god damn it. The liquidator. The liquidator? The bile extractor? Oh shit, are we out of bile? We have 270 bile. We'll never run that again. I can, I can take it down. Anbu lay down? Um... Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I could, I could, I'll stop it for a while. It'll take a nap, I'll get some things under control. It's, it's not a bad idea. Uh... Send some people out to the settlement. I haven't been doing enough expeditions either. It's just hard to manage, there's been so much shit going on. All right, you guys are, you, you've almost handled the infection, kind of. 
A dead poisonous plant can be incinerated or harvested. Right. It'll it'll get there. At least it's not like still infecting us. Didn't I? Are you prioritized? I prioritize you. Do it, man. That's that's important. So it doesn't get the rest of the forest. Okay. The poison thing is going to resolve itself as long as we don't have to deal with more poison soon. Uh, Pat Anbu again was the only one to say go south. <laughs> Alright, where are we and where is that food coming up? This is as good a place as any to tell Anbu to lay down and then I don't forget because I'm doing it now. So get on the horn blower and blow the horn and say, why don't you take a nap? I can't command it to sleep, but I can tell it to lay down. And then usually when I tell it to lay down, it takes a nap. Anbu accepts my can. Please go to sleep is the other part of this though. Lay down and then take a nap. And just stay here for a long time. Because, I mean, you're, you're three quarters full of sleepiness. That's tired, man. You know, go to sleep and goodbye. God damn it. There was a fucking dare challenge where if I sang to the Anbu to put it to sleep, then, then we'd get free shit. 77% sleepiness now. Good, yes. Oh, it's so sleepy. Oh, but now it's medium poison, too, while he's laying here. It's always something. It's always something. How's the doctor doing? You got none of these? Is it because the Anbu doctor's eating them all up? Is it because people are out working on poisonous plants and that's getting us killed? These things grow in the freezing temperature? I mean, kinda. I do need to give them more field, you know? What's this? Oh, settlers want to come aboard. Sure, we'll all die together. Okay. Three healthy and two hungry. At least no poison. We don't need any poison right now. Three healthy, two hungry, where are they? Okay, this is them. Melva, Doreen, Cornelia, Jenny. I'm not reading these names because I think it's, it's it'll be fun. Did you just take a job there, Claretta? I'm, I'm reading it because it might be named after you guys in chat. But, uh, they weren't. Okay, we're laying down. I don't know if Anbu has gone to sleep yet. Send my scavengers out to get rid of the stones so that it won't eat it. Um, how much knowledge do we have? We've got three knowledge. We could... We'll do the tree nursery. That might keep the trees from growing on top of my shit that I've been growing. Or I could get the sleep command. And then... Shit like this. That might make feeding Anbu easier. I'm... I'm tree nurseying. Nurseryering. I don't think those were real fake people names. No. Nope. <laughs> That's really smart, actually. Because, you know, it's all handles of people online, and yeah. What do you mean, none? It means that Anbu got back up. It decided not to sleep. Anbu, why don't you lie down again? Before you go and eat this thing that you shouldn't eat. Uh, so we've got 70 people on, on, on board now. Productivity is only 104. We don't have enough housing for people. I need to make another cottage. Well, no, I haven't made a cottage. I can make my first cottage. I can try, anyway. Uh, and it would be on this side of the village. Yeah. Uh... Shall I put one there? It's not on your farmland. I'm gonna put it here. It's right on the road, main road, and then the other kitchen goes over there, that's right. Yeah, that, that's where I'm gonna put it. And then, you know, at some point in the future, you could cut that tree down. But we'll make our first cottage ever, 
and that will be exactly the amount of like space that we need and it will be you know our first cottage ever we'll have people who actually like their housing because nobody does right now they all want level three housing and i've only got level two housing for them so yeah also nine people poisoned six people hungry one starving cool uh let's have another berry gatherer if i can find somebody to take the job This big farm, none of this was supposed to grow. The wheat. Am I crazy? Oh, we're not freezing anymore, so now we're in just the cold area. Okay. You are kind of crazy. Everybody else is just growing beets. Right. Oh. You're making the bread. I'm making a bread. I'm doing it at. Are you still, like, short a guy to, to, to harvest berries? Because... Oh my god, we're 20 dung away from completing one of these challenges, for Christ's sake. Uh, when this Anbu gets back up and takes a poo, we've got it, baby. No one needs to work in the kitchen right now. Not that kitchen, anyway. No one needs to work in the compost heap, and they aren't. I can shut you down and get a guy back. Uh... We made one piece of Anbu food. We kind of need one more. You've got one there. You don't have one there. There's just the one available. So I'll let you keep working. Anbu doctor needs to be up because you're going to need some curing soon. So yeah, that needs to happen. This shit just doesn't come in fast enough. If we can complete this goddamn Anbu dung mission then I can use that dung to make fertilizer and then use that compost over here by clicking this button we do have two compost apparently so I'm clicking that button and then maybe they'll use some of the compost and then maybe it will come in faster I'm not exactly sure what the compost is going to do but it's got to increase our you know speed of growth yeah What are you guys standing around doing nothing for? Because you're all builders. Oh my god, I'm, I left you all builders. Be carriers. Ugh. Be, be harvesters. Be builders. There, that's how we do that. Holy shit. It's been a long day, too. And these guys are all done. I can shut you down. Decontaminator de de offline. Five more people who can do things for us that benefit us. Um, you're going back up to, like, four staff. You're still four staff. You were always four staff. You're gonna stay four staff. You're gonna stay four staff. This dung collector is shut down. This dung collector is out. And is... Anbu's completely asleep. Excellent. That's what I want to see. Getting a little bit more poisoned. Excellent. That's what I want to see. No way. We're almost to the point where I could cure some of Anbu's poison. Oy vey. Mm. <clears throat> Gotta hit that cottage core vibes. Pawn boo. Pawn boo? Oh. No, oh my god. Yeah. Ride the pawn boo. <laughs> Ride the snake. Yeah, we're gonna grow a bunch of wheat. And then where are we going after this? Like, he's gonna eat stones. Which is going to make him poop less. We're going to go into a cold snap at some point. That's going to suck all of the balls. Uh. Oh, 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 go there. Go to the poison forest because that brings back herbs which heal us from the poison forest. I can hit two of those while we're lying here. If he's going to be eating tasty looking stones, I'd love to give him a laxative. But we just don't have the herbs to go around laying here in the medium poison as we are with 70 people, 18 of whom are poisoned, one of whom is badly poisoned. Uh, I think we could probably just have one glass blower. Yeah. And it can just slowly do shit because, hey, we got our first cottage in. Excellent. 
and poison resistance bonus to residents is 20%. Biambu is like a bird and needs stones for their tom. No, no, definitely not. Definitely doesn't need to be eating stones. What's your problem? You don't have any iron to process. Well then, fucking shut it down and don't work there anymore until we've got iron. See, I have to send my boys out to, like, places to get the iron, and I haven't been doing that. I haven't been doing that a lot, anyway. Anbu is getting ready to wake up and go eat those stones. I'm gonna need to feed it and depoison it. Alright, let's start by depoisoning it. So, I can antidote it while it's asleep. It'll be fine, it'll do 20% of what it needs. And when it wakes up, I can feed it. And after they go out and, and heal the thing, I gotta shut them down again. We need these these herbs for ourselves again. Gotta get back on top of this herb game, man. The tree nursery has finished finished research, and now I've just got one point. So there's nothing that I really want to research with the one point. I'd rather save it until I get more points. Double check that. Yeah. The Anbu Constipator. It's gonna eat some stones. It'll be well well constipated enough. Just got an ad for the Masked Singer. The fuck are these TV shows? I've been forgetting to run ads during our breaks, too. We only had two of them, but I haven't run them. You're the guy who's sick and you're just standing there because the doctor's on their way? Yep. And now they're just massaging your buttocks gently, and you're fine again. Excellent. How many people? Scavenging party brought back 13 herb, baby. So what we're looking for is that herb. Um, are you healing? Did you heal? Will you heal? Humbu wags its tail. We did heal it. It's hungry, though. Let's feed. Unlock. Show interactions. Not enough resources. Not all animal conditions are met. Oh, it's eating stones right now. I understand. Yep. So, yeah, it's eating the stones that look like mushrooms. Bad idea. Although it does decrease its hunger. Okay. You, maybe you're right, you're right. A little bit of stones in the diet helps the Anbu. Apparently. I'm still going to feed it. Not enough resources. Yes, there are recent. Fucking get over there and do the thing. Okay, we've got one. We had one. We had one. No, but we had one. Yeah, look, we've got one. It's right there. Take it from there to the... Oh, you are. Zero available, one reserved. I just watched the guy carry the Anbu food there. I don't... I don't understand what's happening. Oh, now you've got two. I see. Okay. Then fucking feed the Anbu. No? Not gonna? You're out. You're out having a smoke, right? The guy who works here is out having a smoke. Yep. He's in town getting laid. You know, because he only works like once every couple of hours around here, so yeah, he just doesn't think that it's important to be, you know, at his fucking job site, ready to go. Well, if you've got two Anbu food, then I don't need the Anbu kitchen open anymore. I'm closing it down. We'll feed it this one Anbu food, and then... Mm-hmm. Uh, the Anbu doctor is actually ready to give another healing to the Anbu. Which I will do... Wait, back over to six. Go there, get us more herb. Wait, what else is coming up? Cold. Oh, fuck. Um... Yeah, they'll get us more herb. I'm healing this guy. There you go. And then let's antidote you one more time. You're gonna be so taken care of, buddy. Your hunger's gonna be at 22. Poison's gonna be back down, you're gonna be real healthy, and then we're gonna shut down all the facilities that, you know, take care of you, including this guy. 
who's got two inventory of Anbu food for some reason. They, they're just coming out of nowhere, and you can't track them from up here. It's weird. Are you going out at any point today? Hmm? Are we gonna do this thing, Doc? Are you gonna help this Anbu? Where are my people? 122% productive. Managed to get them over, over... I think I just need to make another one of these. Actually. If I... Alright, so if we're at 122 productivity right now, and then I... Make builders. Does that push it up? No. no. Okay. Wait, 123. No. And then back down to 122. Alright, we're in the cold snap now. Still a lot of people poisoned. They went out and they healed. And they're back. And now I'm, I'm disabling you. Okay, we're gonna use those herbs for ourselves. Uh, Anbu is, is good. Anbu's taken care of. How long are we gonna be in this cold snap? Two days. That's really long. It's really long. <gasps> we did it! We got it! At some point, we got the 200 dung. Oh my god, it took forever. It took for friggin' ever, and I had to build two dung collectors, but we have basketed it up the feces of this animal it really did take the entire five hours to get here, is, is how that worked. Five hours in order to get those two baskets of dung, but we have them now. And that is a marker in chat. Uh, 200 dung. Okay, because now that I've done that, I can submit that to uh, Dare Drop and, and show them that, yes indeed, we did get 200 Anbu dung, and that'll get us a copy of uh, one of Stray Fawn Studios' other games, uh, Niche. So we've got that one. We might have this one because we came to a thing where it's like, and now you can build it, you know, maybe that was an ending. I'm not sure. Um, we, we, I've been trying to get it up to, up to 130. It won't go over 125 for me. And then this that we still not don't have. But we're going to be getting one, one, at least one copy. One copy I, I nailed with the 200. And now that I've nailed it, now that I've nailed it, uh, we can. 200 indeed. We got it. Live, laugh, Anbu. Thank you. We can open the composter back up. What's going on with Anbu here? What are you doing? Huh? You just shaking for the fun of it? I don't know. What, what happened? Anbu's belly rumbles because of low digestion. Some buildings might collapse. They did. Did they take my 200 dung with them? Are you kidding me? Oh. Be because, the, because it collapsed, we don't have it now? Well, uh, in, but we put, no, it doesn't store anywhere else. It doesn't store anywhere else. The moment that I had dung... Wait, it's back. It's back. They found it in the rubble. Holy shit. Okay. This... This... is weird. It's fucking weird, man. No, we're... N nothing. No... No research. We don't have the... Stop bothering me. Um... And then you to the iron mine? That's closer. Go there. Okay. Okay. It came back, everybody. They un... They, uh, they, they found the dung in the rubble. Um... Yeah. Compost heap. I want lots of compost. Three people working on compost. Um, both of these are going to be staffed now for the dung collection. Because we'll end up using it. Go south? Oh shit, was there a place? There was a thing up ahead. You want to go south? There's a nice place to sleep there. Clean air for a bit, but we'll be back in the poison. What's that X tile on the world map? X? X marks the dick? This one? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Because you sent him to eat rocks again, yes. Um, crossroad. I need a horn blower active. God damn it. I'd love to have enough people that were all, like, fed so that I could just tell them. Like, they could just sit around and do nothing all day. You want to go south? 
All right. I'll, I'll send it south, but you get, you guys get to vote. Type yes in chat if you want to go south, no if you want to go north. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. I've made my throat sore from live streaming for five hours and talking much of the time, and I'm still not, like, wanting to, you know, quit. This is how other live streams are done by people who are healthy. Okay, everybody wants to go south, so we're going south. Before we go south, I want to send my people out there to get me more herbs. We have been struggling with the herb game, baby. So, you know. Who knows what was ahead, though? There might have been blowjobs. We missed the blowjob thing. Yeah, see? See? Here are the whores. And they would have crossed the road right when... And we would have... Oh, God. Hydrate. And... Mason redeemed timeout? Wait a second. Isn't, isn't the concept behind timeout... <laughs> that I now time you out. Right? I, I now time Dramasian out. Because you redeemed it. So, you've timed yourself out, Dramasian, for however many seconds a standard timeout goes. Timeout. ACL <laughs> GM, this is the first time I've ever done it. Are you timed out now? Uh, yeah, I timed you out for 600 seconds, apparently. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what Twitch does. That's, I just, I just enabled this stuff. <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo South. Okay, that's, yeah. Uh, so we'll be coming out of the, the Coldlands and into the moderately temperate lens. We'll be exiting freezing early, which is helpful, because that would have taken a long time to get out of there. Uh, and then we will have something there. We've just got to dodge that, which I'm, I'm really good at that. I, I'm always, like, dodging those and not getting fucked by them. No, really, though. Oh, uh, wait. While I was up there, did we... Did my expedition come back? Then go to the poison forest. I don't care how far away it is. Get me some herbs. I need more herbs. All right, back in the game. They rebuilt all of the things. Um, we're going to be going into the temperate region. Slow things down and think about it. This farm is going to be great for wheat. In the temperate region. And the beets will be okay, but we don't want it all to be beets. So I'm going to change this farm to something else. Pause. This is our small farm. <coughs> We're going to have increased water income as well. Um, we won't be able to grow corn because it's not hot enough for it. But we could try and grow those tomatoes. They consume a shit ton of water. If we're going to do that... Hey, yay, 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 yay. Somebody does need to keep growing beets. That can be you. Um, yeah. And... In the separate region... In the temperate region, if we set up to grow corn... Like, you're growing wheat, right? Fuck. I need you to plant corn. Plant corn... When we're in the temperate region, we plant corn. When we're leaving the... And then the corn will come in when we go to, like, a desert next. But this whole field would be set up for corn. But we'd have to be able to go to a desert next. Don't fuck with nothing, Pawn. Leave it where it is. You guys are doing corn. You're not doing corn. Stick with fucking beets. This whole area will be beets. Beets by Anbu. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yes, do that. Um, we're producing compost, right? Like, why wouldn't... Why, why would it... And then it shouldn't, but it, why wouldn't it? I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna make sure that you guys have, like, good path from one to the other. Uh, yeah. So you've got it there. You just need people who actually work here to actually work here, is the idea. We could bring another kitchen online, but we don't have, like, enough things to be cooking, really. These two are making berry muesli and beet soup. That's kind of all we've got right now. Yeah. 
Although we're handling the food fine, apparently. 126% productivity. Come on. Get to get up another 4%. Uh, we're using the compost for this field and this field alone is using compost. But it's all not growing because we're freezing right now. Right, right, right. All right. Carry on, Anbu. We're almost into a different place where things will not be as horrible. Some people are hungry. One person is hungry. And he's always hungry. Don't listen to him. What was I gonna... What was I gonna build? Let's trade up some cottages for, or some huts for workers, cottages, or some cot with the, let's do that. Let's add a cottage. I've got the slabs. Do I have the glass and the iron? I got the glass and the iron. This is the cottage district. I'm just gonna build one because we actually need like several of the, like this is four and this seat's six. And so I'll, I'll need to build three of them in order to even out taking one, two away or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Fresh air, free from toxins. Cold weather is still in effect. We're freezing even though we've exited. Oh, we're on the, we're on the edge. It doesn't look like the map is definitely we're not on the edge, but this not so much. And holy balls and shit. Which way is it going though? It's slowly moving. If it's going to the right, it's not. It's coming toward the thing. Well, Anbu's sleeping for a while. Maybe it'll cross the road as we're waiting. Holy balls and shit. No party available. Oh, there's a party available. Go get us more herbs. Okay. We're in a poison forest. I think it's a good idea. Crispy crit. Oh, wow. That's cool. I like these um, modifications. Squished. And just on my screen, that Ronin, uh, that Ronin PA2, the no luck, looks really weird. I've got it on, I've got my second screen really low resolution, so everything's big, so that if I need to see something while I'm laying back there, I can drag it onto the second screen. I don't actually usually run the second screen, so I'm not sure that it works out for me much. Um... I switched over for food production, and we're still not doing any food production because we're still in the cold weather, but it's about to end, and now we are making some fucking- now, now, now we, we are making some fucking food. There we go. It should be able to anyway. So, yeah, the wheat will come in. Nice. Tomatoes could come in. Nice. Everything, all the things we're growing are good. I just don't know if we've got enough water. That's what I was going to build. Not the tree nursery. Okay, remind me to build the tree nursery. I was going to make another um, air well. Because we're in an area where the air well could, could help. Is it, do you really want it that far up, though? I don't fucking know, man. If I put you here, I can't put you there. Put a fifth one there. Put an airwell right in the middle there. Put one over here. It's got a different. But then you're carrying water to to and for storage to weird places. It's not. It's not right. Don't work out for you. I'm putting it here. And then I'm also going to tell them to build a road that comes through there. It'll make accessing it easier. Okay. 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 What's coming up? I know you're walking again. How are we doing here? Ah, oh, shit. It's a small- it's a spore cloud. It's not a small spore cloud, it's a spore cloud. Do I just- I just have to walk through it, right? I could tell- I, I'll try and tell him to lay down, but he just got up from resting, so I doubt he's gonna want to. Uh, five, lie down. Okay, and there's the spore cloud. Tell me we're not in it when I told you to lie down. Good. Anbu sits. I doubt that we can wait it out. And while we're... while he's sitting, he's in high poison. 
so we're breathing high poison. But it would be beneficial if I didn't have to deal with another... Hi, oh, God. Right, we're gonna need more doctors. I didn't have to deal with another outbreak of, of you know, plants. Destructive plants. Down to six iron ore. We've got more... Oh no, that's the ore. We've got iron in stock. Glass we could be producing more of, but I think I need sand and don't have it. Yeah. Alright, Anbu's getting up. I'm not gonna try and force him back down. We're just gonna end up walking through this cloud. I could tell him to run through it. Scavenging party returned. Try and send them out somewhere else. Send them to there for more poison stuff. Oh my god, there's a poison forest ahead. Alright. Yep, we're here. Anbu's jogging through, quick as he can. I'm gonna slow things down. And get in here and start marking the, th the the evil that I can see. There's some evil there. Some evil there. There's evil here and here and here. There's evil here, and that is priority evil. Because it'll take down the whole goddamn forest from where it is. And Anbu has exited. No, he's about to, though. He has. Uh, so, five. Walk. Slow it down, Anbu. Anbu evacuated its bowels. So that's... more poop for us. I guess, I guess that's good. Probably need another one of these things if I really wanted to be composting. Hey, Can you grow herb? I wonder how the game works out if you dedicate production to feeding and healing Anbu and just eat Anbu blood. How would that work out? Uh, I don't know. But yes, we can grow herb, and I am growing it here. Uh, we've got full staff on it. It's a smaller plot, but you see they haven't filled the whole plot as it stands even right now. I need to find the rest of the evil. I didn't, I didn't get all of the evil. You, and you, um, and yeah, you're a priority and you're a priority. Uh, you, you're pretty close too. Alright, where's all the evil gone? Where has all the evil gone? Long time, cow, girl. I don't, I don't know the lyrics. I'm not sure if you could tell, but I don't actually know the lyrics to that that song. And if Jermacian weren't timed out because he timed himself out with the timeout thing, uh, then I'm sure that you would copy pasta the, the lyrics in. <laughs> Uh, but that's not gonna happen, is it? You don't need to be, and neither do you. I just got into a, like, like a, you know, prioritize all of these things habit. But that, those don't need to be prioritized. Oh, fuck, we're in the other one. We're in the big one. Oh, uh, god damn it, I was trying to... Mm. This is bad. This is a giant spore cloud. Alright, 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 alright. Um, I forgot to turn you on and get all of the staff doing that. Okay, 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 is that poison berry bush? It is? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I need like another one of these places. I need two of them. I need, I need more decontaminators. I don't have enough people working on it. I can't even see through the fucking clouds. Uh, who can do a different job right now? Who's free? Where are my buildings? Okay, carriers, you just became harvesters. Uh, builders, you don't exist. Harvesters... Well, yeah, it's alright. It's, I mean, whatever. I've reduced the harvesters by one after increasing them by five. Whatever. Um... Yeah, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. So many sick people. So many... Poison plants. Ugh, oh, they're all over the place. And they're crumbling everything. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. Yep. You and you. There's no priority anymore. They're just gonna eat the forest, and what can you do? Uh... 
but I'm marking them so that our harvesters will go after them alongside our Bernie boys. At least their reproduction shouldn't be that big of a deal, I, I think. But they shouldn't get... shouldn't be reproducing really fast because we're not in, like, bad poison right now. Did you- did you kill that? Kill that fucking plant, please. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Also, if you mark one and then it spreads to something else, uh, it marks the thing that it spread to. So, way easier to mark these things early. Anything in there? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's our berry patch. That's our berry patch. That's part of, like, the food, and we've been struggling with food. Uh, I don't know what that is, so don't worry about that. Um... You... This forest is just pretty much dead, is what I'm gonna say. The mother trees should survive, though. Holy balls. What's up? What's coming ahead on the road? Oh, fuck. It just keeps going. We need to get the fuck out of here, though, huh? Go north? Everybody agree, go north? Get the fuck out of this poisonous horror zone? Don't walk into that one, walk into that one? Huh? Maybe? Oi, Dramacing, you're back. How you doing? Isn't there an energy drug for Anbu? Probably a good thing to keep him going when he wants to sleep in a poison cloud. <laughs> Keep that Anbu gone. This has gotten kind of out of hand. What do you mean no? What, a cute Sharky, and because nobody else voted in the poll, we're now, Anbu didn't listen to me. We're gonna go south. We're gonna walk through the large poison forest. Thanks. Everybody. I wanna it's not love just you, but Sharky's I better fault. not touch. Don't touch. I wanna hold you. But my senses tell me to stop, I wanna kiss you, but I want it too much, too much. I wanna taste you, but your lips are venomous poison, your poison, running through. <laughs> oh, po venomous poison, running through. Holy shit, everybody's, 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 so another doctor would be an idea. Um, the plants dying is something that I don't think we can really give a fuck about. Oh shit, this is, this is a high priority one. Get rid of that. And that. It's gotta go. Got to go. Are you poison? You're poison. Yeah, get rid of that and get it now. Get it now. Get it now. Like, I'll keep our food. Oh, we're walking into another one. So, um, here's my, I've got a plan, um, in the, what, well, so what we're gonna, um, I'm making another decontaminator. This one was out here? You're there. Uh, on this side of the world, I need another decontaminator, and you live right there. Obvious. I need it to build quick, so I don't want it to have to tear anything down to build. Build it there. Build it there, build it now. That's a high priority. Um, yeah. And then I can put, like, five more people on that. Also, decontaminator people are immune to getting poisoned. They don't get poisoned. Um, everyone else does. So, maybe I should have just converted the entire village to to, um, decontaminator people a while ago, and then, and then we'd be okay. Maybe that was, that's how I messed up the game. I was supposed to do that. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I can't keep going around and clicking on these things, like, one at a time. That's, so the decontaminator guys, just more of them, please. Yeah, bring out the, bring out the resources, if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Uh, in fact, builders, we got any? There's no free people. Uh, can we, can I, can I have, do I have one builder now? I got one builder and his only job is to build, and so there's that. Oh yeah, the music just chills out like not everything is on fire. Cool. This is, this is the normal mode game, by the way. If you've seen anyone else playing this game, because it just came out, it's probably on easy mode. I played it on easy mode. For my YouTube video, I played it, uh, yeah, for six hours. So when I brought it to Twitch, I decided to play on normal mode. Normal mode 
a bit more with the ass kicking is what I've has been my experience. A bit more. Uh, hey, things have been going okay, right? Well, go fuck yourself. Bye bye. Uh, yeah. That's protect the food, pawn. Protect the food. That's the one thing that you need to do is protect that food. Food's still okay right now. I'm gonna prioritize like getting rid of this. Just get away from us a little bit on that food. You, I could try to, wait, are you even, like, supposed to cut that? No, no, now don't do any of that. You're not even marked, fuck. Okay, so, you. No, you. There you go. Those three get marked, you get marked, and then I can try to help by prioritizing, like, the ones that are on the edge of a healthy forest. Uh, you. Right. No, not okay. Well, all right. So that's an, that's we edged that in. These are fine because they're right next to the place where we're gonna build the decontaminator. So I don't care. Uh, fuck. Da -da -da. You you snuck in, didn't you? Didn't you though? We're next to our mycologist, where the where the we grow crops. Ah, fuck. Yeah, it actually got to some of the crops. Um. Prioritize. I feel like I need to pause right now because I think we're about to walk into the even larger one that you guys sent us on the course for. Thanks for that. Large poison forest, and then that'll be followed by a heat wave. I think we're all. I think we're prepared. We're really ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please, for the love of God, build this. It's got the highest priority. I know people are pretty much all busy trying to rip out the, the poison. I get that. Um, and that a lot of you are dying. I understand. That happens to the best of us. But I'm gonna need you. Nine of you badly poisoned. Wow. Um, anywhere else? It, oh, you're still scavenging that, that location, are you? Okay. Th there, there's, there's another one where I can get more drugs from. It's all about the drugs. We've made it to day 139, by the way, down there. Down here, in the lower corner. All right, you guys about done there? I've marked a lot of things. We're walking right past the knowledge because I, I just need, I just need herbs, herbs all day, herbs every day. And they're bringing me back some extra. And we've got, they, they brought back, no, they brought back 15 fucking wood. That's great, that's, that's awesome. Go get me w herbs. Already scavenged, and it was wood. And two people came back poisoned. I've been going there because I thought that you always got good stuff from it, but you don't. Um, Anbu, could, could I have a chat with you? Small chat, quick chat. Um, are you tired? If I ask it to lay down, we're better off just piling through it, honestly. I think, I think we go straight fucking through it. What are we gonna do? What could anyone do? And the Anbu's gonna... Just, well, we don't have to worry about his poison as much. Maybe we do. I don't know. Aw, oh, fuck. Just roll time. I think we just drive through it. Like, if I stop him now and then he lays down in the poison, then he'll get back up and walk through the big thing. We need to get the other side of the poison. Is what I'm saying. Uh... Y'all didn't vote. What caused it? What caused the poison? It's it's going through these. We're entering the big one now, huh? Yeah, strong poisonous air greatly increases toxicity. We're fucked. This place still hasn't been built. They want stone slabs. I just need people to bring them the stone slabs. Nobody's doing that. I've got one builder dedicated. Um, I need a carrier. I need a carrier to carry the things to that place. And I will reduce one harvester to get that carrier. Carry the fucking stuff and get it over there. We're in... We're in the poison forest. Like, the large poison forest. Oh my god. Anbu, have a jog. Get us the fuck out of here, please. I'm just gonna wait for you to exit. 
and then we'll walk. You're out. You can start walking again then. You're gonna be tired. I would like you to make it to the desert before you lay down, please. Because I don't need high toxicity, ground toxicity kind of thing. So don't lay down. Stream go choo choo. So is the stream. What? The game may be checking. So is the stream. Really? Is there problems? Oh, the kilobit rate. Definitely dipping. Comcast. It's not completely giving up, though. Apparently. Just mostly. <laughs> How's my food? Protect the food, and the poison can eat the rest of the skin off of Anbu's back for all I fucking care. But protect my food, and kind of, you know, my... my... this. Boy. Um... I guess that's a high priority, but I don't know. The mycologist just isn't really around. Um, oh, somebody died. Somebody definitely died. We're down to 69 people. Cornelia sub succumbed to poison. Cornelia is dead, ladies and gentlemen. The Cornelia is dead. You heard that right. Holy fuck. And there's more of these because we went through another one. I just have to rely on the decontaminators to get this done. They're finally like, they could build it, if the builder, that it, there is one. Where, where are you? Yeah, hi. You're only lightly poisoned, that means you have no excuse to not build this fucking thing, so build it. Okay, now you're strongly poisoned and I still don't care. Did we make it? We made it to the desert. We made it to the desert, no poison in the air, but we can't make water and none of our plants will grow. The beets will grow, right? No. No, what grows in torrid fucking weather is the question that you want to ask yourself. The tomatoes don't. They don't die either. I'll let you keep putting tomatoes down, I guess, but I will reduce the number of workers on that. Since you're not actually producing food we can eat. The beets are all going to die, so that doesn't help. Anything grow in torrid. Just cactus. Corn. Corn grows in torrid. Everything is corn now. Your corn. Your corn. Uh, yeah, you are cactus. You know I hate it for you, but you're cactus. Okay? Make us all the cactus. Fuck. Um, you made another one of these places. Good. Go up to full five workers, and goodbye on the harvesters. Okay? No more harvesters. Full decontaminators. Now I'll bring the harvesters back. No. No, I won't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, nobody's got a job. Alright, there's no builders. We don't need them now. We can have a harvester. No carriers. We can have a harvester. And that's just for the poison. Because the poison's crazy. It's out of control. But now we have ten decontaminators. Uh, going around. We are starting to run low on Anbu Bile. So, I have to open this back up, which is gonna hurt the Anbu over time. He's gonna start taking more health damage than he already has. He's hungry. So we better have food ready for him when he wakes up. We do have two. It would be nice to have three. I will reopen you and let one person work there. If we can find one person to work there, we can use the horn blower to work there. Uh. Uh. Kaylee has succumbed to poison. We're down to 68. Less, less mouths to feed. Seven of you are, are hungry. It's not surprising. Our, our kitchen's producing anything. We've run out of beets, so... Make some... Grilled tomatoes, obviously. Obviously that's what you'd make. Um, we won't have those for long. And then it'll all be berry muesli, won't it? Our berry fields at, at max. Uh, so, 100% efficiency and three people working. Oh god. 98% efficiency. Okay, if we can, if we can, like, cut this back and save it. Oh god. Alright, then, oh Jesus, it's spreading. It's spreading like fucking crazy. Oh my god. Did I just show up for this? 
Holy fucking balls. It's, it's eating everything alive. Uh, this is the highest priority in our lives right now, is to cut all this down. Ugh. 76% efficiency. Oh my god. I mean, you as well. Look at this. They poisoned us. They poisoned us. There are three people working there anyway. Yeah, except for you're badly poisoned and you're poisoned. Yeah. Anybody else? Die? Hilly died. Mosaic Task Force is, is dead. Mosaic Task Force succumbed to poison. It's just, it's just, you know what it, all this is? Is the game getting easier? With every one of you that keel over and die. That's all it is. I can now get rid of some of that housing. You know, we don't, we didn't need that hut. This, this one right here, this hut doesn't need to be there anymore. Cause, yeah, see? Perfect. Nailed it. Well, it was a good run. It's still a run. It's just, it's just a bad stretch that we, something, and yes. But we'll, we'll get past this, alright? We've got two decontaminators up and running, and we got half the fucking, no. Any more harvesters available? No. We got uh, we got twelve people out trying to take care of this 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 this. We still got fifty four percent efficiency on this berry farm. That's shit. This one's a hundred. Cacti are coming in. We're doing great, is what I'm gonna say. And we're gonna use compost over here. To make the, 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 uh-huh. No, we're not. We're gonna use it over here. We're gonna use compost on tomatoes. To make them happen faster. Or something. And then, because we got 41 of it. Yeah. What, what's your problem? Badly poisoned people. Well. We're fine. Everything's fine. Where are we right now? You're sleeping? Four more hours of heat wave, so that that's that'll take care of itself. Let's while well, we're here in the desert, let's pick up some sand. Really, is you know, there's no party available? Why did the party succumb to poison? I think the party might have succumbed to poison. There's not enough workers for the they they yeah some of okay with somebody else to Anbu wags uh, one mock six six eight is is now dead along with Sui and and on kill one. And on keel one, yes. You're just making it easier to feed you, is all. We're fine. There's no poison now. We have three doctors, and no healing herbs. We're fine. Get that the fuck out of the way. Get that the fuck out of the way. Get that the fuck out of the way. Um, you're just standing there and not actually planting anything because you don't have water, right? Yes, that would be the issue there. So, just standing around now, the herbalists. The ones who could be healing us by growing things. Because we don't have water. And we're in a desert where we can't actually see any oases. The Great Purge, yes. Indeed. Oh, Stinky and Kelking and Little Magnets uh, have gone the way of Ankiel 1 and 1 Mach and Mosaic Task Force. Those are all people from chat that need to... And, yep. Our crops should start growing a lot better now because we're out of the heat wave. So, cactus growing fine. It would have grown anyway. The tomatoes are actually going to grow now. I didn't realize they weren't. I thought they were a hot weather kind of a thing. They will grow, though. The corn, though. Everything is corn. Everything is corn. Now that's going to grow very well. The poison has completely decimated the berry gatherer to the point that there is no reason to have a berry gatherer here anymore. I am shutting down the berry gatherer. And, uh, deconstructing it. I mean, they don't have to do that, but if somebody's standing around with their hands in their pockets, then they could probably go out and clean up some of this fucking poison, couldn't they? 
Are we moving again? We're moving again. Oy vey. What's 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 ahead? Where's the party? Right, no no workers for the thing. We just need more workers to do that, is all. But we can't. And we won't, and it don't stop. I want to pawn kind of a rock to sure shot. If we can get more farmers on the cacti, that's our only source of water right now. That's what we need. Um, harvesters? I'm going to go ahead and say no harvesters. Anbu is hungry. Turn it back on, but we got nobody to work at it. Uh, where else can I fire people? Wow, we are short one decontaminator. What, did they die? They're supposed to be immune to poison. How could they have possibly? Um, those berry gatherers need to keep doing their job. The herbalists are standing around not doing a lot, so we're going to reduce to one herbalist. That should get you open. It didn't. Okay. I suppose we don't need to collect dung. You know, it's nice when we can, but we don't need it. No, wait. Oh, wait. I was just trying to zoom really far out to see if I got a worker over here. I did not. So, one, both both dung, dung collectors are shut down. Feed Anbu. That's what I'm trying to do, Jermacian. Trying to get somebody to work here so I can feed the Anbu. Uh, how are we for bile? We're low. I gotta leave it open, which means his health is gonna continue draining. Um, I'm looking for somewhere that I can get get workers from. If we don't have herbs, I guess we don't need doctors to administer them. Ah! This place is not affected by poison. Looks good for Ambu to sleep in. Oh, Ambu is sleeping in a fresh air spot. Good. I'm glad for you, Anbu. I don't... The windmill can shut down? The windmill can shut down. You don't work there anymore. Ah! Somebody works for us at the Anbu feeding. Feed the Anbu. Oh, he only sat there for a couple of seconds. Alright. There you go. Anbu has been fed. Just pull that down to something better. And then what we'll do is we'll feed it again pretty much immediately. This is an interesting view when you've got like a lot of people moving around on uh, on his back. You know, you gotta squint. But, you know, seeing them all run around, especially the guys with fire, it's neat. More Anbu food, please. There you go. You've been fed. But you're still pretty fucking poisoned. Back in. Um, and... Shut down. We don't even have Anbu food at this point. There's one person working in the Anbu kitchen. I will allow that, since we will need to restore the Anbu food. Poison has stayed away from our main farms. But we don't have water for things. I'm not growing tomatoes. I'm just not. Uh, these two farms that are trying to grow corn can try and grow corn. Where are we walking right now? Into winter. So by the time I get the food thing settled, we'll, it'll be a new food thing. Oh god. Nomads. Uh, pick them up. We definitely need new people. Two healthy people? Why did they join us then? Why would they possibly... All right, let's pause and see if we got anybody in chat back. It's these two. A cute shark. You've made it in. And one mock. Didn't you just die recently? Isn't that... If I scrolled back up there, would I find... Welcome. Welcome. Go north. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you're in here now. I'm back, baby. Yeah, there you go. We're all, we're all doing just fucking great. Just peachy keen. And the scavenger hut is working again, which means I can send people out for shit. There's nothing on my screen that's of significant value to me. Go grab some stone or something, I don't know. What is that? There's a settlement. Get more people. Go north. Uh, 
All right, I've got to find somebody to work the horn. Anybody want to work the horn? Huh? I don't need anybody at the iron furnace right now. We don't need researchers. Oh my god. This whole time we've had four researchers sitting on their ass. Could have used them. Uh, horn blower. No, no, no. Out on the map. Go north. Go north. Do you agree that we should go north? Yes or no in chat? Uh, in fact, I'll help you to say yes or no in chat. In case you're all lagged right now. Uh, <laughs> get your votes in. Well, we can. And as we have just turned the six hour mark, I have got to wrap this up, right? I gotta wrap this up. Tell you what, we'll cross into the Winterlands, see what's ahead of us, and uh, and that'll be the end of, end of things here. Six hour live stream, holy poop. Thank you for all pointing us in the northward direction. I think we can come back from this. I think we can pull out of it. I mean, the poison is almost gone because it destroyed everything, so there's nowhere for it to be anymore. Um, we do have some food coming in, you know, so there's that. Uh, the cactus, since we are heading into to cold region, I'm going to pause and I'm going to switch the cactus over to something that will grow in the cold. It could all be wheat. Like, this field could just be a ton of wheat. And then... You're gonna end up being beets, is what you're gonna end up being. Corn won't grow in the kitchen. Uh, beets take two, wheat take one. Water. And that's, that's going to be a main concern of ours. So, I guess I'm given, like, I'm mostly doing wheat for bread. Wow. Just barely going to be getting by here. We, we went back down to 59 population from 70. Anbu wags its tail, though, so I guess the world is just grand. There's nothing wrong anywhere, really. While we're here, get me some sand for glass and to make those those higher more important buildings carpenter two people sitting on carpentry and they haven't had fuck it or they've been full oy vey what about you one person working there and one person working there is reasonable Ugh. disgusting how many people I had that I could have been like making work for us but that didn't well, I think we're overbuilt now for a population of uh, 59, and that's actually going to be a problem because there's too many people trying to do too many things that are fit for a higher population, probably. Quarry, you can just have one person on that. Sawmill can just have one. Just a trickle of resources is all I'm really looking for. Uh, if you guys don't mind cutting back these trees so that we can actually grow our fucking plants on the land be great where are you two headed down here all right does that mean like pretty much everything is taken care of up here no so people from here are traveling all the way down there that's I'm so glad just mark this road to be rebuilt I don't know we can recover oof the stream did the stream oh yeah yeah, down to two, two and then three megs per second, megabits, two and then three megabits per second, and now zero, and now back up, yeah, and then suddenly seven. <laughs> oh, a Comcast, 800 bits per second, that's cool, and then zero, and then some. <clears throat> I assume Comcast is still involved. Are you kidding? They're sponsoring us. Look, that's right down there, Comcast. Expect outages. That's, that's their slogan, baby. Expect to pay three times what everyone else in the world pays for internet, and uh, and expect the outages along with that. And and anti-compete. Anti uh, and, and, and us colluding with other 
providers instead of competing with them in the in the fair and free open marketplace. Uh, yeah. Okay, these guys are just standing around doing jack shit because they don't have water. Well, they're about to have water because we're about to cross into a winter territory. And then we'll have water being produced at a rate that is a rate. We'll get me some more sand, I guess. I, I suppose I'll grab some people from the settlement if I can also. But uh, can we, like, harvest some shit? Get some water out of this? All right, we're in the cold now with normal humidity which means the air wells are online and making water for us, and then the farmers will be able to start doing something, and then we'll have food for people to eat. Um, right now, I think we're just being carried by the strength of this one berry gatherer, after the other one collapsed because of the poison. So the poison ate all of the berries away, which means we could use a second berry gatherer. But I'm not going to focus on that currently. Yeah, that's what I'm not going to focus on currently. Unbu health is getting pretty bad. I've got to shut down the bile extractor. Because, yeah. Uh, and I kind of need to heal it. Well, what, I, what do I have to do? Anbu doctor are disabled. Oh, okay. Anbu doctor are disabled? Really? Um, re-enable. What would it cost me to cure? It's 30. Is dying. Yes. 30% health. Really. Um, we can pet it as it dies. No, let's, let's, you know what? You guys don't need to work there, actually. Like, because we're still poisoned. I can't spare that on the Anbu. What I can spare on the Anbu is food. All feeding trebuchet are disabled. I, it doesn't look like it to me for some reason. Alright, open you up, show the interactions, Anbu food, we need it moved over, because surely we have some. We've got two there, and it shows one there, and I'm shutting down the Anbu kitchen, if we've got that much food. Uh, Anbu's health is at 30%. It doesn't look good. <laughs> it's not a happy boy. But we're gonna feed it, and then maybe it gets a little bit healthier on its own. Oh, fuck. We need so many. We need so many of these, is what we need. We're gonna be growing beets there with compost when we can. How much compost do we have? We got a lot of compost. Alright. I need you to go back to being like all of the herbalists. Make herbs like your life depends on it. Because someone's absolutely does. Someone's absolutely does. This fucking... Quit eating up my, my fields. It's because of these mother trees. How you feeling, Anbu? Still 30? Okay. Show interactions. Feed the fucking Anbu and feed it again. Get it just full. Go. Back in. Got another one handy. I just gotta wait here. The trebuchet is ready. Um, what's ahead? A cold snap. Oh Jesus, we lucked out. I had no idea that that was there. Ooh, we can get more poison shit from here. Poison forest, go get... I mean, potentially, they might bring back more herbs for us. And we are going to make it past this, right? Boy, I really don't want to tell Anbu to run right now. In its current state of health. But, uh, I might, anyway. Um. You're online, right? Yeah, it's just that the worker is poisoned. Sure. Uh, did we... Can we? Will we? Feed him again. There you go. You're fed again. And it's extremely tired, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it to run because I think it's gonna sleep if it doesn't run, and I need it to get past this certainly before it sleeps. 
And then it can collapse on the ground. You, oh no, Anbu. Anbu, run. You gotta go, man. You can't sleep in the path of the storm. We're gonna get hit by it anyway. No! Yes, yes, we got hit by it anyway. Thank you, Anbu. Lie down, lie down, lie down. I'm very sorry. But you know, you're fed. 24% health. I'm doing everything I possibly can for all of us, basically, Anbu. I'm, I'm very sorry. Oof. Uh, it's cold. We're medium poison. Anbu is at 20% health. Open up the Anbu doctor. If we do get these in, then we've got to, like, we gotta keep Anbu alive. If Anbu dies, then we die. Um, pieces of the village are knocked down. <sighs> that means everybody's a builder. Everybody's a builder. Did we take care of all of the poison? It looks like we took care of all of the poison. Which means you guys don't work there anymore. Uh, you guys don't work here anymore. Okay. Lots of free hands. To rebuild the village. Uh, Ambu Doctor. 23% health. Did it go back up? It, w it was down at 20 for a second. We, we can we can save it pet the Anbu no no I guess I, I guess I'm just sitting here doing nothing and it doesn't cost me anything does it pet the Anbu well it sleeps you want to know what it looks like before it dies you want to know what it looks like to pet the Anbu that's fair enough Are we going we're gonna pet the Anbu huh where's the other doctor you're there here's this one on its way can at least show you how we pet the Anbu. <sighs> Lava Lamp is starved to death. That's cool. I see Ren Phoenix starved to death a bit ago. Oh, oh, they're going. Okay, I'm going to slow this down so that we can watch. So, F7. No, I'm not going to slow it down. Go on. We're going to pet the Anbu. Hmm. I guess we're just scratching its head. It's... When it's walking, it's it's more interesting to pet the Anbu. I promise you that. <laughs> but, yeah. What the hell. Why not, right? Um, its health is returning. Its health is returning, and if I can get enough together in terms of these... Lava Lamp starved to death. Abigail starved to death. I've been waiting for this for so long, finally. What? You've been waiting for it to die? <sighs> Alright, two times speed. Where are my guys, man? Scavenging party is ready? Well then, fucking go! Get the things! You already scavenged. Go get this one, then. What did you bring back? Brought back 15 herb. So it did help. We're gonna pass into a cold snap, then we won't be making any food. Oh, Jocelyn starved to death. Hugh and then Jenny starved to death. Cool. Yeah, baby. Uh, Lea Beak. Good boy, Anbu. Or girl. Yeah. I should probably, like, shut down farms at this point. Like, are you shut down? This, this farm is shut down. I mean, we're, we're, the food is fooding. But I haven't been milling the flour. Oh, God. I haven't been milling the wheat. Right? I didn't have anybody working there. Holy shit. Um, did we rebuild the village? We did? Good. Then you're not all builders anymore, obviously. Like, duh. Ugh. I didn't realize that I still had that turned off from the last fucking crisis. 
one harvester, one builder, two car three carriers, two carriers. <laughs> Somebody needs to fucking get on the windmill and make us some food to eat. Two of you, in fact, need to get on the windmill and make us some food to eat. <sighs> one less carrier if the windmill will start. It won't. It didn't. Fuck. Who's... who's... <laughs> Uh, you, you guys, you don't work there anymore, and you don't work there anymore, okay? Now go work in the places that I need you. Good, we're milling the wheat. We're wheating the mill into wheat. Not enough workers available. There are workers available. Bake me bread. Bake it. I just made all of the workers available. There's 43 of us alive. There's too many doctors, considering we can't really help ourselves with that. Come on. Anbu wags its tail. Oh, are you up? No, you wagged it in your sleep. What about my boys? Are they bringing back the herbs? What about my herb growers? What if you, you know, grew some herbs? Good. Get trees. I'm glad there's someone immediately there to do that, but nobody who wants to bake bread. Um, we don't need a builder. We don't need a harvester. We need a fucking baker. Kinda, kinda like having a carrier. At least one. Surely someone, one person, will bake some fucking bread. Have one person at the mill walk across and do the job. Holy shit. Stop making compost. I mean, keep making it, but just one of you, please. Are you fucking kidding me? You're closed down, right? You're not closed down? Close the fuck down with the feeding. We already fed it. Its health is coming back. I still want to heal its poison. And I can now. Interactions. Antidote. Okay. This is where we have to end it. We have to end it here. I said we'd go into the winter biome and then we'd end it. Um, Anbu is healthy as a horse right now in comparison to, you know, everything else. It's just us, unable to feed ourselves and survive. But Anbu... Anbu's gonna be fine. Look. Here we go. It's gonna... Stick it up its nostril. But yeah, yeah, we gotta end this. <laughs> and when we come back, like, can I play this again? <laughs> when we come back, we'll kill it and we'll switch to a new game, probably. <laughs> is how that's gonna work out. No, the Anbu is fine. Look, 39, 20. He's rested. He's, he's got almost half his health back. Um, it's us dying out here from starvation. Yeah. How many people are poisoned still? Nine, seven badly poisoned. So it's a mixture of things that are killing us. Okay. That is it. That is it for today. Stream died again. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is, that's gotta be it for today. Um, I'm leaving uh, the Anbu in a wonderful state. 47% health. Never felt better. <laughs> uh. 39% poison, better than it was a minute ago, 20% hunger, it's not even that hungry, and, and it's about to wake up. The Ambu's fine. We're fucked. We're, we're the ones over here with the, uh, with the 90% productivity, um, poisoned, badly poisoned, hungry, and starving. We're, we're the problem now. So, you know, we got a little bit too big for our britches. <laughs> This is basically the story of the planet Earth, is what you've just watched here, okay? Um, we're gonna hit 12 billion people on the surface, um, just before we suddenly scale back to about 800 million. Um, and not by our choice, that's just how the planet is going to deal with it. But that does bring us to the end of this live stream. 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me. We have earned some free key codes today. Okay, I completed some 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 of these. We didn't do the gourmets and gourmands. That was the hardest thing to produce all five different kinds of food at the same time. We we didn't manage that one. But we definitely got 200 anbu dung and we may have reached the end when we passed another dead anbu. That might have been considered an ending. This seems like the kind of game where it's an ending, but you know, you get to keep playing. Like congratulations, you survived 120 days or whatever, that's the end, technically, that might count. I never managed to get the productivity level at 130, sadly. But that gives us one wandering village key and one niche key that I will be able to give out at the next live stream, which will be, you know, the day that the uh, next live stream will be, obviously. Duh. <laughs> For I am the Ronin Pawn. Thank you all for coming out. Holy shit, we were here for six and a half hours. I'd be very curious to find out if I feel okay tomorrow. Because <laughs> I probably shouldn't have pushed it, but you gotta find out if you've got, you know... It's it's a very laid-back game, too. It's very mellow. It's not like Cluster Truck, where you're anxious, anxious the whole time. Speed running the thing, so... We'll see if I feel good tomorrow. I, I hope to be back with you streaming very soon. Um, and until that day, be good to one another, and, uh, don't buy Comcast if you have any other option whatsoever. <laughs> good night, Kenneth. Good night, Acute Sharky, and One Mock, and check Timberborn if you like this one. Is similar? Okay. Okay. I will see you at the next live stream. That's, that's a pawn out. Let's see if I can figure this out.